Sam Deltia from Deltia's Gaming. Yeah. Where's partner? Let's go. I just made partner. I can't believe it. Woo! Great to be at the party. Thank you, Coca-Cola. <laughs> We're coming in hot. <laughs> I channeled my enthusiasm, my hype, and my energy into Twitch. And they saw that. They saw that sparking. My dad gave me the gift of hard work. My mom gave me the gift of enthusiasm. Well, I'm a hillbilly Nebraska, you know, making fun of myself about corn. It's just, this don't happen to people like me. No way. Rawr! Get off my land! Get off my lawn! Oh, no, no. <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> Welcome in, Nugget Nation! It's your boy, Deltia, from Deltia's Gaming. You ready to have some fun today? Hold on, we gotta tunnel him. Okay, tell me when you see him all. All right, cross it, cross it, cross it. Spin, 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 spin! Yes! Yeah! <laughs> Stacking bodies, baby! I am Deltia from Deltia's Gaming. Yeah! Let's partner, let's go! I just made partner, I can't believe it. Woo! Great to be at the party. Thank you, Coca-Cola. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming in hot! <laughs> I channeled my enthusiasm, my hype, and my energy into Twitch. And they saw that. They saw that sparking. My dad gave me the gift of hard work. My mom gave me the gift of enthusiasm. So I'm a hillbilly Nebraska, you know, making fun of myself about corn. It's just, this don't happen to people like me. No way. Get off my land! Get off my lawn! Oh, no, no. <laughs> that didn't work. Welcome in, Nugget Nation! It's your boy, Dad! From Delphia's Gaming. You did it, Tom. Ready to have some fun today. Oh, I'm gonna tunnel him. Okay, tell me when you see him. All right, cross it, cross it, cross it. Can I get an amen? Spin, spin, spin. Cody going in already, baby. Let go. Five gift Roni. Boom. Starting off Monday, right? Who's in chat right here? Who's in chat? Morton BSG. Mio's baby. One year. Get it! Happy birthday! <laughs> Mios! Cody with a uh, five gift Roni radio re subbed on a Sunday. He stealthed us. Member! Mios Sports, I see you. How we doing? Sly? Sly guy, what's good? Adam's in here. Patrick? Nixon, baby! Let's go! Bang! Re sub! Where my lawnmower's at? <laughs> Uh, we like lawn clean. Slide with the Risa. Pro DP3. Did it. Hype train already. Level one, baby. Already. Bang. All right. We'll set up a giveaway. Uh, Monday intro giveaway. Hype train's already on the track. Uh, we'll hear it. Let's go. EO3. Happy Monday. Exclamation point jabs. Got something special for y'all today. I think I figured out the Stam Crow finally. I think I figured it out with Oak and Soul. So we're gonna take it out for a spin today. For a spinaroni. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to do this and uh, maybe do a tier list on one bar builds like we did with the Vatatram Hollow stuff. So, hope everyone had a good weekend. Big Monday. Um, I made that video about the Oak and Soul. I don't know if y'all saw it on YouTube, but pretty controversial man it was like whoosh, split right down the middle on people's opinion on Oak and Soul and if it's good or bad for the game it was fascinating to read the comments fascinating Psycro was first by the way today he was in the intro Ice what's up yeah I know everyone got a chance to uh, look at that and read the comments but man fascinating fascinating stuff mix it baby turbulating let go just Nay loves the Oak and Soul. People love it or hate it. We're at 38% to a level two. We'll start with 200,000 gold. Joe, good morning. See, so yeah, I bought my Stam Crow. Experimented with it this weekend, Sunday. I was farting around leveling up crap for it. I think this could be actually like S tier for solo, actually. I, now that I got it down, so I'll show you why. Big Pat! Work man! What's good, man? IC is 99% 99.9% Oak and Soul Ganger. Yeah, you can't you can't go in IC right now. No. You, you, you can't go into IC right now. <laughs> Unless you're an Oak and Soul Nightblade. You you you're gonna catch me in there. No. Nope. Not not gonna happen. God bless them. Hope they're enjoying their game. Oh man. 
You got Oak and Soul as the lead box left. It's a pain. Is this still pretty busy though? About a week later, it starts going down. Let's see what we got for Plagaronis today. Uh, oh, Black Drake Villa. Oh, sick. All right, and we want to do Black Drake Villa. Two minutes left to a level two hype train. Just about there, y'all. Big T, what's good, man? Don't sleep on the sentry set, says Big T. Big T! T Money! That's what they call him in the streets. T Reezy! T Greasy! All right, Bark, Pat, ready to go? Okay, let's do it. Anyone else? Who's gonna tank? I gotta play like this one bar DPS, so. Now, I got like a solo build equipped, like Vicious Ophidian, Pillars of Nern. And then Oak and Soul. The Elder Scrolls. Oh, man. So I'm wondering about one specific ability, I think, and then one ulti. Um, do I have a one bar stand blade PvP build? Of course, we have every single one bar PvP build. Healers, tanks, DPS, stam, magic. It's a trap. Uh, this weekend, while y'all were playing, having fun, me, Pixel, and Gene were updating the website. But yeah, we have them all. So we got tanks on there, Nixon. We got tanks on there, by the way. So yeah, exclamation point, stand blade. Should have it right there. It's what everyone else is running. It's the same old thing, but... Doctor, okay. Pat's gonna tank right now. Doctor, you'll be home by 20 minutes. Cool, okay. Effin, what's up? Where my butchers at, baby? Where my butchers at, baby? How you doing, buddy? All right, Bark's gonna deep. Pat's gonna tank. Anyone else wanna join? We got room for one more. Uh, I don't need a healer, but if someone wants to heal just for the heck of it, we can. Yeah. You got a Captain America tank on there? A solo American did help me with it, yes. He did. So it's one of them troll, you know, uh, misform tanks, by the way. Yeah. So three DPS, okay, yeah, so we got, if anyone wants a DPS or whatever, because this Necro does not need any healing. I think I got to figure it out. I think I got the resources figured out. The rotation's easy since it's a one bar build. Let me go trap beast over the skeleton archer. That's the only thing I have to mess with. And obviously group play will do uh, Big Colo. Big Colo daddy. And we'll go test it out in group and we'll test it out in um, solo arenas. Might have to put a wager on it. Level one hype train. Bang, appreciate you. All right, exclamation point jab. We'll do a gold giveaway here in a little bit. Happy Monday, everybody. We'll be working on builds, and then the rest of the week, I'll be working on, like, a uh, tier list. So I'll probably take, like, each class through uh, Vatashram Hollows like I did last time and do a one-bar tier list, magic and stamina, combine them for PvE, and then I'll do PvP as well, but, um, man. Some big, strong emotions on the Oak and Soul. I don't know if y'all watched the video, but, uh, yeah, they just... It's just crazy. People like, I think like the sweatier the PvP -er you are, the least you like Oak and Soul. And then the more casual you are like in, in PvE, the more you like Oak and Soul. So you have these like polar opposites. Sweat Lords can't stand it. Uh, and then folks that just want to play do Overland fart around. It's like it's the best thing to ever happen to them in the game. So Adam, you saw, what'd you think about it? Nico, what's up, buddy? Machiavelli's here. Thank you, Cody, for an early hype train. Airmen's, how you doing? Big Willows is here. What's up? Speaking of sweat lords. Ah! Well, yeah, the reason I like this Stam Crow now is uh, the scythe is so dang good. Let me check my champion points quick. The scythe is kind of like, it's kind of like the, um, it's almost like the Magplar of Stam builds. It doesn't do as much single target, but you ha your main spamble heals you. So that's enormous. Okay, so we got me, you. Anyone else on right now? Pogue, what's up, buddy? Sweat Lords just don't like dying e e ever. Yeah, I can relate. But, I mean, I just adapted and go play my Templar, and I love it. Um, Got room for one more. We, we don't really need a healer, a healer or a DPS if you want to come join. Otherwise, I'm just going to queue it up. Yeah, Willow's be golden out them Lobby gear, huh? That was a good time with uh, Zaru last week. Uh, man, Friday night, I, I was gas, y'all. Saturday, I was like hung over. Like I went out and partied all night or something. <laughs> Can't be doing them late night streams, man. Got me. Machiavelli from France, baby. What's good? How you doing? 
What's good, man? See, Doctor says, I don't know if it's overtuned in PvP, but people who sit at 250 ping in Oak and Soul is a good godsend for PvP. That's a lot of the feedback that I uh, saw and received is exactly that. So I, I think it's a net positive for the community, and I, I kind of had to take a step back and go, all right, why, why did I start creating content in the first place? Well, I started because I wanted to help the average player enjoy their game better. I think Oak and Soul falls in line with that. And there's some real easy things that they could do to... Um, I'll say we got the thing right. There's some real easy things they could do to kind of uh, tune it so it wouldn't really mess with PvP. It's perfect for PvE, I think. Because you're like, you're not like, you're not going to do better in PvE with an Oak Consoler. You're just not going to do better now that it has major and minor buffs. Yeah. You got slapped in like 3 BG, so you went all in. Okay. Lexi, you did good on that, Lobie. Airmaz, you're at 275 ping. So are you like in a different country or something in the servers or, or what, what's up with the ping? Are you like uh, an Aussie or something? Oh, let me turn this off one second. There we go. Oh yeah, Aussie, okay. That makes sense. So it's great for solo PvP. I haven't used it in PvP. So it's great, like, all the classes that I don't necessarily like because they're too complicated, like this Necro. You know, because the Necro is really strong, I always admit it, but I feel like it's just too complicated for me when I just, I'm streaming, I want to talk and not, like, have to think all the time, you know? It's perfect for this because you don't have to necessarily rotate eight buffs. It, it's just so much more fun if, I, if I'm unfamiliar with the class. So it's good. It's good. So like right now what I'm running on my Stam Crow, I'm running like the solo arena build, which uh, if this works out today, I'm going to make a build video on it. Um, and then I'll have like best in slot options and everything, but I experimented with it this weekend because I'm like, oh, I'm going to go do, you know, a cheer lust video. And I'm like, oh God, I'm missing like, missing morphs and skills. I spent a lot of crowns getting this guy ready because I'm like, I ain't got time to go do mages Guild. I'm sorry, I'm buying it. And uh, I started playing around. I'm like, my God, this thing is actually so much more fun with Oak and Soul. It's like just night and day better with Oak and Soul. It does so much damage. It heals like an absolute missile. So much more fun. It looks cool. Yeah. It's like night and day experience for me. Yep. Can you run a run bar, one bar macro? Yeah, it'd be very similar. Like, so... The Crow, Magic, and Stamina almost play identical. So, like, the reason the Stam Crow is really fun for me is I have a uh, Magic-based skill, like my Blast Bones. Magic-based and Blast Bones does more than the Stamina one. So, it kind of eases the burden in my Stam Pool. And then you... I'm playing Dual Wheel because the passes are so strong. Um, but you could go 2H and have an Xy. But I think the classes that do the best with the one bar is something that, like... Their spammable does AoE in single target. Because if you have something that does does both, then it frees up a bar slot for like Trap Beast or something else. L Realm, what's up, yo? Ben, how we doing, buddy? Thank Mr. How we doing? Thank Mr. Oh, I got to swap to my Colo, but in a solo, solo YOLO. See, like one, two, then I do uh, Blast Bones again, put Caltrops down. It's just a very, very simple rotation. Makes it so much more fun, and it hits really hard. I'm curious how it's going to do in Badish Round. I think it's just going to melt. So, Pillars of Nern, Vicious Ophidian, and then I have a one-piece trainee just because my body doesn't actually match up very well. Let's go ahead and swap Pestilence on here in front bar. Yeah. How was everybody's weekend, yo? Everyone have a good weekend? I went to the forest this weekend. I call it a forest. It's more like some woods. They have this, like, huge rope course out there. Uh, my son did. This rope course, and that was kind of fun. But and then I worked on build, so we got uh, thanks to Pixel and Gene, we got um, one bar PVP healers, one bar PVE uh, PVP tanks, and then this week we're gonna finish one bar PVE tanks, one bar PVE healers. So pretty much I'll have one bars for everything in both PVE and PVP both playstyles. Not to brag, it's going to be amazing. So, yeah. Burn, what's going on, man? Happy Monday. Well, let's say I paint in my basement. All right. I'm not a fan of painting, but... Uh, 
That's how you say Elron? Is that how you say your name? How you say your name? What's up? Brim? So drops are gone. Everyone get their drops, their little pet and all the crap that they wanted. Let's drop a nuke here, Colo. See how this hits for. Oh yeah, group utility too, baby. Buckle up. Let's go. Got it down. Uh, Sabaton of Truth. Sardiner, what's up, man? It was good. Had a great weekend, yeah. So my wife and I booked a trip to Colorado Springs, so might have to do have a little mini uh, nugget meetup. Colorado Springs. Have to go, man. Elren. Elron? What? I say your name wrong? Shadow Mixture, what's up? How you doing? Spent the weekend in the pool and taking Instagram lawn bags. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that picture looked like it was photoshopped. It was so good. <laughs> Instagram. Oh, good old Instagram. All right, one, two. So it's three spammables. Colo, drop this. So you're not like sitting there just doing your spammable munch, but my God, is the detonating siphon just go <laughs> huge, huge deeps. All right, rotate, rotate. I'm enlightened. No one's ever said that. Oh, no. Man down. Marks down. It's a trap. Don't worry. No. Are you dead yet? Come on. Fine, here's a colo. Oh man, major heroism just dropping bombs. Oh, let's look at this fat loot. I got a lead, probably something I don't need. Mull the truth. Oh, that actually used to be a halfway decent set. Rip. Howls, what's up, buddy? How you doing, man? Um, let's see. Uh, do I play Guild Wars 2? Someone asked. Um, I never played Guild Wars 2. What's up, sitting here? Yeah. Arn, what's up? Uh, I never played Guild Wars 2. So a lot of people say they really like it, though. Um, but, yeah. I'm, like, solo focused on ESO right now, so... I don't have time to play a whole lot of stuff else, but... People have left ESO and love it, so... Yeah. Cat for Pepsi! 14 months! Let's go! 14, my mom appreciates you. Thank you. Nixon with the gifted sub to set in here. Productions. Radio's here. What's up, man? Okay, so Thad asks, you think Oaken Soul is better than Ring of Pale Order for PvE? Um, so it's a lot more damage. <laughs> it's a lot more damage. Like, Oaken Soul is better for folks that, like, are trying to get arenas done and just don't have the damage. Um, and so, like, yeah, you can get healed for, like, a truck with Pale Order, but you might get panicky. And still die a lot. There's people that still can't get that stuff done. So yeah, I think overall it's it's better if you're trying to get like do some damage and you struggle with the rotations. Pure survivability. You can't beat this. Uh, hold on, let me get this thing off. Sudarim. All right. Oh, I've never done this one yet. Oh, what's up, Darnold? Darnold in bag way. What's up, buddy? I think I missed another question. What did I miss? Uh. Oh, uh, so is Deadly in Order's Wrath the best for Magpar? Um, I wouldn't say the best in slot. You know, there's two trial sets right now that are really, really good. Bosses and then the World Depths. Those are going to be better, like, for the top-end players. Um, but Order's of Wrath is right up there. It doesn't require you to do trials. So, yeah, that's what I use. And then... You know, Reliquins on the body is another really good one. Coral Riptide for stamina builds and your front bar. A lot of people still use uh, Kinra's and stuff like that. This depends on the context and how easy you want. Deadly Strikes requires no babysitting. I don't have to babysit things. I don't have to, like, if I miss a lie attack, I'm not having an anxiety attack. So, and, you know, if you're, like, a top-tier player, you're going to use Kinra's and some of these things. But if you just like to noob it up and have a good time, those, those sets that require no babysitting, I think, are the way to go. Baby setter, baby. All right, Colo here. We're gonna start farming your keys. 
Next patch is gonna have two uh, monster helms probably. So they haven't had come out with a DPS monster helm in quite a while. I imagine it'll be best in slot here pretty soon. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's see. Psycho says my brag for the day. I beat VMA on my Magblade two days ago. All right, you got your you got your bragging for the day. Let it go now. I'm the one that's supposed to be bragging nonstop. All right. Oh, Villas, yeah, you're welcome for the add-on video. Thanks for watching it, buddy. Appreciate you. <laughs> Fear Turbo, what's up, man? <laughs> no stress. <laughs> what's up, you troll? Uh, Zazdru, how we doing, buddy? Uh, let's see, Sardiner says my YouTube notifications keep blowing up with all these video drops. We're working hard, baby. The more y'all give me, the more I can do. So I'm just trying to pay it forward. Now, Sardiner, did you get a chance to watch the opinion piece? I'm curious what your thoughts are on it. Yeah. Cody has 100 and join he's big. Okay, it's Big Flex Monday. All right, everybody start bragging about something. Go ahead, start bragging about your, like, your best brag right now. What was my best brag? God, I have none. I'm pathetic. Oh, oh. Uh, oh, yeah, I can block cast this. I'm out of brags for the day. Don't worry, I'll think of something. I'll have some stupid bike thing that no one cares about. Uh, robes of the Lich. We're getting... Nothing but lies. Cody, what's up, yo? <laughs> Fear you on one this morning, man. Uh... Wait, wait, wait. Sorry to you said you posted then deleted my comment. You had an offensive comment. Nah, you don't have no offensive comments, Scott. You don't have a, you don't have an offensive bone in your body. <laughs> Big dogs, baby. Big lawns, baby. Where my lawn gang at? Where my sprinkler gang at? <laughs> oh my god. Where my where my green lawn gang at? <sighs> Let's see, someone said I went through the uh, entire Telvani storyline in one city without crying. Is it emotional? Telvani? I don't like those, like the disgusting elves. Huh. Well, that's, that's good. That's a good flex. Big flex. All right, what's this one? We're just melting these things, man. Melting them like peanut butter and jelly. Fresh long, no stress. What's no stress? Green long guy! Don't worry, I got it. Dad got it. We will feed you to the nuggets. Here, eat my tether, brother. Brother, brother, brother. I finally got my voice back, so that's good. You're going down. Oh, it can still crow, though. Not gonna lie, way more fun. I can actually manage the class. Not feel like a complete noob. That's pathetic. It's great. Oh, get out of there. As I said that, almost got hit. Didn't, though. Clutched it! Look, Blast Bones. So you got three swipes, three globals, and Blast Bones. Ah, oh, see, it feels so much better like this. So much more manageable. Get him in the Blasty! One, two, globals. So three globals, Blast Bones. Super easy to manage. Look at those dots, man. Woo! Smoke them if you got them, brother. Deleted. Activity complete. Okay, what do we get? Lambrus used to be best in slot. Lightning, Leviathan Lightning Staff. The Mother's Sorrow stand builds. GG. All right. Oh, let me see. Uh, wait, speaking of bike ride, got 24 miles at 15.8 average this morning. That's pretty good. Um, 24 miles. That was a pretty long one then. You have a nice bike, like a nice road bike, or like a sweaty one with the outfits and stuff, or no? All right, so we're gonna do Black Drake Villa. Black Drake! All right, let's get it. Okay, uh, King, what's up, buddy? Um, Grim asks, where in Cyrodiil you get deadly strikes? It should be the top town. I think it's Bruma. It should be the top town, I think, in Cyrodiil. Like, right in the center, um, in the DC zone. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. 
Wait, Speedy, what's up? First time chatter. Salty was so thrilled and he bragged about you and made a quip. <laughs> God. Yeah, that was fun, man. That made my day. Uh, him coming on and talking about, uh, if you don't know, this guy, what well, was a Friday, named Salty came on the stream and, um, first time chatter seven years three months he'd been following me never chatted in stream and uh, randomly he agreed to come into discord and talk it was kind of a funny little thing everyone thought he was a paid actor uh salty the ultimate lurker man oh yeah how's the house says uh broom okay um someone's asking me how do i feel about stamina dragonites um i really like stamina dragonites in pvp it's a bit hard in pve now because uh, you can't really sustain molten whip as a main spam well that was a lot of the fun with the combustion passive nerf so the problem with the stam stamina dk is your main spam is like just really goofy it, it just doesn't feel right like you can use a bunch of different goofy ones but if you have a two bar build then you can just basically just do all dots but that's the problem with the stand dk it just do it doesn't have a real big nice identity with the uh spammables the only problem with it it used to be able to sustain the magic cost but just really can't now um can you suggest the build to try oh bleed in oh blood drinkers and pillar of nern well yeah but i think the set that would work better is the um uh droves a car or whatever i think yeah. Kurt, what's up, buddy? Uh, Magavilli asks, building a mag sword, do you think Order's Wrath and Medusa's is good to begin with? Um, like, uh, for a one-bar build, or like what? Um, a Medusa's is okay with one-bar builds. Togman's will get you more damage, but there's more babysitting. As far as the Order's Wrath, that's a good set if you don't have a Trials. Consider Order's Wrath, like, a little bit better than Mother Sorrow if you can't do Trials. Oh, let's see, what are these pads? I forget where these secret bosses are. Stand on pads. Yeah, this secret boss one isn't there. I rarely do the hard mode, so this guy. Oh, here we go. Is this the one? No, this is like a deposit thing. I forget this one. Stand on pads, okay? Do I stand here? Roger that. Let's see, Cody said, I don't have a road bike. I have a hybrid something quick. Okay, so you do have drop bars. You have a drop bars, Cody, on your bike. If you don't have drop bars, you're not a biking sweat. But 15 miles an hour for not having drop bars is pretty good. Oh, you want me to stand somewhere? Okay. Keep working. Keep grinding, brother. Second little bath. Where I gotta go? Uh, I don't know why we're doing the hard modes. Um, Ben asked, what can I use for a one-bar Nightblade if I don't have Chlorians? There's a lot of options you can run. Um, a burst set like Stygians is really good. It doesn't have the proc burst. Deadlands Assassins. Dolomesh. Anything that procs like a, a little bit of burst damage off a heavy attack or a light attack is good. If you don't want like a proc cheese, you just go with new moons and you can just hit really, really hard. It does, you know, kind of wear on your sustain a bit. Um, that's a good option. Yeah. Oh, it's a two-bar set? You prefer having two bars? Yeah, I think the bleed em route is uh, Pillars and Nurn, Drozakur, and uh, something like that. But yeah, I'm just not a fan of the Warden. I think the Warden will be doing really... I think the Warden will be one of the worst for one bars. Um, solo, anyway, since you it, you won't have a pocket healer. Because, like, your main spam mode does really good, but it's purely single target. And then you have to have an Execute. So there's two skills. What are you going to heal with, you know? So your bar is going to be filled up with just junk. So yeah, the, the Warden is the one I'm really worried about and skeptical. I think it's going to be terrible with Oaken Soul and Solo. And, and PvE with the actual healer is going to be really good. So it'll be con very contextual. Very contextual. I'm ripping this puppy down, baby. Let's go. Big defensives.
Oh, Ash and Grip as a proc set. Okay. Um, let's see. Grumpy said, finally magically your veteran Maelstrom Arena app. Your tips you use for Xbox clear? Oh, really? Did you, you use what I did? <laughs> Were you watching on Xbox? My, my hands are so clunky, man. <laughs> it was frustrating me for you playing on consoles, but I'm glad I helped. Yeah, congrats. Doc asks, what's my uh, wish list um, for next year's chapter? Wish list? Um, I would like to see a new skill line, not in a class, but I would really like to see a new skill line, something to augment our current builds. Not as annoying to get as like Sitchiko Hooker though. Um, but a new skill line, I think we're we're due for something combat related, not just system related. That's what I would hope for. But we'll see how it goes. Oh, aggro the little critters. <laughs> Magic weapon skill line. Yeah, something magic related like the uh, summoning or conjuring like they have in every other test game. So like magic isn't pigeonholed into using stamina weapons all the time and like goofy weapons. Because magic just, what, you're gonna, you don't know what even uses Destro on the front bar really at high level. But yeah. I think that would be really fun. Um... Because they have enough systems for people just to stay busy indefinitely, right? With the card game and this and that. It's like, oh my god, you got enough for a lifetime. I think we just need something combat related. And yeah, PvP, I, I just don't think they'll ever really do anything with PvP. So, I'm just, yeah, just, I don't even know if it's in the cards at this point. Maybe it is, but I doubt it. As long as they fix the servers and try to give us a little bit better incentives to PvP, I think we're in a good spot. If not, you know, it is what it is. I'll get back to cloud rest. All right, so now we got the salamanders here. Let's see, oh, off balance. I can stun these critters, I think. Yeah, when they're off balance. Oh yeah, big stun, baby. Stun of a gun. Oh, that should be a good character name. Stun of a gun? No, no one thought that was funny. Okay, Roger. Drop a nuke here. It's the Elder Scrolls! Oh, let's get this kid. Trap busy. Caltropia is gaming. Fully charged. He is gaming. Heavy tech. Oh. Nope. Never mind. He's gonna clutch stun him. YOLO! Caltrops. Big AOE. Cleave daddy. Another salamander coming in. Really? Oh, who's chained? Who's chained? Work. Chain gang! Okay, red's bad, allegedly. Red's bad, allegedly. Mark's down! What man down! Don't worry, I got a Colo. Colo, YOLO, for Sholo. Cholo. Clutch block, clutch bash, not to brag. Clutched it. Another day at the office. Another day at the office, not to brag. One bar build, big carry. <laughs> oh. Let's see, someone ask, uh, any, uh, trouble logging in through Steam today? Uh, I don't log in through Steam, so I can't help you with that, friend. Yeah. Um, let's see, Cass asks, uh, what would be a non-trial set to go well with Mother Sorrow for a non-pet Sork? Uh, tr non-trial set to go well. I mean, Necrotic Potence is really good, but obviously you have to have a, a pet. Order's Wrath, a new craftable one. Old school Julianos. The problem with magic builds is there's really not a whole lot of meta sets to go with on the body. So you could always do Mother of Sorrow on the body, and you could do um, Kinra's on the front, Togman's on the front. Stealthy Sport, baby! Let's get it! Appreciate you. Steady Eddie, what's up, man? Cody with another one. 224. Climbing that ladder. Good morning. Thanks, friend, for getting that sub. Appreciate you. We're just chatting, farting around, doing some uh, PvE. We're going to test out this uh, Stam Crow. I think it's going to be really good for the Oak and Soul gang since everyone's interested. And it's really helping a lot of people. So that's what I'm going to work on today. Do a little bit of group PvE and then uh, probably do some solo arenas. Might have a friendly wager on it. Just saying. Might do a wager. So start getting, get, start getting your uh, odds and everything ready to go. Now, I think I'm setting the odds at a Vatasham trifecta in 25 minutes. 
Uh, I think that's pretty fair. So you guys let me know if you think that's fair or not. But I think we can get Vatatram done in 25 minutes. Uh, yeah. And we might have to do a big, a big, big friendly wager. Big friendly? Oh, we're going up this stupid things again. God, where do we go for these? What's this one? Oh, yeah, don't have to go upstairs. Oh, puzzles in a game. Unbelievable. Who was, does puzzles in a game? Okay, lever. What's the lever do? Let's just click it and find out. Oh, it doesn't do anything. Good. Oh, yep, it does something. Never mind. Disregard. We'll lay the order. Yeah, no death trifecta. Vatishram hollows 25 minutes. Now, it can be 25 minutes to like, you know, 25, uh, 59. So don't get it twisted. I think we can do it. So, yeah. As you were, boy! <laughs> Coffee, are you in the military? You probably got that one. Ugh. Unsightly said, so you would consider doing a late night stream on Friday for Xbox? Oh my god. Uh, dude, no, I gotta go back to the normal, regularly scheduled programming. I'm not built for nighttime. Uh, I mean, I can do rare events once in a while. It's easier for me to do a Saturday than a night stream. Like, dude, I'm hung over like I'm 20 years old and stayed up till 4 a.m. Like, that's, that's pathetic, I know, but it's just the facts. Facts! Facts! Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so Sardiner says you're giving away more channel points today? Oh, we might we might go for merch. I don't know how, how generous I'm feeling today. We might do a merch or a crown giveaway for uh, this. Now, I have to get warmed up with the VMA, though. Just kind of test the water, see how good it is. So we might we might have to adjust the score depending on how good this thing does. But we, we, might, do a, we might do a big giveaway if I... A big wager, that is. Because they're fun. Uh, cause I don't think I'll die, really. True sworn? Oh, I got this crap already. Hoodie time? Yeah, what's up, Romeo? How we doing? <laughs> Thank Mr. Seth. He's a morning person. Yeah, plus, like, with, uh, I'm getting off the lawn and go, go to bed at, you know, 8 or 9, get up at 4 in the morning type dude. And if you get out of your routine, again, not lecturing you, dad, lecture here. The doctor! Who needs a check up, baby? Doctor! Check me up. But yeah, I like I like my routine. If I get out of my routine, I make bad decisions. I eat like crap. I don't go exercise. I don't work as hard as I could on my business. It just goes to all crap, all right? Stick to the plan. Stick to what's working. And keep moving forward. Let's go. Buckle up. There's your motivation for the day. Come on. Romeo, where art thou? Romeo, hit him with that flex. Hit him with that exclamation point followage flex. Flex on him a little bit, maybe. Show him them biceps. Show him them calves. You never skip cab day. <laughs> that a whole day dedicated to calves. Shredded. Them calves just woo. Crazy, big money. Who needs a bicep day when you get up a cab day? Oh, I haven't even shown the cat. I got the camera in position. Ooh, Cody with the watch time, 17 days. Okay. Okay. Unsightly, you got a wager for me? All right, go ahead and wait. What do you, what's the wager? Arcane, I got four kids. I have to be a morning person. See, like, my, my son gets up, like, at 6 o'clock. Like, in, at 5 o'clock on the weekend, he'll get, a, uh, he'll get up at 5 a.m. on the weekend because he knows cause he can, like, have fun and play games and stuff. So at five in the morning, he's like, Dad, what's up? Dad, what's up? I'm like, oh, dude, I'm just going for my walk, eating my food. I just want to go for a walk and eat my food. Dad, dad, dad. Oh, pain. Oh, Indriel. Indriel, are you at 19 days wash time? And look at that. It's crushing it. Doctor is at four days. Pogue, 19. Pogue and, oh, my God. Pogue and Indriel are in an epic battle, of epic proportions. All right, hit exclamation point jabs. Top of the hour, remind me, do some gold. Since you don't have drops and, you know, you have to watch me now. No drops. Rip. Rip. Rip is gaming. Soupy, six days. Very respectable. Jeff's at almost two weeks. Good job, Jeff. All right, where are we going? What are we doing? Oh, it's up here, right? I'm confused. Confused he is gaming. Um, what do I think of the new Dovra Sabatoons in PvP? 
Um, I haven't used them or really seen it being used. I don't have it because it's like a nightmare to get those. Same with um, Mora's Whisper. It's like I don't want to stream for 10 hours doing extremely boring things to get the Mythic. But yeah, I don't know much about it. It looks like pretty niche and fun. I don't know if it's going to be as good as Sea Serpent Coil or Hoken Soul, so. But yeah, looks kind of niche and fun. Fusroda! Kev, what's up, man? One day. It's a respectable one day, though, Kevin. I mean, it's it's a very strong one day. Very strong. Are we doing more puzzles? Oh, no. Oh, God. I did puzzles like day one. I never did them again. Hey, where do I got to go? Look for a lever. Oh, God. Oh, God. Puzzles. Oh, no. They're moving things. Oh, my God. All right. I'm, I'm getting triggered already. I'll just let that go. I'll have to use my brain and think. Nah, I'll stick to Oak and Soul. They're real tame in four days. Love it. Wait, you said Vet Vatatram, no warm up, trifecta 24 minutes, and you have to do a pull for what class? Can't, Templar can't be one of them. 24 minutes. I can't pick the class. Um, is it two bar or one bar? And can I use whatever gear? I mean, if it's two bar and I can use whatever gear, I'll smash 24 minutes. I'll smash it on any class, yeah. Not to brag, but that'll be easy. Real, what's up, man? I'm doing good. Okay, Doctor, you said uh, I spent some time uh, yesterday learning the new card game. I can't stop now. Are you enjoying it? So you do enjoy the new card game. I mean, I, I've, I've seen people... They're just loving the new card game, man. And that's good. It's a, it's a new system for ESO people to play forever and ever and ever, but... Obviously, I'm not, like, a fan of it. It's, I don't know. It's too, like, intellectual for me and just a meathead. I don't want to kill stuff, but people are enjoying it, so God bless them. This is doing some damage. Whew. Some damage. All right. At a true sworn furry. There we go. Got it. My final test, brother. Get cat chat to join. Yeah, well, I, I appreciate the offer, but I'm going to work on that stamp crow. I would like to make a build video today. But that's a good one for the future, though. One bar. During all said I'm doing daily uh, Tales of Tribute dailies and all. What do you think about? Is it fun or a uh, during all is a PvP? Or are, you, are you actually enjoying it? Just something different for a change or like it's something you can see doing for hours and hours and hours? I'm, I'm curious. The first person to take a bad card loses, so that's how the card game is, yeah. But I think they'll probably get it tuned up and like some of the other cards that are OP. They'll probably tune them up and it'll be a lot. I, I imagine the, the card game will be a little bit better after they get some time to tune it. Just like anything, you know, once a million people play it, they'll find out, oh, this card's busted and we're gonna abuse this card. And that's probably what's happening. All right, so we got this critter coming out. Put Caltrops on him. Do a fully charge. Proc those enchants. So it's kind of fun keeping up. I, th I think the Magic Warden, which I actually do like playing in PvE. The Necro, the way I have it built right here, is very similar to, like, the Magcro. Like, constantly keeping up your uh, Fissure every three seconds. It's nice. And with one bar, I feel like I have enough to keep me busy. It would not just be, like, a Templar clicking one button. It feels like really strong and fun for uh, for this guy. I don't even remember the mechanics. I'm just gonna deep. So I remember there's two critters that come out. That's about it. Do not run. They're grabbing ice things. Good. Good. And like a third, 35 or 30 percent. I think the two atros come out. Uh, yeah. Here we go. So immune. So let's put a trap beast down. Get my blast bones up. And I'm going to use the Blast Bones Corp for detonating Siphon. Okay, Caltrops down. Blast Bone. Then we should have another one come out, I think, right? Might as well get this guy down while we're waiting. Yeah, there's a second one. Okay. So I got a Colo up for him. Fully charged. That. Bang. Use my Blast. See, that, like, it flows so much nicer. The combat flows so much better with one bar. You're just constantly keeping that up. It's just so much more fun. Got it. Okay, now I think we're down to XE phase here. 
And I got this. Yeah, let's kill this critter quick. Okay, now we can just blow up the boss, I think, right? Got that. Detonating siphon. So I take more damage during this phase when the screen's gray, but other than that, it's not too bad. My main spam will just heal on me like an absolute missile. Okay, Colo. <laughs> and bash. Major Vaughn. I can't bash it or what? Oh, it's just bug with the animation or something? Arr, that one's not. There we go. Got her down. True Sworn Fury. Don't need none of this crap. Let's see, Belfast, I've noticed on EU, there's a lot of PvPers in the high, higher card ranks. Meaning like traditional PvPers that have switched over to doing the card game, right? Because they're, they're trying to find some competitive outlet, I imagine, in the game. I imagine that's what it is. Melter, what's up? Good morning. So Darnold says it's taking me over. Really? <laughs> okay. I just never got that itch just playing over and over, you know, but... That's great. Hey, if you're having fun, man, and you were one of them making fun of it, too. You got to admit, though, you were them one of them making fun of it all the time. Now look at you. You're a card game sweat. Unbelievable. I'm um, sitting here and asking what's the uh, rewards with the card game dailies. The dailies, I don't know. Someone else might know, like Sardina and them. Yeah. Kevin says because they have a real leaderboard for the card game. Exactly. It's a competitive. It's an actual competitive outlet for PvPers. Just not combat based, but I think a lot of competitive PvPers and like the combat, you know, Cyrodiil and all that, they're just getting they're tired of Oak and Soul. The Sweat Lords don't like dying at all. See, Melder says Cyrodiil on console is much better now. The one bar is a total game changer. In what, in what way? Is it just because you don't have to bar swap and it's easier? Or can you elaborate on that? Should have watched my video. It was good. Um, Rob asks, is Scythe better spammable than Skull? I know it heals, but does it have better damage? I don't think it has better damage. Let's look at the tooltip here. So tooltip on Skull. Yeah, 13,000. Good God. Poison damage. And then this is... 10,000. Yeah, so Skull is much better. Venom Skull is much better. Pure single target. Um, but also, the, the Scythe is much better for average players not parsing, right? Because it's AoE, so it does, it does two things at once. Sets off balance, which is huge, and it heals you. So, no, it's not better for pure damage. But for what I, what I want to do and who this is intended for, it's better. But good question. Yeah, it's a huge tooltip on that thing. Ow! Yeah, here we go. See, see if how the range works here. I can just at least kill these critters. There we go. That siphon, man. Detonating siphon. Choo! Trap busies. See, the weave's actually pretty easy on it, too. I like it. So just easy or super easy rotation to maintain. That off balance is more like useful in PvP because you get a stun if you just fully charge or medium weave, I should say. Plus the AoE cleave between the blast bones and the scythe. Like I just look at that cleaving it down. Is that forty-eight thousand blasty? <laughs> oh my god! Let's do. Oh crap! You idiot! Oh my god! Idiot! I forgot the mechanics. <laughs> just idiot. <laughs> Such. A it's like, yep, just drop a colo on a nothing burger. Sick play, brother. Yeah, if I do a build video, I'll mention the, uh, the that's a better one. Oh, crap, tank's down. Hmm. See, how can I use my brain cells here? See if I can get him up. Give me a heal, brother! Give me a heal, brother, Oak and Soul! Rip. See, Krom says console has bar swap lag. Okay, so Oak and Soul is a lot better. But hopefully the console will get, uh, y'all will get the server updates here pretty soon, I bet. That's what they said about the Battleground Weekly Weekend events. Okay, so Krom says I, I'm on PSN and it makes combat much more fluid with the lag. Interesting. Okay. So people, I, I, I don't know if y'all saw the video. I, I keep referencing it, but it was like the top video I've done in like... 
It was the top video I've done in probably a month, actually. An opinion piece on Oakensole. It had 400 comments to give you an idea. Like usually if I do a build video or like a performance based thing, I might get like, you know, 40 or 50 comments. One day, one day, it had f almost 400 comments. If the Oaken Soul, the video was, is Oaken Soul the best or worst thing to happen to Elder Scrolls Online? And there was no in the middle uh, opinion. Marr! What's up, buddy? Thank you, friend. Oh, Sardina asked about, uh, gives an opinion or gives the information about the dailies. Transmutes, mats, furnishing, style motifs. One hour of gameplay. Okay. Thank you. But yeah, people are loving the Oaken Soul. I think overall it's probably about, you know, probably about 30, 70 people that, 70% of the people that love it, 30% that have not. So it's, it's probably just that where it needs to be on PVE is what the good thing is. All right, so let's drop this now since I'm not being an idiot stick here. Oh, yeah. Let's put that down. Get detonating siphons. The trap beast is rocking and rolling. I'm standing right in front of a flame thing. Of course I am. 51% looking good Looking good in the neighborhood. I think we have to go in the bottom at least once don't we? Yep, okay, so then bottom. Okay, we go tank go first, right? Yep, tank go first newbie is gaming. It's a trap. Look at this big AOE cleave daddy Get siphoned up. Oh, yeah Ramping up those numbers. I might be cheesing it. It's okay Might be uh, AOE cheesing it Colo here for Sholo Colo. Oh, pfft. look at that AOE, man. Big AOE cleave daddy. So that main spam will doesn't hit that hard, but it's no jabs. At least it heals you, though. So I think it's going to wreck in uh, arenas. Nice, boys and girls. We'll be get true ice staff of trees, true crap fury. Let's see anyone need that. Kinras. I got the whole thing collected. Um, Dead uh, asks, can you get purple coppers just playing against NPCs for the daily? I think it's the PvP version, don't you? Adam said, you asked for my comments, so I did it on the video. Okay, thank you. Okay, I've never done... Ow. I'm not going back and getting all those wisps. Let me see what the team wants to do. Um, okay, so for super tanky builds, which one is it exactly? Um, on my site, it's one bar tank for every single class. Uh, it's probably the tankiest would be a Dragonite because you have Battle Roar, but they all use the same kind of combination of gear and skills, mostly. I need the Fall Creeps if they want to do it. Um, Elrin asks, uh, do you need uh, DLC Clockwork to use any tr uh, transmute table? Um, I don't think so. I think you just need to have a transmute table. So, like, you could either buy one in the housing or you can go to a friend's that has it. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go do a... Falkreath told why I need this is I need, like, a 2H of, um... Uh, Pillars of Nern. I'd like to get a 2H of it. For solo play, it would be nice. What's up, Rob? Good morning, buddy. How we doing? Um, so do I think someone's asking, do I think one bar stam crow while level, or is it best to stay with two bars? Um, can you use oak and soul at a low level? <laughs> can you craft like how, how can you craft a low B oak and soul? Or you can just transmute it on a level five or something? What, what do you mean? I don't understand. Can you craft a like low B uh oak and soul? Oh, okay, no, yeah. You can't, okay, so yeah. You can only transmute at max level. You can't use mythics below 50. Okay, I, I didn't know that. 
Um, but so regarding leveling a stam crow, I mean, look, you're you're gonna be best using two bars, but the one bar is very very easy. So it just depends on your skill level and how you handle pressure. I am admittedly terrible on a necro in PVE because there's just so many really good buffs that you have to man. It's like it's like a babysitter. So for me having this one bar on, I can heal myself without even having vigor slotted. I can do major breach, big AOE. It can just do everything I really need to do. Yes, my DPS will be a lot slower, but I don't have to slot three bar, three abilities to do you know three different things. It comes in one ability. Like this ruinous scythe really is one of the most powerful abilities in the game if you think about it. Does AOE damage, sets off balance, and it heals you like an absolute hammer. It's kind of like puncturing sweeps for stamina. I slept on this ability a lot. No more sleeping on it now. Dropping a colo for sholo. You can do monster sets below. Oh my god, really? <laughs> Never knew that. But look at the dot pressure. I mean, I think it's gonna do really good. Oh yeah, this is that's just so easy and fluid. Like, I'm just terrible at the two bars, so this is refreshing. Anyways, yeah, it's refreshing. Yo, girl, what's up, man? Oh, Rob, you're looking forward to creating the God Plier. Looks like it, it's... Oh, it's really, really good. Yeah. There's only one new mythic I would change out on it. Um, but for the average player, it's still pretty much the exact same. Sea Serpent Coil is really good. Uh, Mora's Whisper. But the, just the, the premise of it is just so dang strong. And with Oak and Soul, if you want to go that route and use the one bar build, it's destroy. Clutched it! No one even played Clutched it today. Unbelievable. Y'all are sleepy on a Monday. Have to wake y'all up with a battleground with zero abilities. Watch me die over and over. Everyone would love that. Uh, let's see. Wally ask, um, uh, wondering Magmar blood spawn for a DK tank. Um, so thank you, murder. Thank you. God, y'all sleeping on me today. So your question, is it PvE or PvP related? Um, Magma Incarnate is going to give you a lot more group utility. Um, it's <laughs> a trap. No, I shouldn't have said anything now. <laughs> yeah, they're all going to go on cooldown now. I'm going to answer a question full of a maker. But yeah, Bloodspawn I like in PvP as I get deleted by the Minotaur. Lord Lord! Because you really need a lot of ultimate and uh, group play. Um, Magma Carnite's really good. A lot of times the tank's gonna run um, minor courage at all times, so it's a little bit redundant sometimes. But a lot of people are running Tremor Scale, believe it or not, for PvE. Bang! <laughs> God, that scared me. <laughs> Who got that one? That one got me there. <laughs> um, but Tremor Scale is pretty good. A lot of people are running Stam builds, so trying to get everyone to the armor cap. But Blood Spawn, too long, didn't read. I like it in PvP. No jumping. All right, I'll have to jump in the arenas though. I'll put it on for now. Uh, let's see, no jumping. There you go. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, so PvE, um, consider Tremor Scale a better option probably. Consider Nazari a better option. If you're just starting out though, I would do, um, I would do Magma Incarnate if you don't have Yolokrins, because it'll do uh, uh, a lot for your group, but Blood Spawn is really just if you want to pop War Horns a lot more frequently. There's a lot better options now, I think. Um, Rob, you're asking about Boneyard versus Caltrops. I've already tried that before. Um, and I couldn't sustain... I couldn't sustain, um, Boneyard and Skulking Blast Bones. That's why I'm using Caltrops. So I've already tried that combination. And it's too magic intensive on a solo anyways. In group, it's okay. But in solo instances, I can't maintain two. The sk uh, Skulking Blast Bones hits harder because it's the, the distance it goes. They're casting every three seconds, roughly. So it's a lot of magic. You can use tripods to get through it, but if you're Oom, it's a no-go. So yeah, I've already tried that. But it's, it's good if it's not long fights, though. It does work real well. And Caltrop just huge area just melts them. 
Um, have I played Stamped in this patch? What do you think? <laughs> you know how much I love the Warden? No, not much at all, if ever. Uh, no, I did the Bowden, which was kind of fun, but it sucked in solo arenas. It's hot garbage. Lord, Lord! How was that off cooldown already? Okay, here we go. This one's always bugged out. Um, pets bug it out. Yeah, this one always gets buggy. We'll see how it goes. Someone has pets out, but usually you can't do it if you have pets. There we go. Okay, so usually this will reset. I'm going to assume it doesn't. We'll see how it goes at 50%. Blasty. Got it. So it'll start going. Usually the pets will bug it out. Let's see what happens. 51% okay it goes away and mm, oh wow got it through okay never mind disregard belate at cow traps skulking blast bones Scytheon What I like about the Necro, too, is every time you cast, like, your Blast Bones and stuff, you're getting a little bit of healing and stuff. I think from the passive, I forget which one, but it's nice. Okay, got the boss back up. Um, got some, one, some million health. I'm just gonna kill it quick. Hold on. Ow. Um, what's my setup for this? I'm just using a solo build right now, so I'm using, uh, Pillars of Nern, Vicious Ophidian. So this is probably what I'll use in uh, solo arenas, but yeah, I mean, there's a million different trial sets you can run with this guy. Just, but this is just a solo arena one. So I'll do a VMA and Batatran all those. So a five piece Vicious Ophidian for resource sustain and movement, a five piece Pillars of Nern, just really easy proc set that does a really good amount of damage without having to babysit anything. Yeah. Maybe they fixed the bug, maybe. Calm down, ask anyone switch from console to PC recently. There's probably a bunch of people in chat that have done that, yeah. What you need to know, friend? <laughs> Sardiner said, am I ready for the event, uh, the event Thursday? <laughs> I, I guess. Um, what, do you, what do you do at the event? Just go do crafting rates? Sounds like a blast. <laughs> I mean, like... Uh, <laughs> Is there anything like, I want to collect or do in the event? Be honest with me. Like, is, is it going to help my character kill stuff better? No. Yes or no? Honestly. The answer is probably no, right? Like, is it basically just getting motifs and, like, non-combat pets? No, nothing against people that like that, but... Am I, am I going to be able to kill people better or... Do more deeps? Isn't that what, isn't that what it is, though, honestly? You can do arena and dungeon as long as one member of your guild is in the group. I don't, I don't understand what you mean. So new mount, catch up. Okay, what's the mount? Is the mount cool? I mean, I just, I got a super flashy mount already. Oh, this is getting one shot, yeah, without a tank. Jace, good morning. They see you got a new style. Okay, yeah. What is, what is the mount? <laughs> no, but you'll look better by killing. People. I like the look of my characters as is. They're amazing looking. This guy's not so much, though. Dead. Now, run, you said I came back to ESO for this event. You're just joking. Well, okay, then tell me why did you come back for this event? 
Like what 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 is like uh, good about the event to you? It has a golden classic riff or whatever, okay. Let's see, what's that one? Our tank's dead. Our tank was DC'd. Does it have it in the mount store? Oh, whoops. Yeah, we're not gonna just recover this. Okay, so golden set items. Wait, no. Collections, mount, golden. Is it already in there? Oh, it's not even in there. Okay. No, the new event comes out June 30th. It's like crafting rats, you know, get fancy new outfits and motifs and stuff like that. Yeah. It's the event mount. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I've never been really a big fan of ESO's events. Nothing against them, but just, you know, not my thing. If it does, I guess if it doesn't help my build or I get more powerful, I'm just not really interested in doing them. All right, so let's go. What's this one? Uh, not overlap, probably, obviously. Block. Oh, that does a big damage. Okay. What the loot, man? Yeah, but, um, anyways. Yeah, I just like working on builds. That's what I love doing in ESO. So if it's not, like, helping me work on builds and if there's some, like, really cool achievement I want to get, you know, just I'll pass on them. But I'm not like the typical MMO player. I'm not a big collector, you know? I don't have just collect outfits and shoes and Michael Jordan shoes and all that stuff. I'm not into that. I like PvP events. Yeah, we get two of them here. Um, Wake asked, did you see if this build uses the off-balance CP? I, I haven't used the off-balance CP. I don't know if there's enough uptime with the off-balance to like justify taking it versus something else. Uh, I just don't think there's a whole lot of enough uh, uptime. Like, now in PvP, if you're using Ruinous Scythe, it'd be a good slottable because you'd like the burst. But I, I just don't know if there's enough uptime. Yeah. Alright, what are we... Can we skip these things? Oh, okay. Oh, gotta turn jump back on. Sorry. Oh, as I'm gonna die here. Everyone can skip but me. Perfect. I'll solo him, don't worry. Rip. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Drop a nuke. Okay, let me focus here for a second. Let's see, CC break. So it's just the pillars, really. Okay. Oh, yeah. Good healing. Okay, big AOE cleave, daddy. Then we go to a pillar. We'll follow the tank, I think, right? Oh, go back. See, where are they going to go? Okay. Uh, someone's off on their own. I don't know if we're going to be able to get this one. Oh, there we go. Get back, get back, back. It's a trap. <sighs> Don't worry, Bark. I'll get you. Never mind, I won't. I'm too busy scything, bruh. Too busy scything. Okay, here comes critters. Critter attack. Colo them. Basholo them. See, I don't even need spin, really. That's the nice thing with this guy. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing. Come back over here. I forget that it's like a verbal cue, I think. So let's listen for it. I don't have the range here, I don't think. Nah. Okay, there it is. Yep. Verbal cue. Listening is gaming. Good. Someone died. Ripperoni 44. That Crimson Oath, man. Happy running that Crimson Oath right now. Pfft, this juice. Big dates. All right, Colo again, Fasholo again, back out, Scythe. Ah, nah, nah. Critter should be coming out soon, yep. Okay, there's sound, audible, right? So is that the mechanic? Yep, they're dead. 
All right, Pat, let's go, baby. Big carry. Come on, Cap. Pat, let's go. Let's go. Oh, Bob, run, run, run. Get where Pat is. NPCs must go. NPCs must go for Sholo. Colo's up. All right, we'll get him down. We'll get him down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do your, do your thing. Do your thing, bro. Here we go, Colo. Colo, let's take him home, baby. Woo. My heart's bang. My heart's bang. Ah! Couldn't get back to the pillar. There you go. Get it, Pat. Oh. Rip. You got it. 300,000 on a uh, tank. You got it. About five minutes. Arr! All right, exclamation point jabs while we're dead. If you want some gold, I got gold on PC NA, PC EU, Xbox NA, and PlayStation NA. Otherwise, we'll be sitting here for a half an hour. Uh-oh. Can you dig it? Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> oh my god, we got it down. <laughs> oh, Pat with the big carry there. Big clutch, res, baby. Good stuff. Uh, what we get? Draugr's Rast Shield. Garbage inventory full, because of course my inventory is full. It's the Elder Inventory Online. Why manage your real life inventory when you can watch manage all your Elder Scrolls inventory? They call them big. They call them big carry for a reason. Woo, woo. Big pack carry, baby. Love it. All right, let's do a... Uh, let's go ahead. Exclamation point jabs. PCNA, PCU, Xbox, NA, PlayStation, NA. We'll start the bidding at 300,000 gold. 300,000. Ready? Come on, come on. Gas it up. Monday. Where my emotes at? Where my AD bow users at? Get out of lurk mode. Get their tongue. No Get the emotes. Fill up the wall. Fill them up. Fill them up. Fill them up. Fill them out. Exclamation point jabs. 300,000 gold. Come on. Come on. More jabs. More jabs. More gold. More jabs. More gold. Where my first time chatters at? They're all gone. They're back to playing World of Warcraft. Five, four, three, two, one. Michael Ray Gaming. Michael Ray been following since February 7th. Has a Fallout 4 avatar, it looks like. Big Fallout 4 fan, am I, am I correct? <laughs> back to playing WoW. <laughs> Pat, I got him on that one, huh? Congrats, buddy. You can respond in chat. Let us know you're there. Otherwise, we'll re-roll in a minute. We're going to be battling on that. All right, so what are we going to do here? So let's go do... Uh, let's grab... I got Lava Foot. Lava Foot Ski. There we go. 20 seconds. Appreciate you, Michael. Appreciate you. Okay, so um, let's go test this out in VMA. Now, this will be the warm-up, so let's do a VMA for channel points, trifecta, okay? So let's do a VMA trifecta warm-up here. Um, so let's do a prediction. Now, this isn't going to be the time, but we're going to start a prediction. Uh, so VMA trifecta. So that's no death, no sigils below 45 minutes, yes? No, you can earn uh, channel points with this, which you can use to redeem funny, silly crap, or troll me with stuff. Okay? 
Next one said I downloaded Skyrim and replayed the first time in uh, 12 to 13 years. Has it been out for 12 or 13 years? Yeah, I mean, Skyrim has really good story and it's fun to explore and stuff. What gets me going on Skyrim is like the progression. Like the progression, the way you level up skills and so forth. I just oh, don't care for it at all. Um, let me go do a test real quick. I wonder how much Meteor does in comparison to Colossus. So I don't know if I should do Colossus or Meteor. I'm thinking Meteor because I'll be able to get it back much further, much faster. See, Colossus does roughly, what, 45,000 damage. Let's, let's just do a test real quick. Let's just do a test. I think in Solo Arena, it might be better to do Meteor. Could be wrong, though. Could be wrong. But yeah, Skyrim, the environmental storytelling is a lot of fun. I still prefer Fallout 4. Something about, like, playing Skyrim in the winter. Playing Skyrim in the winter is, like, it's just the best. When it's cold outside, it's snowy, you're, like, in the tavern, they're sipping mead, and you can hear the songs and stuff. Uh, I, I just love, I, it's like a ritual. You have to play Skyrim in the winter. Um, wager, we're not going to wager on this one. This will be a warm-up, just getting footage for, like, YouTube. And then Vatishram Hollows, I'm willing to put up big money. I'm willing to put up 2,500 crowns or merch. Uh, I think today that'll be the big giveaway for the day. I'll, I'll do uh, yeah. So I, a hoodie cost me like an arm and eye, but I'll, I'll be willing to do it if if I don't get it. So let's go lava foot. So I'm at twenty two thousand health. Um, recovery looks pretty good though. So let's try lava foot for uh, VMA. Might be too much resource sustain, but let's try it. Okay, so we're gonna do this. Is it's gonna be a warm up that uh, VMA first. This is a one bar. We're trying to test out. I think this will be very, very strong for the average player. Um, so this is not like the optimal damage. Oh my God, you're going to parse like a gazillion, blah, 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 blah. This is for someone that wants to play a Stam Crow, wants a very easy way to clear uh, solo arenas without some really complex things. That's what we're trying to build today. Someone to uh, help people. And then in the afternoon, we can go do some PvP. Yeah. What's up, Wave Wars? How you doing? First time chat. Appreciate you. Okay, so you did like, uh, you did, yeah, Rob, uh, you want the Men in Black new, uh, Neuro Spray to play again? We're not remembering anything? <laughs> Rob, you, now, you, Rob, you played uh, Divinity Original Sin like me, right? I think I remember seeing you playing it. God, I love that. I wish I could get, like, my memory wiped and play Divinity Original Sin 2 for the first time. That was a really good one, but yeah. Happy birthday! Spike around him! Bye! Appreciate you, brother. Um, sitting here asking, Fuse or Bloodthirsty? And Fuse is going to be better if you're doing non, like, uh, long boss fights. So if you're doing hard mode veteran um, dungeons, you're going to... Bloodthirsty is pretty good. If the boss have like, 20 million HP, are you doing veteran trials? Bloodthirsty is going to be doing good. Because just think about the math of it. If a boss dies in 30 seconds... Are you really going to see any benefit from Bloodthirsty? No. I'm not a math nerd. Y'all have more math than me. Oh, let me turn the emote wall off. But, um... In Infused, you're getting the benefit at all times. So, it just becomes a question of... Are you going to be needing... Are you going to be an execute for a minute? Or are you going to be an execute for five seconds? If you're an execute for five seconds... Yeah, Bloodthirsty is not going to be that good. Oh. Happy birthday! 12 months, Biker Man! Shocker, it's your birthday. Is it your real life birthday? Happy birthday. Um, about a gank, Nightblade, Infuse, or Bloodthirsty? My thought process would be that you're, like, your goal is not even to hit execute with that. Because, like, when you're, your opener, if your opener is so strong with Infuse that, like, your, your, your two attacks aren't even good. You're going to do, like, your first attack with a heavy attack is going to take him down to about half. And then your follow-up in cap is going to take him to zero or like, you know, to 10% and then you do a surprise attack after. But I don't know what the Sweat Lord gankers do. That's just my thought process is infused. Plus infused will help your healing as well. You got to think about that. But I like infused for general PvE and PvP, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, how big of a difference is though for vet trials boss? From normal to vet is an enormous difference. Yeah, it's a huge difference. Like, yeah. It's like doing a normal Fungal Grotto 1, doing like uh, Black Drake Villa Heart Mode. It's, it's a big difference. All right, here we go. 
Cab Black Bill, what's up, buddy? Happy Monday. Hope everyone had a good, safe weekend. Thanks for being here. Virus, what's up? Good morning. You bet Infuse versus Bloodthirsty on a vet boss. Um, you could always uh, parse it for yourself, but yeah. Um, it should be on Veteran now. Yeah, it's on Veteran. So we're doing VMA, Vatistram Hollows. If you're just tuning in, I'm doing a one bar build. Uh, so I'm running like a normal solo build setup. So it does have pretty good gear. Bitches of Fidian, uh, Pillars of Nern. Now, it's not optimized. I don't have like the right body piece and everything of Pillars of Nern. So I have like one piece trainee, which is kind of goofy, but that's just what I have to get through. I would normally use a one piece uh, Sororias or Scorias or Crags to get a little bit more pen, would do a lot more damage. So my bar set, just in case you're listening, I'm just gonna go over this real quickly. Uh, I'm using uh, Skulking Blast Bones. This is the magic version of Blast Bones. It actually hits harder based on the uh, longer it travels. The other one gives Major Defile, which is really useful in PvP. We're not worried about that. But the uh, using this every roughly three seconds just frees up my stamina pool. So the Necro really takes advantage of hybridization because they have really strong magic and stamina abilities. It's a great class for hybrids. So I have that. I'm not using Togvins. I'm not using Medusa. So I'm going to put Barb Trap down. And then I have Detonating Siphon. So when I cast the Blast Bones, I'm going to feed my corpses with Detonating Siphon, one of the hardest hitting dots in the game, plus slotting it increases my damage done by 3%. Huge, huge front bar nuke. Then I have a main spamble, Ruinous Scythe, okay? This is not the most damage producing main spamble, but it heals you. Skills off your max health, so that's important, but it just does a lot, a lot of healing. Not like puncturing sweeps level, but enough if you get in panic mode to click it. And then we get to the five, fifth ability. So I'm playing solo, right? And you want Major Breach. A couple different ways to get it. Razor Caltrops is your traditional one. And then um, what Razor Caltrops cost a bunch of stamina, um, lasts for a short period. Uh, oh, Anti-Gamer. Thank you for the Prime, friend. Appreciate you. Zero Dev, what's up? How you doing? Um, so there's Caltrops here. That gives Major Breach. Another option and one I experimented with off stream was uh, Boneyard. So Boneyard costs magic, but the issue is it costs an enormous amount of magic, 3,700. So if you consume a corpse, it deals 50% more damage. Now, this might actually be way better to use, but I want to see like in VMA, can I sustain the magic cost? So I'm going to stick with Caltrops, check out my stamina, how it goes, and we'll flex in and out of that. Now, I have Pestilence Colossus. So... I don't know if this will actually do more than uh, Mage's Guild uh, Shooting Star. Because Mage's Guild Shooting Star does 20k, does a knock up in 6,000 for 13 seconds. Well, this is pretty bursty, but I think Ma uh, Mage's Guild might be better overall. So, yeah, this is what we're going to try. And then I'll update the build tonight if this goes well, maybe do a build video. So, yeah. Uh, oh, uh, Sardiner said, whoever asked about veteran trials, uh, Sunspire, the first dragon, 18.2 million on normal, 86 million on bet hard mode. Yeah. And then Jace, 1994, you're debating on Oakensoul right now. Well, welcome to the stream, friend. What are you debating on? Um, well, I'm playing it right now. The too long didn't read in, on the Oakensoul is it just, it helps raise the floor. So it helps you just be better like with not a whole lot of effort so especially if you struggle with dps like i'm not guys gift to doing parses and stuff so th it just allows you to enjoy the game and do a little bit better so that's the way I'm, I'm thinking about it in pvp it's it's there's a lot of differences though Okay, better not die, says Pat. So this is going to be a warm-up. So what we're going to do is do this. I'll probably record a couple of clips for here for YouTube in case this build works out really good. And then the next one, we're going to do a big wager. So uh, if I screw up or not. So let's see how it goes. Pat, any thoughts on um, Meteor versus... Why do I got a thousand quests on this guy? Any thoughts on Meteor versus uh, Colo? I feel like Meteor would be better for this one specifically. Got a thousand quests here. Oh, that is Shram Hollows. I must have not beat that one. Battleground crafting provisioner certification. Pfft, rip. 
what's this ancestor ward deshaun rip holiday event ain't got any time for holiday events hey was this cake what the heck was i doing it's questing on a holiday huh Oh, Michael, if you're in chat, you won the gold giveaway. Make sure to check your Twitch messages so we can get your at name and platform, friend. Okay. Meteor probably better. Okay, that was my thoughts too. Yep, yeah, thanks. All right, no warm-ups. Okay. Okay, no warm-ups. So what are we thinking on this guy? I, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. The advantage of Oaken Soul as well is that you can use tripods instead of, um, you know, weapon damage and spell, uh, spell damage or crit ones and all that since you already get it. Yep. All right, here we go. Yeah, I won't be burning down the boss like a normal full optimized build, though. Did you say try the crow all in the first boss? Yeah, it does a lot of damage and... Oh, God, I'm hitting hard. Okay. This might be good. Let's see what that siphon hits for. Oh, 33,000 blast bones. <laughs> oh, my God. This thing hits hard. All right, let's just drop a meteor. We'll get it back quick. Oh, meteor just... Oh, me... Oh, that meteor money, though. Uh, dude, I don't know. <laughs> this thing hitting hard, dude. Ooh, a 600k score. Come on, JT. Uh, oh, yeah. Melting them like butter. Peanut butter and jelly, baby. All right, you're going to be gone. We got two clan fairs. They're going to jump on me. Yep, you're welcome to jump. Oh, my God. Blast Bone. Seek and destroy mission. Seek and just 36K Blasty. Whoop. Oh, you're about to get wrecked. Oh, look. You can, your ulti jam with major heroes. Some obvious statement here, but good God. Oh, my. Popping ults for day, brother. Brother, brother, brother. Dude, Pat, this is just destroying, homie. <laughs> this is such a good build. <laughs> People are gonna love this build too. Cause like you you're gonna heal like a truck, man. Look at this. <laughs> destroy. Seek and destroy. Oh, look at blast bones. Portal destroyed. <laughs> I love little blast bones. <laughs> but no, no, no. Pshaw, just destroyed them. <laughs> it's like you seek and miss. I know I probably shouldn't get a kick out of that as an adult, but I do. All right, so we'll probably... Yeah, we have 400 alts. You can basically, like, weapons free. Use the alt whenever you want, basically. All right, see if I can swap to alt each. No, I can't. All right, we'll see how Meteor goes. Let's refresh these buffs. Yeah, downside is getting the Blast Bones and the Detonating Siphon right away. Okay, here we go. Yeah, a little bit slow on that. Oh, pretty good, though. Actually, almost for, almost got it right away. Yeah, I, I think Co Colo might be better. Chevy. Yeah, Colo might be better here because I needed that burst a little bit quicker. Let's put Colo on and try it for the second boss here. Ah. So this might be tough. I might need to slot a heal for this one since I'm not... Oh, I have Echoing Vigor. Really, dude? Psh. There's not always an ad here, so I'm going to slot a heal for this one. Now, I'll lose DPS slotting it, but I need targets to heal, and I don't have a shield, so my thought process is just do a quick, quick change out on that. Because uh, I'll just eat this crap for days. Blast, he got it. So just keep the heals up, detonating siphon, send the blast bones on, and I'm, I'm going to fully charge heavy attack as I turn. See, blast bones just seeking and destroying whatever I got up. So I cast it there, and it's only one guy. And then uh, remember this, though. With uh, off-balance, if you have a class that does off-balances, you can consume the off-balance by uh, just doing a fully charged heavy attack, and it gives you, like, double the resource sustain. So just consider that an option if you struggle with resources and you set someone off-balance. Like this right here? Bang. Gives you tons of resources. Very, very handy. Handyman! Got him. Oh, yeah. Blasty. Chopping them like chopped liver. Who eats liver and onions anyways? All right, so these noobs are coming in. Got them. So far, so good, man. Just chopping them down, baby. Slice and die. Shake and bake. 
Eating chopped liver and onions. Don't be eating all that garbage. Garbage, garbage! Okay, rotate, rotate, rotate. Got him, Blasty. Just destroying him. Thank you for shooting a missile at me. Very inappropriate. So my siphon up, I'm gonna fire off Blasty, and then Blasty will just kill someone. Just, pff, look at that, boy, just goes through whoever's... I love the heat-seeking missile. Oh, she's starting to like this class. Can't believe that came out of my mouth. So let's get this guy down. Blasty should go chop them down, yep. The detonating siphon kills... Okay, now here we go, here's the boss round. I have 25 bleeds on me, I'm still healing through it. Thank God for Oak and Soul. God bless Oak and Soul, and God bless America. All right, Blasty here. Oh, if we can if we can one platform this, this will be epic. Ah, one percent! God dang it! I missed one crit. That was that one percent. Oh, this is gonna be like a forty-five minute boss fight now. Son of a biscuit. That's impressive though that it got it down on a oak and soul just like with vigor on there. That is impressive. That's a lot of damage if you can do that. <laughs> Oh, 45 minutes later. Come on, dude. Don't worry. If the 40... Oh, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Travel to another guy. No problem. I'll, I'll wait for half an hour. Don't worry. I'll wait for you. Half an hour. The longest fight. This will be f longer than the, the final round of the battle here. Let's see if I can kill this guy outright. Less dancing? More dancing. Hello? Tripod. Yeah, we're not even in trouble for damage because Oak and Soul just carries our survivability. You're just going to travel back. You're at 1%. You've caused me five minutes of my life. Come on. Are you dead yet? Thank you. All right. Now let's go ahead and put Trap Busy. Beastie Boys back. Got it. All right, so we're going to put this down. We're going to put cow traps on the opposite one. And then as soon as these uh, spawn, I'm going to fire off a of blast bones at the opposite target here. There we go. Yeah. See, that's the way to do it. So cow traps will fire off blast bones and we'll turn to our nearest target. So we don't have a heal on our bar with this setup since I put a uh, trap beast down. So we'll have to be kind of by a target. Otherwise, we're just going to get nuked. So this one will travel over to us. I'm going to drop a colo here because I'll be able to get it back up real quickly. Just let that let that go do work. Oh, dude, wrecking it, baby. Oh, man. Stam Crow, I'm in love with the Stam Crow. In love with it. Domestic, what's up, buddy? Wait, who likes living and delivering onions? K Marks, you always like weird food. <laughs> You're excluded. Okay, pop that over there. Got you down. Fire off a blasty. Get you down. So blast. Such, 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 such a good AOE. All right, bash here. So my HP is a little bit low. So I'm just going to rotate here. Fire off a blasty here. Cow drops down. Whole block. I'm going to do a tripod right now. My resources are just juice. I almost have too much resources. Shadow Define, what's good, buddy? Haggis for the win? What's haggis? Is that like, uh, what's the one thing, the Korean food I always talk about? Kimchi. <laughs> Dang kimchi. Ugh. Dad's always trying to get me to eat kimchi. Gotta have this. Like, Dad, I, he's like, oh, you'll love this. I'm like, what is it? It's rotten cabbage underground. Yeah, I think I'll pass, brother. Oh, you're gonna love it. No, Dad, I, I really, I like, I eat oatmeal. I eat the same thing every day. Oh, you're, trust me, you're going to love this. Oh, tell me more about it. Oh, you, you rot cabbage under the ground for a year, then you eat it. Okay, yeah. Um, I think I'll take a cheeseburger. Extra, extra nuke. Deleted. Thank you. Chop him. So, wait, Haggis is Scottish, okay. I'm scared already. All right, hold on. Let me focus here. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a colo straight away on her, I think. So let's do Caltrops, Detonating Siphon. We're going to drop it straight away since we have so much AoE with our main spamble off balance. I'm going to save a tripod here. The reason I'm saving a tripod is in case I get in trouble, my HP, I can just pop it back up quick. So I'm maintaining two dots. It's like right there, pop it, tripod. And I'm going to do Caltrops and do a dodge since I'm taking a little bit of pressure. I'm holding block here and then this big AoE cleave daddy. Bang, baby! Dude! 
Not to brag, but this is working pretty good. All right, let's keep brawling. Um, so what do we got here? Yeah, this cola is going to work really good here. Are we on food already? Uh, yeah, I guess we are on food already. I'm not even hungry. I ate like a horse. I ate like a horse this weekend. See what happens? I scream on Saturdays and I eat, I eat bad. See what y'all did to me? You screwed me up. Ow. Now I got digestive problems. I'm going to go to the ER. Way to go. Way to go, chat. All right, let's get that back up. Rotate. Yep. Oh, God. There's so much AoE. This is fun, actually. You're probably like, oh, yeah. I mean, I just do not like the Necro. The Stam Crow I just can't stand it. But this is a lot of fun to play it. Um, do I prefer Scythe over Carve? Yeah, because, I mean, Carve, it does have a good damage. But I like the dual wield. You know, the Twin Blade and Blunt Passive is good. But it's an option for every class, for sure. But Carve, and it sets it off balance, which is nice. You do get the dot of... Um, What's it called? Carve, but I feel like they've really nerfed Carve. Like the damage from actually spamming it a while ago. I forget which patch that was, but it feels like it's a noodle in comparison to what it used to be. It's just fun, man. Like, this is the class I struggle with, so maybe I can share that in the video. Is like, hey, the class is too overcomplicated for you. Start with Oakensoul and work your way up for better understanding and rotation. Rotate you. All right, fire a blasty here. I'm gonna drop a colo since I get it up so quick. Aid me. There we go, got it. Seek and destroy. Boom, 20k non-crit though. Wow. Ah! I, I, I love that this site though. It, it does look cool actually. Look cool, play cool. It's my motto. But look at my resources though. I always complain about the Stam Necro. The resources are just juice right now. Fire off that. Fully charge. And then block here. See how tanky you are? Just completely eat that. Again, this isn't going to be like a world record speed run or anything, but it's just helpful for people that struggle with this class since it's so complicated. All right, let's fire a Blasty off. So Caltrops and just sitting there doing my AoE cleave is enough. Look, I got a Colo up already again. So get that whole block here for this. I'm going to fully charge since he's off balance. Stun him quick. Then get this guy down so it doesn't mess with me next round. And now we'll see what we can do here. Okay. So we got some boss. The bossy boss here. Should be coming right here. Yep. So let's put Trap Beast down. I'm going to put Caltrops in front of it. Detonating Siphon. Cast that. Put Colo down. Push. 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 So this should be doing pretty good. Oh, yeah. Major Bone just forever for days, brother. Brother Caltrops in front. Tra Trap Beast in front. Detonating Siphon. Try to AoE cleave that down. Oh, we might get her here. Okay, so Caltrops. Let's see if I can face tank it. How tanky is it? How tanky is it? Oh, yeah, baby. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Uh, just nice says hi YouTube. Yeah, this is the one bar stamp crow we're testing out right now. So I'm gonna record this whole one so people struggle with this round. It's working pretty good. Got it. So we're gonna rotate here. Uh, oh, we gotta pay attention to the dude behind us. Um, we should be able to get enough. Uh. Enough healing consistently. I don't think we'll need, uh... Might need to put a Vigor on for the final one, though, to be honest. Yeah, I'll put, I'll put that on. So let's drop a nuke here. Drop. Oh, oh, man. Okay, uh, let me just throw Vigor on just in case I get in trouble. Uh, I'm in combat. Perfect. It actually makes the Necro a lot of fun to play since it's not so overly complicated. Look at that, 37k Blast Bone, self-buffed. <laughs> it's like trial damage. See, that? now I'm in trouble. I don't have a uh, way to heal myself. I can't swap. Okay, got that down. So I'm going to put this down, put this. No, this is not normal. Let's pull back, do a dodge through here. Clip it. There we go, Trap Beast. 
Put this down. Drop a nuke. Oh my god. It died in three seconds. Oh, this got some damage. Come on! I can't slot me. I'm gonna die here. Well, rip. Do my best. We got a lot of dodge rolls, though. You can dodge an ice critter, you can dodge a ball. Nope. See, I can't heal right now. That's my only concern. Okay, dodge. Oh, crap. Troll, 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 troll. Uh, oh! Colo, screw up, Panicolo! Look how much Colos we're getting. G.I. Joe is jealous of these deeps. Look at that. Waste to everything. Let me swap. Oh, got it. Woo. Okay, hold on, block. Panic block. Panic. Crap. This guy's all over here. I don't have any range. I gotta go deal with them. All right, let's keep my heels up. I'm gonna pull all the way in the corner here. Reason being is I can get those critters down. Yep, there we go. Good. Okay, yep, good. So we'll get this guy down here. We got two friends to come out. Oh, blasty 39,000 blast bones. What? <laughs> 39k, bro. You, you ain't gonna mess my run up. You're down. Oh, you're gonna mess my run up, huh? Son of a biscuit. Just poo. All right, come on, boar. Pew, blast bones. I want a PvP on this thing now. Jeez, wow. Uh, that GI Joe reference, that's a deep cut. All right, here we go. I got my potion. Final round, what everyone struggles with, so I'm gonna maintain this. I'm gonna get this critter down. Now, you can burn it on one platform, but we're not gonna take the slow and steady route. So I'm just gonna work on add control after I get this guy pushed over. So now he's red, I'm gonna do one bigger. Cast that, do a dodge. So he'll destroy that platform. I'm trying to get to add the uh, caster down primarily. So I'm gonna refresh my buffs here. That down, uh, CC break. Get my detonating siphon up. Still gonna save my ulti. This is not the fast way. This is the safe way to do this. So blast bones up, fully charged. Resources looking good. Get these guys down. I'm gonna fire a blast bones off in that caster. Come back in the corner. Reapply caltrops. Blast bones just nukes them. One shots them. Good. Detonating siphon. And now we can just nuke this guy. Drop a colo here. Colo for sholo. Colo should just melt him. Pull this back up. So now I got some Major Vaughn. Caltrops as they come to close the distance. Detonating Siphon should take that other critter out. Now I got all the little adds in the corner. So pull the corner, do one heal. It's too much damage. It's too much damage. Come on, are you not entertained? This thing's melting. Pillars of Nern, Vicious Ophidian. That's it. And then a one, a one piece actually trainee. <laughs> My, my gear is not optimized, but it's just absolutely shreddy spaghetti. Yeah, this is working way better than I thought. Because I played this weekend, I had to level... Because I'm doing a tier list on uh, one barbell, since y'all love those. And so we played some, but I want to do it like, you know, scientific. Very scientific. So I need to do uh, the, the same gear sets on every class. Now I was just playing, and I'm like, my god, you have like crazy AoE, crazy... Very, very easy. You hit like an absolute hammer. Good resource sustain because the, the crow really benefits from hybrid. Yeah, Pillars of Nern's hitting like a hammer, dude. But your Blast Bones, you're almost getting 40k self buff. And I can take off the training wheels and do uh, Trap Beast and do even more. So I'll see if I can take out the training wheels after this one. Oh. When I say training wheels, typically you don't need vigor if you're close to someone. So let's bring this guy over here. Shoop. Okay, get this down. So I do trap beast instead of uh, vigor there. Since I'm pretty much always going to have one. But I'll be a little bit uh, a little bit cautious here. So I'll update the website tonight and do a written vid video if this works. Vatashram Hollows is really single target heavy. So I don't know if we're going to have the same success with Vatashram. One way to find out though, right? Am I right, brother? So I got a colo up, so we should have the boss here pretty soon. 
A web spinner down. Got it. Let's do a heal. Swipe. Dodge. Good. Okay, now we should. Oh, just more trash rounds. So I'm just going to keep my uh, caltrops down. Blast bones. Seek and destroy. Get those spiders away from me. It's nice having an AoE spammable, though. Because you don't have to have two abilities for one. I'm just going to use this since I've just been sitting on a 500 forever. Let's get this guy down quick. With major heroism, you don't have to hold your ultimate forever either. Vatishram Hollows will be the test. Yes, it'll be more single target focused, so it'll be more applicable for... Because, um, like, VMA is pretty it's pretty AoE focused, man. You know, you get critters down. It's, oh, no, 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 don't blow up there. Don't blow up there. Okay, whew. Almost screwed it up. Nothing about Blast Bones in comparison to, like, um, the magic uh, necro... Not magic, I should say. Um, what's it called? Warden plays pretty similar. Three seconds. Am I missing a golden thing? There's no golden thing or what? Okay, there we go. Got it down. Oh, got a 17 dodge rolls apparently. Okay, get this down. There they go. Okay, I'm gonna drop a colo here as it negates. Can't even see the negate. Bash. Get this guy down quick. Good. You use Pillars and Reliquins. Yeah, Reliquins is not going to be good in solo arenas because you, you're not parsing on a parse dummy. So, like, sitting and doing light attacks on one mob, you're going to get, like, one light attack in. You're not going to see the adva advantage. Parse dummy, though, yes. Reliquins, very, very good. Got her down. Kill them all. All right, see if I can swap Fighters Guild. Nope, not going to be able to. All right, so we're on round four. What we're going to try to do here is uh, set up the round easy peasy. So I'm going to drop a nuke here. Just pff, look at that. Just clears it out in like a second, dude. I'll see if I can get my... I won't need a heal for this round. Look at that. <laughs> Just melts it. Crazy melts. So let's uncover the webs on all of them but one. We'll make the final boss round just so dang easy. CC break. So now we're down to one web thing. Right where we want to be. Uncover that. CC break, allegedly. And if you make a mistake here, you're so tanky with these, the set that you really can, you can make a mistake and not just be punished. Okay, now we got everything down but one. Right where we need to be. We can just go like this. Throw it here. And then Colo here. Uh, Caltrops, Detonate and Siphon, Blast Bones, and then just get into our Scythe Weave here, keeping our Blasty B up. Now we're going to do Blasty, Caltrops, Detonating, and then we're just going to basically nuke this thing, 100 to 0. Get out of that. Fully charge. 22,000 later, Alligator, no mechanics. Let's go. Let's go. Why are you not entertained, Chad? Am I putting you out of slate? Round seven, here we go. This is the test. This is the test. The vaults of Umbridge. The vaults of Umbridge. Oh, you fell asleep? Okay. Thank you for falling asleep. Glad I put you to sleep. I'm one of them AMSR or whatever streamers now. Yeah, no one wants to listen to my voice. Garbage. Voice of an angel. I should have been, uh... Should have been in, uh, music. Except I have no musical talent. Other than that, it'd be great. Oh, 100 to zero that troll, baby. <laughs> Easy. Oh, sorry, dude. I'm not going to teabag an NPC. That's low. So far, so good. Here's a blast bones to the face. Merry Christmas. Off balance. Boom. Medium weave. 
Get my siphon up. Good. Oh crap, that thing's clear over there. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, where's the little critter that comes out and does the poison to us? I haven't seen it yet. Just to remember he is gaming? What am I doing? Okay, there we go. Okay, there's a bunch of ad packs down here, plus this critter. Oh, there we go. We got it here. So let's fully charge. God, there's so much damage. Put this down. I'm going to do my detonating siphon. And detonating siphon's nice because you get ultimate for using it, and it, um, it does an explosion when you consume it again. Like, psh, like that. Pay attention, you louts. You might learn something. I doubt it. Boom! Okay, so we're gonna get two trash packs. I don't have a chains in here, so I'm just gonna have to let them come to me. Once the trash pack down, I think we get into the lizard round. I'm gonna ulti the lizard, though. So I see the mushroom right on top of them. I'm gonna fully charge. Blast, you should get them down. I'm gonna let that do the work. Here we go. So we'll let the lizard come in. I got a blasty going. Dodge this, clutched it, drop, caltrops, pull back, siphon, oh, easy money. Do your stomp if you want. Go ahead, stomp it out, no problem. Yeah, the sustain almost might be too high, actually. And I could, I could probably use the other morph and uh, not use caltrops if I wanted to, but that's always one concern I've always had with the crow is I just blow through my resources so much. So the way I got it set up is it's not an issue on this guy. It's almost, it's probably too much actually. So let's grab that, fire it off here. Now we're gonna get the round here with three archers. So I'm gonna do blast bones. I'm gonna try to kill this guy before it goes. Dang, it's all over here too. So we're, my plan failed, I gotta go over here. I'm gonna do one heal, get this back up. And then we're gonna have the lizard round here in just a second and fully charge off balance. Get him stunned, cast Blasty. This is on Veteran, yeah, I wouldn't do normal. <laughs> Y'all didn't believe in me. I've lost a bunch of uh, wagers recently. Y'all think I suck at the game now, which I appreciate. Very nice of you. Dodge. Let's do one heal just, for, just in case. Blasty's going. Uh, let's get this guy down. And then we're on to the lizard boss. Everybody's favorite in the entirety of those goals. Here we go. All right. All right, let me pay attention here. Okay. So <laughs> this is where I've been screwing up lately. I don't have a shield to cheese this, so there's gonna be no cheesing on a magic build. Colo. Detonating. Crap. Of course you would spawn clear across the map, wouldn't you? Thank you for ruining my day. Um, now we got the critters. Let's go ahead and kill this one. We can't fire off blast bones though. I think it'll screw it up if we do. So caltrops. Um, well blast ball, it's fine if it goes to the right target. Will it go to the right target? Yes. Okay, I can just fire that off. Do one heal. Detonating siphon. Caltrops back down. Let's kill this critter. Got it. Now let's do one heal just in case. Siphon, CC break, we're at 41%. I'm gonna use a tripod right now, just to keep my magic back up. Blasty, no heal needed. We're about to do a colo here in a second. Let's get this guy just to be safe. Deleted. Colo, take me home tonight! Bang! Swipe him, swipe him, swipe him! Round seven, deleted! Let's go! Let's go! Stamp Crow, baby! This is actually pretty good. I'm excited about this finally for once. <laughs> so I can't stand on Stamp Crow. People that watch me all the time know how much I can't stand it. This is fun to play, finally. Finally, I found a way to play that I like. Finally, Nubia is gaming. Nubia is gaming for all your new plays. Um, I probably should not. I don't even need Echoing Vigor. I'm not even really using it. Let's put it down here. So let's see if we can switch to... Do we need to switch uh, to Trap Beast? It'll even be more damage. More damage! All right, pull it over here. Watch this nuke here. Blast. Colo. Oh, later. 
<laughs> later, alligator. <laughs> ah, you can get the mechanic, brother. Oh, what? Got lava on me? So far, so good. I'd say so. Oh, what? Wrong target. Wrong target. It's working good with dual wheel, too. <laughs> that blast bones is like, and you just it hits them and just. I like you see the NPC's face like, no, not a little blasty. All right, where we got? I'm over here. Look, I got a colo up again. Look at this. Major heroism. I got you, boo. Sound effects are free, by the way. Deleted. Um, any tips on tanking? Oh, I got a gazillion tips. Um, I'll have to be able to chat with you after this. I can't concentrate on, like, um, saying all those things when I'm doing this run. But when we get done, you can bring up what uh, problems you have. I'd be happy to work through it. But doing these solo arenas, like, I got to pay attention. Bash here. Sometimes they do that leap that kind of kills you. Block. Detonating. And down. We're going to get this guy first here. I'm going to do one heal just because I can't see. Blasty, fully charge. Got him. Get over here! Push, 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 push. Oh, I didn't time my colo properly there. That kind of noobed it. Got it. All right, let's go back over here. Okay, uh, now we got this area, so a bunch of critters spawn here. Yeah, I can't swap to trap beasts, they're just always in combat. Bash. I just take no damage with as a necro. You just take no damage. You just so tanky for so little effort on this guy, it's crazy. Same with PvP, like the necro just so dang tanky. Okay, drop here, so I got a colo. Uh, I think we want to save it for the last boss, if I remember right. Oh, this is a tough one. I screw this one up from time to time. Okay. So right there, it's going to drop the banner. Okay, we're going to do one heal. Come over here. Fire this off here. See if it comes over here. Yep. Detonating Siphon. Good. Blasty. Dodge that. Just do one heal to be safe. Dodge it again, I guess, apparently. Um, not gonna hang out in that banner. Blast bones, get him. Get him. Get him, face tank him, let's go. Let's go! Might be a little bit slow here. Let's put a Caltrops down. Get this, and move off, let Blast Bones do its thing. One, two, Caltrops, that should be down. Yep, coming over here. Now, if we can do this right, we can win this. Here we go, Colo, Basholo, detonating. Colo. I don't know if I have enough. I didn't time it right. Dang it. Ah, screwed it up. That was close. Dang it. So I didn't have all my buffs up, and I took a couple global cooldowns to get it. But you can 100 to 0 there if you time it right, which I did not do. Sustain's looking pretty good, though. Usually this is the one that's troublesome on your sustain. So go over here. Um, what is the build with Oaken Soul? It's just um, Vicious Ophidian and Pillars of Nern. Yeah. It's all posted on YouTube with a gazillion different options once I get this done. We'll do Vatatram Hollows, too, to make sure it's good. Um, let's go ahead and risk the Biscuit here. This, I think we can risk it by putting Trap Beast on and doing even more damage. But, yeah, Stamina Necro, Oak and Soul. I'm running an Orc. Orky, Orky, Sorky, Porky. I don't think Oak and Soul will get nerfed in PvE. Um, I think it'll get nerfed in PvP. We're like... If you have Balor Spirit on, like, you know, maybe you don't get Major Berserk or something, or Major Force, I don't... I don't think it'll get nerfed in PvE. I think it's just right in PvE, to be honest with you. Because, like, if you're a top-tier player, you're still gonna do more damage with a two-bar build. That's exactly how it should be. It's not rewarding people to, like, do veteran hard mode trials with Oak and Soul. It's not what it's meant for. It really hits the mark in, in PvE of, like, me. Why am I using Oak and Soul on this guy? I don't like playing the Necro. It's too complicated. I just sit there and spam dots over and over. It's zero fun. I slap on Oak and Soul, and immediately I'm having a riot. It's just simpler. 
And that's okay. It's a good place to start. But if I want to do veteran trials and actually be like the best best I can be, I need to go learn how to manage those buffs and keep up my dots and do better. Which is just not the case. But this is a good starting point for me to enjoy the class when I usually can't stand it. People that know me know I can't stand this one. This is just so much fun. And, and I played this weekend. 44k boss bones. Jeez. Avij, what's up, buddy? Doing good. Um, any idea when they'll nerf it for PvP? Um, typically, I don't know anything in, don't have any inside information, but typically Zoss doesn't, like, update items mid-patch. Almost always. They wait for the, uh, next incremental. So I would imagine we would get it, or I should say the next DLC. So I'd imagine if we got an adjustment on it, it would be coming, um, you know, two months or something, or a month we would get on the PTS and find out. I don't know anything, but that's my guess. Yeah, usually they don't they don't adjust things very quickly. It takes them a month to do so. See if I can just look at that. The Hellbar is not even moving. <laughs> Hellbar not even moving on a Krim guard. And yes, this is veteran. Just psh, psh. you about to go down. Just so tanky. All right, I'm gonna grab a Colo here. Block. Psh, yes. Down. Let's get Siphon back up. Trap Beast back up. Do a dodge out of the uh, that there. <laughs> oh my God. Let's put Trap Beast down here. Blasty. I'm gonna park this guy over on top of all these NPCs and do a cow traps. I got a Spectral Explosion. Uh, canceled it. Okay, we got five seconds left on the Spectral Explosion, so let's pop it straight away. Three, two, one. Ricola! Pop. Deleted. Good. Ah, oh, this is the goofy round where, like, you just go to side to side. I don't know what they did with this one. So, yeah, we need a filler round. This is a filler. All right, shoot a Blast Bones off. Grab this critter. This guy up. Good. Just pay attention. Like there's a Krem guard. Oh, here's a Krem guard now. Okay, so I'm going to face it. Caltrops for major breach primarily. Look at that. Look how tanky that is. Because <laughs> you're getting healed all the time. And especially with the Scythe. Just constant healing. Just crazy amount of healing. Shoot off the Blasty. My Spectral Explosion. But I got a few seconds left to use it. So I'm going to time it for these other critters up here. So it should be this guy here. I'm going to hit it right here. Do a trap beast. Detonating siphon. I'm gonna fire off a blast bones. Just let it rip. It'll just die just sitting there. Yep, dead. Daddy spaghetti. Yeah, I think if we're frustrated with Oak and Soul and PvP, I think it'll get adjusted. Some of the comments I got on my video had really good ideas on how to adjust PvP Oak and Soul without screwing up PvE for those that like it. So Gil's not an idiot, the team's not an idiot, they get it. They'll figure it out. But it'd just probably be rough in PvP for a little bit. Just high damage if you don't like that. Okay, one, two. Let's see how this does. I'm going to save my ulti. Obviously, we got the final boss after this. So block here. Puny mortal. Always scampering about. You're a scamper, brother. Oh, deleted. Got it. Fire bad. They got this one. Siphon, got you. You shall know pain. Yeah, I, I know many. I know much pain. Pain I know. Brain cells I know. Here we go. Here we go, baby. Y'all believe in me. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Colo. Pasholo. Oh, it's a little slow, though, until I don't have my dots up. Okay, a little bit slow. Oh, I got down to 62%. Not bad. No, Blast Bones, don't kill him over there. Oh my god. Blast Bones hit so hard, it just... It just nukes them wherever they are. 
That's nutty. Oh, blast ones, go over here, little dog. Dog, dog, dog. Okay, you didn't know where to go. Go over here. <laughs> I just blew him up. Got it. Oh, crap. Oh, wrong. Thank God for the orc. Lord Warren. Lord Warren will be proud of this. Deleted. I'm popping a potion here. Oh, yeah. Oh, about 100 to zero this. We ready? We ready? Coming back down. Here we go. Fire off a of Blasty Caltrops as soon as I get it. Yep. Blasty Caltrops. This. Trap Beast. Pull back. Blasty. One, two. Block. Block cast it. Blasty Caltrops. See if we can nail it through it goes. Come on, come on. I almost got it down one one transit. Got it, baby. <sighs> All right, let's see. That was a trifecta, by the way, chat. Let's see what the score is. Y'all weren't believing me recently. Okay, here's what. Let's see what the score is. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 572,000 score? That's not bad, actually. That's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh, Maelstrom perfected Inferno infused. Oh, man. I got 100 of them. Might as well take another one. Oh, boy. Let's go, baby. 40 minutes. Not bad. Okay. What do we think of this build so far, chat? Dr. Piggy's mom, Big Flex, 1,000 bats, appreciate ya. Whew. What do we think of this bill? I mean, uh, this is worth posting on YouTube, right? It's very easy to play. Even I can do it. It's fun. It hits really hard. It's very tanky. And it's very simple. I think this is worth posting. Um, let's go ahead and do Vatashram Hollow, though, just to make sure, because Vatashram Hollow is going to be a little bit more single target. Um, it could give me some trouble in Vatashram Hollow, so I don't know what to do quite yet on the ultimates. Um, so, real quick, what I'm going to do is... Um, so, Vatashram Hollow, you have, it's, it's single target heavy, right? And there's this ultimate here that I do cheese from time to time called Rend. It's in dual wield. It is very noodle damage, so it's 72,000 bleed damage over 16 seconds. But it heals you for 51% of the damage done. I say I'm gonna try using this on ones that I need a lot of healing like the totally single target boss fights I'm telling you I think this will actually melt um, Again, it's not gonna be nearly as good as the other ones and I might use Kolo on the final boss but rend I'm gonna try it on Vatishram On some of the boss fights that I need a little bit extra healing, okay? Okay, um so let's go ahead and do a Vatashram. I'm going to uh, go AFK for one second. Uh, exclamation point jab. Let's do 200,000 gold. Let me go ahead and exit here. We're going to do a friendly wager though, okay? Um, highest two-hander DPS, precise greatsword. Yeah, precise greatsword would be the best. Nern's really good too. Um, I don't think charge would be relative, but yeah, precise and Nern would be good. So while you all are entering that, let's do a wager, okay, Chad? So I will do this. If I don't, uh, 25 minutes, God, uh, I'll screw it. I'll say 25 minutes. Let's go 25 minutes. This will be the big giveaway for the day if I don't get it, but I'll do either 2,500 crowns on PCNA, PCU, Xbox NA, and PlayStation NA, or DG merch. Not right now, but if I do not get a trifecta, Vatashram Hollows in less than 26 minutes. In less than 26 minutes. So that will be the, this will be for some gold. That will be the wager um, that we'll do next, okay? So I'm going to set up a prediction for more channel points. Start prediction. It'll be very close for... It'll be uh, less than 26 minutes. Trifecta. Uh, Stam Crow. Yes, no. You'll have 15 minutes to... So one death, it's over. And I have to do the giveaway. If I uh, don't get it done in 26 minutes, I do the giveaway, okay? Rob with the best. Appreciate you. Big job, baby! <laughs> First gifted sub, baby! Paying it forward from Delphi is gaming. Thank you, John. Appreciate those, man. How you doing? Doing good, buddy? 
Um, sitting here says orders wrath and wretched vitality. Is that what I have on uh, from the site? That should be a PvP build, not a PVE one. Uh, but yeah, the PVE one I'll change later tonight once I get it all set up. So that's what we're gonna do, okay? Big John almost getting us to a hype train. Let's go. One away from a hype train. One away. Uh, uh, one away. One away. So gear is uh, Pillars of Nern, Vicious Ophidian, and then uh, I got Dual Wield. Oh, better charge these. Dual Wield, one is charged straight, and then my main hand is Nern Home. So Nern Hound, Dual Wield. I'm playing an Orc. Let me just make sure I have all my passes. Uh, passive, 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 passive. I guess I always do this. I freak out and I screw it up. Scared! Half! You know what? Let's go! We're to prime that! Jeff Bezos! Rise in the roof! Fat McChad! Let's go! Another gifted! John's in second place! Coming in strong! Let's raise it! 300,000! We get level 2, I'll do half a milli! Half a milli! Console fam, where are you at? PC fam, where are you at? Sweat Lords, where are you at? I don't even have bow. Look at that. Bow? I don't even have light armor unlocked. Idiot. Oh my god, idiot. Big John! <laughs> With the level two! Dropping it! Is that John in the lead? Let's go! Ten from John Bird! Play! Noggin New! And do where? In their tongue. Dova King! Dragon Ball! Let's go, Thine Master! Where's my shirt, bro? Where's my shirt? I'll have to order you another one. Probably got lost. Big Rob! 1,000 bets! Let's go! Almost to a level three. A million gold at a level three. Level four will do two million. Level five will do crowns or something. Is it true I came back to console? Yeah, I played on console just for like a one-off event on Xbox since uh, it launched. Yeah. But I'm terrible on Xbox. I gotta get O console if I play Xbox. I'm terrible. I'm garbage. I'm less than garbage. I'm hot garbage. I'm disgusting, terrible, putrid. Garbage. But yeah, console launched, so we went back there just for a fun event. Exclamation point jabs. Yeah, I'm on PC, but I got my account back up. I had 400 champion points. So right now we're at half a million gold, exclamation point jabs, Vatatram hollows, Vatatram hollows. Console fam, I can only do 200,000 gold. I don't have tons of it like I do on uh, NA and EU. So get all, get all in, the, get in the giveaway. Get in the giveaway. Who this? Thad McChad, baby! Uh-oh, Thad McChad! Big energy, let's go! Oh, Rob with a 10-pack nuke! Oh, get down! Get shelter! It's a nuke! Ugh, while we're there. Woo! Woo! Sorry, I, I just took an opportunity to show the legs there. Thanks, Big Rob, with a 10-piece! So we're, we're at, what, a million gold now, courtesy of Rob, John, Thad, Thank Mr. Scared, Dr. Piggy. We get to a four, we'll do two one million gold winners on PC and A or EU. Or if you're on console, I got something for you, too. Look at those calves, man. Now, Alfonso, did you have a question? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to blow you off. But I think you had a question. If you did, could you please answer it again? Sorry if I messed it up. Oh, these hamstrings look good, man. Mass Pata says, thank you, Big Rob, for the giveaway. We appreciate you for the sub. All right, screw it. We can do this quick. All right, let me think here. All right, so let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Um, let me set up a bill real quick for this. So we're going to set up this is here. So we'll do one bar. Let's save this here. So we'll save one bar, one bar uh, high DPS, and then we're gonna save the exact same setup, but we're gonna save one bar, one bar for more like sturdy, so I can switch switch quickly. This is dressing room add-on, by the way. All right, so we're gonna switch to rend. 
weapon, uh, dually wield, red. Okay, so this will allow us to switch these quickly. So one build will be a little bit more DPS, and I can just click a button. You can actually macro it, but I don't know how to do it. I'll screw it up, so I can mess with it. Almost to a level four hype train. Two minutes, 52 seconds. We get to a level four. If you got extra prime, you can just kind of throw it at me. So we get to a level four, we'll do another million gold. What's going on, chat? This is what we're going to do today. Uh, I'm trying to do a... Um, we'll do a big rob with another 100 bits. Come on. We're trying to do a tier list of uh, one bar builds. And this right here, I think, is going to be one of the strongest. The Stam Necro. I played it off stream this weekend. And just I, I'm in love with this ability. Uh, Ruinous Scythe. It just heals. It's AoE up to five enemies. Increases the healing done. It's staggeringly good. So then Barb Trap is a flex spot since I'm not using Togvins, Medusas, or anything else. But I think it could do really good in uh, parsing as well. Lexicon Devil, baby! For the core! Another one. Sunshine Flame. Seven months. Courtesy of Lexicon. 40%. Thank you. One bar healer build is S tier. It's probably pretty good, isn't it? It's, a lot, it's a, probably a lot easier to manage, huh? <laughs> yeah, we've been working on these one bar builds, man. People have been loving them, so we're just going to keep working. So let me just keep going. Captain Black Bell, two gifted. 54%. Thank you for pitching in, Captain Black Bell. We're at a minute 30 left. 54%. You got an extra prime. Get us across the goal line. We'll do another million gold. Just about there. Level five, we get something crazy. Cats with Pika, what's going on? Happy Monday. All right. Um, thank you, Stream Lizard. Stream Lizard, baby. Chris Yankee, 62%, one minute left. Alfonso asked about doing big pulls. Joe the King, Dragon Ball. Let go, cry. Um, regarding the big poles with no AOE taunt, you need to prioritize the taunt. The hardest hitting to the least. The little critters, you don't need to taunt them like straight away. DPS is going to have to deal with it. You know what I mean? So taunt the hardest hitting one, the boss, the mini, the side one, and then you'll get aggro if you have some AOE. You throw cow traps, you do um, like talons or something, the critters will come to you anyways. I'm um, wondering about a one bar PvP build. Uh, I put it in, uh, we posted them on um, the website. We made a bunch of them this weekend. Thanks for the follow. 13 seconds left. Okay. 1 million gold, exclamation point jabs. 1 million gold, exclamation point jabs. Let me do a one minute AFK. We'll come back. We're going to run on this. In case you're just tuning in, we got a, we got a prediction here. Vote on the prediction. If I go and get it, if I don't get it, we'll do a bigger giveaway. But I'm going to do one million when I come back around. Sound good? Be right back, gang. Oh, let's jump, man. No objective. Just kill him. Okay. I got deals for you. Yep, just hit that sweep. Just hit that sweep. We're already in love with the game. I see it. Let's go up. Yep, yep, yep. I got you. I got you. Okay, come back. Just evade him for a minute. You're doing good. You're doing good. Or my flames, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three. Second. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm about to die, so never mind. I got you. I'm trying, trying to do some dodges. Use your crescent sweep in three, two, one. Hit it, hit it. Bang, that's a bomb right there. <laughs> the sorcerer's the bombing people. <laughs> I golded out the jewelry. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Boom, baby! Big bomb! Big bomb! Yo, this is my man. I love this thing. <laughs> oh, this guy just out here crazy man talking. Doesn't get old being crazy all the time just sitting talking to yourself. Says so a streamer who sits in his basement for five hours a day talking to himself. Uh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Rusty going. Okay, someone got stomped. It was not me though. And as soon as I say that, I got stomped. I'm not clipping that. All right, we're back. Last call, exclamation point jabs. Million gold on PC, NA, or U. We got 104 eligible users. Let's crank it up a little bit. Thank you for the hype train. Less than 26 minutes. Trifecta. Let's get the emo wall rolling. It's Monday. People are back at the office. Miserable. Me, I'm back at the office. Happier than a lark. 
thanking God for each and every one of y'all tuning in and donating all that stuff. I appreciate each and every one of you having a good old time. And uh, this stamp crow I thought would be pretty good. It's doing pretty good. So go ahead and get exclamation point jabs. Fill this emo wall up. Fill it up. Your emotes, Twitch Globals, I don't care. Let's roll on it. Let's roll on it, baby. There we go. Happy Monday, baby. Five, four, three, two, one. DJ. Extra, extra vertigo. Oh, crap. Hope you don't have vertigo, friend. That would suck. You're, but you're on the beach and you're wait, Captain White, well, you're on the beach in Greece. Oh, my God. <laughs> Rub it in, why don't you? <laughs> Living the dream out there, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's one way to respond on a giveaway. So, one million of you on PC console, I'll do something else for you, okay? Congrats, buddy. Thanks for responding. Check your Twitch messages and respond with your platform and your username, if you would, please. Okay, let me turn that off. Um, again, so if you're just tuning in, let me get the, the, the non-hype train music on. What we're going to do is Vatashram Hollows um, Trifecta. So if this gets 26 minutes or lower, I'll do a big giveaway. If it gets above, y'all can do something or whatever. We don't, we don't have to do anything, but let's just see how well it goes. I'm predicting probably about 27, 28 minutes. So I'll probably play a little bit more aggressive at the start. And then certain bosses, I'm going to swap out to a non-aggressive build. Okay. Grease. God, that sounds fun, man. Oh, wait, uh, real quick before I go. Um, let's see. Which is better as a main spam? Will ruin a Scythe or puncturing sweeps? No, they're going to vote. They're going to vote sweeps. Sweeps is objectively better, but Scythe is pretty close, actually. It might be the best. It might be the best one bar spammable. Um, because let's, let's think about it. Like, real quick, if we go like, to our main spam, we'll think Nightblade, what does Nightblade have? You have Surprise Attack, which is really good, right? But it's not an Execute. It's not AoE. Okay, what does a Dragonite have? What do you have as a Dragonite? Poop Rocks? Shroud of Daggers? Poop Rocks? Shroud of Daggers? You can't do Molten Whip, so that's out of, that's out of the question. Um, you go to a Sork. You're just sitting there doing pets and Crystal Weapon and spin to win. Oh, a Crystal Weapon will do a lot of damage, but you're sitting there with your pets the entire time. Um, Warden? Warden has the bird, which does really, really well, but it doesn't heal you. It's not AoE. So there you are with the Warden. You have a really good single target spam bolt and you have an Execute. There's two bar slots. Then you have Fissure. There's three bar slots. And so the, what do you do with your last two? You have to have a heal because you're on a Warden. You heal like a Noodle. And then your second bar slot is like a damage over time, right? Where this guy is throttling down just dots. Just hard hitting dots. And your main spam bolt heals you. This is why I'm thinking it's going to be one of the best ones out there. It does proc off balance as well. Yep. Oaken Soul, Essence Thief, and Perfected Soul Zones. Interesting. Yeah, Breath of Breath is not a spammable, though. Okay. Um, let's see what we can do here. So we're going to go green, blue, red. And uh, yeah, let's just give it a go. I think it'll be pretty good. I just got to watch my resources. It's single target heavy. Okay, we got this. Let's go. Um, style of my weapons, I think, are Moag Kina. Zoop. Uh, should be on vet. Let's check. Yeah, veteran. Yeah, veteran. It's on vet. It's on Betty Spaghetti. Don't pull the aggro on these critters, please. Okay, good. A little fast on the orc. Oh, I pulled the aggro on the critters, didn't I? Yep. Crap. Dodge. Detonating siphon. This is the gatekeeper, though, so all we gotta do is get this down. And kind of like jab similar to it, you want to basically hit as many targets as possible because it'll increase your healing, which is kind of obvious, but just thinking about aiming it. Okay. Fire this off here. Trap beast. We got to get this guy down before we can damage the little mini boss here, the gatekeeper. And then we're going to get bash. Trap beast. Caltrops. Fire this guy off, and you're going to do one, two, three bash get that back up i'm gonna let my dots fall off here probably yep okay good now we're gonna save a meteor we're not gonna use a meteor on the first pole because the boss will uh travel at 80 percent hp so we don't want to do that so let's fire off a blasty put this down here assume it's gonna go here 
And Blast Bones is just waiting perfect. CC break. I have a potion. I'm going to save my potion. Since I'm using Oak and Soul, I don't have to use like spell damage and super high ones. Here we go. So let's watch the spirit, see where it goes. Trap Beast. Get that down. A whole block. Potion now. Good. And Trap Beast will feed into my detonating siphon. We're going to reapply it. Just let it sit in the meteor as long as we can. Cow traps back down. Sustain's looking really good. Yeah, we're doing pretty good damage so far. Let's get back over here. Interrupt. Blasty. Trap. 25%. Oh, this is going pretty fast. Block quick. 14%. Let's see if we can get in two, we can two uh, enemy it. Oh, dude! Didn't even go to the third one! <laughs> oh, am I going the wrong way? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I'm like, I'm just going to jump off this cliff. Whoops. Um, can I explain why orders matters? Yeah. So in Vatistram Hollows, the portals get harder the order that you go. So the green one is the most annoying boss in the history of Elder Scrolls Online. So if you do it last, it's going to take you 15 minutes to get it done. Now, typically, why you go through the portal and the order you do is there is these secret bosses that give you, like, power-ups. I skip those. I don't really need them, you know, right now. That's what allows the run to go so fast is you can skip those power-ups. If you don't want to skip the power-ups because you need extra stamina, magic, health, or whatever, then you go in a very different order. You take your time, you go on these side bosses, and you do all this. Too long didn't read is it becomes harder and harder the more the, the last portal you go to is going to be a pain. This last boss, this Minotaur one, is an absolute nightmare on the very last one. It's just disgusting, no fun. So that's why I do this, even on stand builds. So I'm not actually going the correct order on stand builds, but I'm skipping everything anyways, because, you know, Nugget Nation. Let's get this guy. Okay, good. And then Trap B. So the rotation's very easy. You get three globals, and then you do your uh, critter. You're going to keep Caltrops up for major breach, and it's just a hard-hitting dot. Then you're going to rotate and maintain your Trap Beast. You're detonating Siphon. So you're not just, just doing the spam bolts. Like, really, Blast Bone's doing the work. Okay, now we're to this guy here. Should be good. Okay, got this guy. So we're going to do Trap Beast. We're going to throw here, and we're just going to run up on him. Zoop. Now, he should travel really quickly. We're going to save our ultimate for when he travels. Should be 90%, I think. Take a little bit longer. Okay, there we go. Now we're good. So as soon as it gets over here, I'm in a meteor, empower, some ally attack after that, and he'll do a charge pretty soon here. Nope. I'm just going to block cancel that. Good. I'm going to use a potion now. Just a little bash here, quick. Uh, now we got to go the other side here. Okay, good. So as soon as I get here, I'm going to do trap, do that. I'm going to block cancel, so I'm holding, or block cast, I should say. So I'm just holding block, still casting it. And then two sides, I'm going to throw my Caltrops down. You see my health's not moving. It's almost like I got Pale Order on. So we're at 64. Block cast all these. The real challenge starts now. So we're a little bit slow. 4 to 54. Okay, we got it to 52. Not bad. Stam's looking a little bit low. We got to be cognizant. So we come here. I'm not going to blow through all my resources because it should just uh, do that. And then you go over here. Here we go. So drop it down. Trap. Meteor. Blasty, do a heal potion off cooldown. I'm gonna use it. Just block cancel here. One, two, three. Trap beast. If those archers get tough, I can just go deal with them. See if we can eat it. Oh, it's getting tough. 24, good. Fully charged. Get some stand back just in case. Consume the off balance. And right after that, I'm gonna heal up. Should probably travel one more portal here. Just to be careful. One, two, drop that down. Blasty, heal, and oh, block. I got. I didn't want to mess with the meteor, so I just had to do that since they catch me in a channel. So not the fastest single target for sure, but very, very survivable. Kaji, what's up? Okay, good. We're going to skip all this. I'm going to hit a tripod right now to get my resources back up. We're looking good. So we're just going to skip all these mobs, and you can kill these mobs, and basically what people do is just drag them to the gatekeeper and kill them, or kill them as they walk. But that's if you're going for a score. So we're not necessarily going for score, we're just going for time. So we're going to skip probably all the unnecessary stuff. And then there, bangs. Right. Bash it, 
and it's, it has that circle above its head, so if I consume that, I get a lot of resources back. So we should be able to use this setup until the final little critter, and then we're gonna have to change it up and do a little bit more survivability. So not the greatest single target, very, very good AoE though. Now we'll get a Twilight. I'm gonna throw a Blasty at it. Throw cow traps at it, fully charged. Try to land everything at once. And just gonna get the siphon up, backpedal through. Otherwise, it's gonna just join us and be a nightmare to deal with. Okay, siphon, bash, blasty. One, two, cow traps, blast bones. So it's so much easier to get in the rhythm with a one bar versus a two bar. On the two bar build, you're just like, you, you almost not only need to have a main spam because well, you're constantly just cycling through things. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna swap to Colo for this just real quick. Good. So fire off a of Blast Bones here. Trap Beast. And then Colo right here. So usually this guy has a little bit less HP, so I'm just gonna, or a little bit more. So I'm gonna try to get him down at one time. So that's why I'm doing this here. So Sculpture's at 60-some, good. Put my Trap Beast on this guy, fully charged, get my resources back up. Caltrops again, bash that. Now I'm in trouble, so I gotta do some attacks. Sculpture's a little bit high, so I'm gonna get him down, bring him back here. Detonating Siphon. Hit me in the face. Protect me, Dreadlord! Should break it, break it. It did not, it bugged out, so that's good. Was right on the ledge and didn't, so I'm gonna have to sit here and eat these attacks for a while. Lovely. And it travels, so we have to go all the way over here. Yeah, great. Now I have an ulti though, so there we go. So that should actually destroy it. Good. Drop a colo down, see if we can get them all dead. Get them dead. Protect me, Dreadlord! So not the fastest, but went pretty good there. Okay, looking good. So what I'm gonna do here is just like kill critters in between. Just trying to get my ulti up. And then we're gonna get to the dragon, which is like pure single target, and it's kinda like hell on earth for <laughs> melee builds that don't have pale order. It seems like the design philosophy of this next guy I'm gonna face was pretty much um gotta use pale order. Sly says you PDP Bizarro, what does he play? I had no idea he played this game. Um he played a couple of times, but he, we we set him up with the magic sword. Yeah, so we played a Magic Sork together and he had a good time, but we didn't get him to end game, just kind of lobies. So it's kind of a big of a time investment to get you to CP 160. We just didn't have enough time to grind, but give him another, you know, 5 10 hours of grind and then he'll be at end game. And Sork's one that you don't it's pretty easy to get the gear sets. Yeah, it's definitely designed for pale order. That's okay, we're gonna make some adjustments. So again, I'm gonna make an adjustment. This is gonna slow down our DPS significantly. And so this is dressing room add-on. A lot of people use this for like, um, oh, you know, in trials, they can swap skills and stuff. It doesn't swap morphs and stuff, but it can it can do pretty good. Um, do you have a list of good PVP sets anywhere? Yeah, ev I have every single build is updated. So I got magic and stamina. Every single class. I got healers, I got tanks, I got one bar, I got two bar. All on my website with all the gear options, with flex bots, it's all on my website. Completely free for you to look at. So I'll just say, look at that. How long until they nerf Oaken Soul? I think it's gonna be until the next, um, I don't think they'll nerf it for PvE though. But I think next uh, update they'll, they'll nerf it. So probably two, three months or something, yeah. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna go, it's gonna be a slow, painful, steady race here. So I'm gonna use Rend, since I do not have the healing and I don't wanna have to use Vigor all the time. Let's see what the uptime is on Rend. 16 seconds where it just absolutely carries my healing. So I'm gonna use a potion when I need some healing, I'm getting low on gas. Yeah, damage is gonna be a little bit low. So Rend's out right now. We got Eyeball Critter here. So I have Vigor, which slows down my DPS significantly since I don't have a trap beast on but it's better than dying okay good so now that that'll die i'm gonna fire up a, a critter and then i'm gonna hit rend so i got 16 seconds where i'm pretty much gonna do crazy amounts of healing 
So I'm gonna use a potion here to keep my stam high. I ate that, which I shouldn't have, so I wasn't paying attention like an idiot. Caltrops, yeah, it's gonna be really slow, unfortunately. So Barb Trap will speed it up significantly. Um, it'll make everything hit harder on your crits. But we gotta go slow. S same with the ultimate of choice. It's good for survivability, not good for damage. So that's okay. Better than dying. So the same thing here. And this is how I got trifectas actually with Alpel Order. I got trifectas on every single class with Alpel Order. How I did it was use Rend with Dual Wield, and then I use potions and consumables. So you can actually do the exact same thing and just face tank it like this. You don't have to have Pale Order to get those scores. Okay, let's get the eyeball thing down. Shoot the thing here. Good. Let's get it down. Okay, so now we're at 19. We're going to hit a Rend here. Big heal. So Rend will carry our survivability. Tripod off cooldown. Good. Bash. Yeah, we're not going to hit the time, unfortunately, I don't think. This is just taking way too long. So I might risk it here. Psh, risk the biscuit, yeah. Let's go switch back to the risky setup because it's just way too slow doing it that way. Okay, there we go. OTC, what's up? First time chatter, how you doing? Uh, what's up, Plague? How we doing? Brimstone Den. Let's kill these critters, otherwise they just like take over the entire map quick. They're just easy to take over, and then you the clan fears are what kills you typically. Let's see my foods out. Uh I'm using lava foots. Let's go just take another one just in case. Good. Okay, so the two clan fears are down there doing their thing. I'm gonna fire off this. Get this here. Trap busy. So now I'm gonna face over here. Just so gonna see what's going on. See that big, huge fire line? Don't want to eat that. I got a potion if my health dips like this. Health dips. Tripod off cooldown. Because this critter came. I'm just gonna block cast for a second. Block cast. Got her down. Woo! That was close, actually. Got, got lucky. Got lucky. Got it. Pfft. Okay, got that one down. Now we're gonna switch just real quick to this setup. Get a Vigor. Nova, what's up, yo? You've never done Vatashram? Well, just realize it's, it can be difficult, but it's difficult for everybody at first. It's worth doing because it challenges yourself and you can like push your builds to a new level and your understanding of the game. No one's gonna heal for you. No one's tanking for you. It's all down to you. So it's it's good to do and you have really good gear sets as well, but It'll be a struggle just like anything else when you try anything new at life, right? If I go try fishing tomorrow, I'm gonna suck at fishing Even though I did it for a hundred years, I'll probably still suck at it. All right, Colo here Now let's see how our survivability and everything is We're taking the training wheels off. So I got zero healing beside my main spammable Come on, Okinso. Carry me. Take me home. All right, now we got critters, so I'm going to put a cow traps on them. Now this guy should come over here, so they ask. the cow trap should kill those guys, hopefully. Just bad positioning. So a whole block, try to get them down quick. I'm going to swipe them just a couple times here, just to clear them out. It's a slow route, since I don't have pale order, but again, better than dying. So we're going to take that, hit the synergy on this boss, put cow traps down, get our siphon back up. I'm going to put this over here, do a colo on the boss. Caltrap should just basically nuke these guys, hopefully. Got it. And managing the little critters takes a lot of time off your target, but you can do it a little bit easier if you're playing a range build. We're not playing range. No luck. No luck. Block. Oh, I gotta get, get closer to a heal. Gotta get closer. I'm taking too much pressure. Yeah, it's gonna be about a 30-minute run now. Dang it. Well, well y'all will benefit from the 30-minute run. It's going way too slow. Still very, very good, but single target wise, the, the build is doing very successful in, in uh, survivability and AoE. Not so much the way I have it set up for pure single target, which is really what this is about. Pure single target and 
parsing with the pale order. All right, rock toss here. Got it down. Woo. Okay, um, now we're gonna switch to a more survivability setup since we're taking forever, anyways. And Bokensol, take me out, Lon. What's up? I'm still in the combat. Okay, lovely. Still in combat for 15 minutes. Okay, now we're gonna take it slow. Um, where do you get Oakensoul? I think you get a, you can hit exclamation point Oakensoul. I have a video and a you uh, post on my website. It's through the Mythics. So Mythics, you have to be a subscriber, have Graymore. It's basically a skill line you have to level. It's kind of like ESO's weird like archaeology thing. And then once you get that leveled up and you have level seven, you can dig up the gold leaves. So you basically just run around doing weird tasks. And then when you have all five gold, you assemble it together. But yeah, I don't know if a mod can put it in chat or what. Pull back over here. Okay, now we're gonna get to this hard one. This is a tough one here. So I'm gonna hit this. Ah, oh, crap, I'm doing it too early. Ah, oh, crap, I screwed this up. Oh, usually you wanna let this guy go, so I might aggro this guy on accident, but one way to find out, I guess. And I aggroed the flame. Yeah, I'm basically terrible run here. Mm, potion off cooldown. Potion carry me good. You don't want to aggro the big flame colossus or you're going to have like a 15 minute fight on your hand. Okay, good. Get you down. Yeah, terrible play here. Okay. Bring the, try to get this flame atro back here. Jeez, I got some HP on him. Um, usually I hug the side and I never aggro this one, but apparently since I have a giveaway set on it, it wants to do it. Okay, now it's fully charged here. Um, any tips for leveling scrying? Yeah, you basically go to the Artanium and do green and blue to purple. Once you get purple done, you have to uh, go to different zones. But the Artanium, the Cidric Order one is really where you want to go. It's kind of slow and steady. Let's see if I can heal myself. This is the tough one. I got to focus here. Heal, potion, swipe, swipe. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, got her done. Well, um, let's see. Do I risk the biscuit here? I'm not gonna risk. I'm gonna play it safe since we're not gonna get the speed run anyways. Cheesy pops, baby. What's good? Thanks for the Risa. Appreciate you. I won the last prediction, Coconuts. They didn't believe on VMA. VMA is a lot more AOE focused, so this is really single target. So let's do Rend here. Yeah, really high damage against me. Protect me, Dreadlord! All right, pull that in there. Good, fully charge. Woo. God, that got some damage. Damage. All right, we're going to save an ult until we get to the other little critter. Zoop. Should be at 70%, so I got that. Put Caltrops down, refresh. I'm going to use a potion now just so I get it off cooldown and can help with some of my survivability and resources. Okay, so we'll probably need it again here in a second. Just rotate, try to avoid some of those attacks. Now I'm looking in my peripheral vision for the red orb so I can run to it pretty quickly. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, there it is in the corner. So now we're gonna bring this dude on top of this dude. We're gonna do Caltrops, Blast Bones. I'm gonna do Rend. I'm gonna move out of there. Just fire off Blasty. We're trying to get them both down at the same time and don't wanna go in there until I can see what's happening. Good, oh, it's gonna be risky. Screw it. YOLO! It's a Monday, Monday YOLO. Dodge that, big clutch dodge, not to brag. Blast Bones takes us home. Oh, easy money. Potion off cooldown, so I'm gonna go ahead and yoink that. Now we should have the second one coming up soon. Okay, dodge through that. See if I can, ah, oh, dang it, the dodge didn't work. There we go, gotta dodge, save me some, uh, 
Some HP ski. Bang! Pickles! Oh god. KG with the prime. Bruce yeah, eat ya. <laughs> yeah. Why y'all so and do stuff when it's hard for me? Okay. Clutch day! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get him all on cooldown. Go ahead. Go ahead. Get get your get your fun out. <laughs> get your fun out. Oh, me with the struggle buses for real. Oh. Oh, it's, it's a, a trap. trap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go have fun. God bless you. All right. Got it. Lord <laughs> you guys. <laughs> All right, final boss. Uh, I'm not going to do Trap Beast since I, I'm not running fast here anyway, so we're just going to keep it slow and steady. Slow and steady. Just like mama's cooking. Ah, screw it. I'm going to do Trap Beast. Yep, screw it. We're going to do a modified YOLO version here. Trap Beast. Trap Beast. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. We can do it. We can do it with Tripods. So we'll use Tripod as a big heal and then Rend as a big heal. So we have a Major. Let's do Rend right here. Send me more power! Oh god, it's going slow. Single target. Oh my god, about to fall asleep. Oh, look who comes. Our friend, Shreddy Spaghetti over here. Send me more power! Please don't say that, actually. Oh, got him down. Easy. See, send me more power. Yeah, keep them coming, baby girl. Minions come forth, of course. Minions forth, I come. Um, psh, uh, we're not gonna risk it. Poop. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, there's three of them. Oh, there's four ads. Perfect! Thanks, everyone, for coming to the party. I'm glad I died there. <sighs> well, there you go. Runs over. Runs over. Rip. Rip a Roni. Couldn't get it done. Let's keep the same setup, though. One death. God, four or five ads? I saw the four or five ads come. I'm like, <laughs> want to buy pill order? Pill order carry, please. Please. Minions offer me strength. I did a bad play there. I think what I need to do is um, hit the NPCs with the Ren. I got clipped by three of them at the same time. Just not enough. Send me more power. Yeah, yeah. Well, might as well summon your death lines too. There you go. Summon your death lines. Why not? So I'm going to hit these right here. That should... Oh, God. Another one spawn. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, my God. So much damage. <laughs> Oh, uh, built for pale order, literally. <laughs> I mean, just built for pale order or super high damage. Okay, now we got one critter here, potion off cooldown. Jeez. Well, that was a better strat there is to use the uh, rend on the big critters so the healing kept coming for a longer time. <sighs> okay, now we got this guy down. So the downside is Ren's gonna do nothing burger for us here, but yeah, it's just hard to balance the ultis, especially if you don't have a heal on, because you need the damage from the dots. One of the downsides of this, the one bar, especially if you're playing with a dot class, it does have some downsides, because I would consider the Necro a dot class. Oh, we're coming out at 30%, not bad. Okay, not bad. Oh, 35%, not bad. We're not having a Colo, that's pretty good, actually. Come on, Blasty. Minions come forth. Oh, great. Lovely. Lovely minions. I'm going to hit him with the rend here. Oh, crap. I'm not going to have an ulti. God dang it. Complete noob missile play. God dang it. Oh, man. All right. 45 minutes later. Get ready. Take a nap. Get your pillows out. Get ready. Take a nap. Caltrops, that. Oh, I gotta run back up. Thank God for major heroism. Minions come forth. Oh, looking pretty good on damage. Okay, put Caltrops back up one more time. Blasty one more time. We should be good. So we're at 30 some. Not bad. Not bad. Got it. And we're at 30, 40. Yeah, I could have gone a lot better. 
my 15 minute snare on me. So trap. Now I gotta watch the side here so I don't hit the wrong target. Detonate and siphon. 30%. I think I can push it over probably. Let's try it. Let's try our siphon again. Clutch it! Oh, oh. My soul will be infinite. Lovely. Okay, got it. Shh. Dang it, we got an archer. Son of a biscuit. Um, hmm, how am I gonna play this? Mm -mm -mm. Okay, one, two, brand, don't kill me. Good. Good. Okay, the archer is gonna be trouble. Let's pull back. Caltrops, shoot that. Yeah, we're gonna come out with like zero. Potion off cooldown, we're gonna hit it. Oh, it's taking so much, so much, so much, so much. Trap beast. We gotta deal with this archer. Let's try to AoE cleave them both down. Yeah, it's gonna be a long haul when we come out of here. Okay, good. We're at 41%. Not too bad. Okay, good. <laughs> Zero said I've been napping since I got here. Uh, you're welcome. I'm glad you have a nap today. What hit me like a hammer? Oh, Casker. Good thing I spawned in the right spot here. Good. Minions come forth. I'm gonna hit him with that. Who will offer strength? Crap. And a blob. And a blob. And an archer. I can't see the archer, of course. Uh. God, it's... Oh, jeez. Uh, well, I mean, the single target is a bit slow, but the AoE is really, really good. Okay, did we get anything we needed? No, nah, I think we have everything collected in here. See what the final score is. One death. That's probably about 30 minutes on that run, I think. 27 minutes. That's actually halfway close to what I wanted. Huh. One death, 27 minutes. That's not bad. Okay. Well, a little bit less uh, rip on the no. But a little bit less deeps. Single target than I'd have liked. Um, cause taking a spot for Vigor is very, very hard. It lowers your DPS significantly, but it's still not too bad. It's still not too bad. All right, let me go ahead and set up a giveaway then since I lost these wagers like I always do. Um, let me go to stream elements here a second. Okay. Giveaway. Now, I'm not gonna do it right now. Y'all gonna have to wait till the end of the stream. So we'll say, uh, losing, uh, no, we'll do, uh, whoops. Oh, what is this? out of there uh crowns or merch giveaway 1x can pick between 2500 crowns or dg merch must be follower respawn in one minute do not have crowns on psn eu xbox eu buckle up there we go. Everyone gets their first ticket. And we're going to have ticket cost as one. And you can buy a maximum of 1,000 tickets if you want. Subscribers, 10 extra luck. Create and start. There you go. Exclamation point tickets if you want to win for that. Giveaway. There you go. Me failing, you win. It's like we have a really good build here, though. Really good. No. Okay. Um, what's going on in PvP today? Nothing? Oh, jeez. There's nothing, Burger. Is he... What's going on? Everyone tired of the Okansaw already in PvP, huh? Okay. <laughs> there ain't nothing going on. They're just probably burnt out the events over, huh? Look at that. They're, everyone's waiting for their crafting writ event. Everyone just can't wait on pins and needles for crafting writs. Um, should we be using Exploiter with the Scythe build? I don't think there's high enough uptime uh, and PvE for it to be... Because, like, let's read here quick. Is, I guess, does there a cooldown on off-balance for seven seconds? So it sets them off off-balance for seven seconds. So let's see if there is... Let's find out. Let's do a little math. A little math, unless someone else knows in chat. It's all about the card game now. I mean, that's pretty much true, actually. Y'all are making fun of it. 
<laughs> Big juicy nothing, bro. <laughs> I'm about to jump on EU then if it's this dead over here. 10 hour card game stream? Yeah, what, you, uh, you want that at night time so you can go to sleep? Just listen to me while I get mad about the card game. All right, so let's see here. Let's get a... Uh, where's my little dummy? My little dummy, where's my little dummy at? Where'd you go, little dummy? Okay, over here. So there's off balance. Let's see if we can ray pocket. Pocket, pocket. It must have a cooldown. Look, it's not reprocking. Yeah, it still hasn't procked off balance yet. Oh, that's a long cooldown. Still hasn't procked off balance yet. Oh, see, there it is right there. That has to be like, what is, okay, let me read. What is the off balance cooldown? Um, did I hear a bunch of accounts got banned for exploiting the card game? Of course. Um, I think that's good because Zoss uh, banned a bunch of cheaters in PvP, like in Cyrodiil and stuff, 400. And they banned a bunch of cheaters in the card game, so they're digging a little bit more serious and then telling people they're, they're uh, punching them out too, which is good. Um, let's see, and slightly newer to PvP, what sets do I recommend for the DK and why? I'm gonna tell you to go to my website, you already know that, and th my website tells you why I recommend those. <laughs> Gator, Trickery, Blood Spawn, and Plague Break. Yeah, it hasn't changed. <laughs> but, uh, I think it's the best combination of ulti gen and survivability. Let's see, off balance of status effects. Why is there a status effects? So there has to be like a... A cooldown on off balance of like seven seconds or so. Huh. Okay, someone says off balance lasts for seven seconds and has a 15 second cooldown. Thank you for the resub, friend. Appreciate you. So yeah, it's it's definitely not worth running the scythe then, uh, the off balance pass, or excuse me, slottable. So people are wondering about this. I thought it was at here. Yeah. So they added Exploiter. Um, the issue is with the old champion point system, I think this was a slottable. With the new, or the, what it was, a passive. New champion point system, it's a slottable. Meaning you're going to see big, huge bursts, which would be nice in PvP. PvE is just not consistent enough with a 15 second cooldown. Yeah, Sardina says, uh, unofficial Elder Scrolls plays targets will now gain 15 seconds off-balance immunity after off-balance wins, or uh, ends. That's huge. So yeah, it's just not worth running if that has a huge off-balance um, cooldown. But good question. I'm glad we got that sorted. So it's worth noting, but yeah. Okay. All right, chat, what should we work on? Uh, this build's probably done. We got some flex bots, some easy gear to help people run some arenas. I think I can explain this pretty well. Is it time for PvP? It's kind of dead over here. We can go see what uh, what's going on in EU. Um, the CP add-on that I have is a, a dynamic CP. I have a video on it as well, but dynamic CP. It lets you see all the, the names. Stam Crow PvP build. I tried one earlier, so I was thinking about what would I use on a Stam Crow PvP with one bar. Um, Dagons, which I don't think I have the gear sets for. Okay, so I have one, two, I have body of Dagons. Um, so I'd run Dagons and maybe Essence Thief. Let's see what I have for Essence Thief. Oh, I got a great sword. I got neck. Okay. Neck. I do have body pieces, but I was thinking Essence Thief and Dagons. So Smeltia, Tom Shanks. Well, we're gonna have to go relog on 30 characters for it, but gank build. <laughs> One bar PvP tank I don't have set up. It'd be an hour, an hour and a half of swapping gear. Yeah, I'll have to do that later. You've been using Amalexias with it? What is Amalexias? Legally, what's up? That's the one that gives you a heal based on how much max magic you have? I could go get on the DK build, though. That might be a good idea. Uh, let me go over hop into EU. Cyrodiil's dead right now today. Let me go see what's on at EU. The Cyrodiil is daddy spaghetti over here. DK bomb build? That's called Plague Break. 
I'll probably get shredded on my DK now, though. I don't have all the fancy stuff. Actually, I do have Oaken Soul on my DK or in you. I finally got Oak and Soul on EU. It took me only two hours to get. Lich, what's going on, buddy? Happy Monday. I do need to do a PvE healer as well, but I think I got the footage for that. So let me log over so y'all and see my account stuff. Um, did I try a stam uh stam blade with Oak and Soul? Yeah, it's basically just hitting one button and killing people. <laughs> I mean it's, it's what everyone else is running. Just Calorians, Orders, Wrath, and, you know, fully charged, heavy attack, in cap, someone's dead instantly. I mean, it's funny for three seconds, and it comes not funny. <laughs> Hydrate! Oh, my voice is going? Okay. When you take damage, you heal yourself based off of your max stats. Yeah, I think that's an odd, that's an odd set to run on a Necro, because how would you boost your max stamina very high? He says I was going to go to dressing room add-on. There was five of them. I think the one that has updated the most recent is the dressing room that I use. Okay, let's see what's going on over here. I might get smoked since I'm not on an Oak and Soul build, but let's try it. My old two-bar build I love to play on EU. Oh, it's pop -up. Let's go out and gray house on EU. See how it goes. I'll probably get triggered and log over in five seconds to Oak and Soul Templar and press one button. So We're not going to do a prediction for that, by the way. Hot dog water, 37. Um, do, do I use Order's Wrath on my DK? I do not. Um, I don't have, uh, Markins over here. So I use Death Dealer's Fate on the European server. Since I don't have all the Mythics on the European server. But yeah, I wouldn't use... I've tried Oaken Soul off stream on a Dragonite. And yes, it hits really, really hard. Single target. And it's kind of hee hee ha ha. But it's a dot build. It's it's a dot class. And you need a bunch of abilities to constantly hit your dots. And I feel like it's it just doesn't outside of cheesy whips, it doesn't feel right I'm, in my in my opinion. My humble, humble opinion. Ooh. 15 transmutes. Four transmute. Do I have an Oak and Soul Stamplar on EU? Um, I have the one that you gave me, but I don't have two hander leveled up, so it's like level twenty-eight. So I just need to grind for about an hour to get that done. And yeah, then we can play it. Kurt says you're either Oak and Soul or Oak and Suffer. <laughs> That's only true for uh, PvP. PvE, not so much. It is kind of true in PvP, though. But, wait, Kurt, I know you love the clickbait titles. Now, Kurt, you have to be proud of me. I made a really clickbait title, which was actually good video. And I didn't even ask you for help. I didn't even ask chat. I actually thought about it myself like a little decent, halfway decent YouTuber. And the video was very popular. So I'm proud of myself. Not to brag, but I think I'm learning 10 years in. Yep, 10 years in, finally learning. Uh, is Templar myself my favorite class to play? Oh, yeah, I love my Templar. Yep. Tell I DIE. And I'll go play my Necro or Dragonite here and there, but. Yeah, hitting jabs just too easy. Okay, legally says I figured out how to explain dating after forty. It's like safe boxes and Merkmeyer. <laughs> oh, dating after and dating in your forties. Yeah, that that has to be pretty hit and miss, huh? Oh, I got a friend that's single and tells me these like war stories and like, dude, that's. It's tougher than going through war when we went to war, man. Like, you're telling me these stories. Like, are you making this up? Is this real or... God bless. I'm, I'm glad I'm married. Uh, let's see. Rogue said that started a conversation in a few Discord. Okay. What'd you think about it? What did you... Th what's, your, what's your opinion or uh, disagree or agree with me? It don't matter, but I'm curious. Uh, Tromon, what's up, friend? Um, is lag still okay on PC and a yes So I haven't noticed it deteriorating or something. Uh, I think people look for negativity And that's why they say that sort of thing. It's not perfect on PC and a it's, no, it doesn't work all the time You still crash once in a while not perfect. Nothing ever is but it's a lot better now It's still noticeable still good. So you'll see like right now. It's already a little bit of lag Skill delay. It's gonna start here on EU yeah, I, I think it's working really good, and hopefully the console and your Europeans will get it soon. You're welcome. 
<laughs> what are y'all dumb viper? You better sell now. <laughs> what are y'all what are you mad about? Uh oh, here's my friend. Yeah, you can't wait for the upgrades. Uh, I think it's gonna happen. Well, I know I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen, but they said that that's what's holding ba back the battleground weekend events. Uh, oh, got a bow sword. Well, go help him. Good lord. Are you dead or fall? For Emmerich. Oh God. Oh, there is some skill delay. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, you can tell a huge difference already, huh? Battlegrounds, I don't think so much, but I got a laser beam on me, brother. Do I prefer Balorgs or Salines? Um, for what? What context? Oh, Corians hurts. Why am I not here? Yeah, the skill delay is bad. Uh, let's see, they got Ash Flag and there's no Siege on it. Interesting. Um, so Salines is an okay ganker set, but if you think about Salines, if you gank a good player and they see C break and they get out of the Salines, you have a dead two-piece monster helm. Balorgs always works. If you hit an end cap, and let's say you even miss the end cap, your next attack will hit harder and you'll be doing a little bit more healing. So it always works. And you can save up for 500. That's what people do. Just go around, save up for a 500 ulti, and you can't counter it. Like, you, you hit so hard with it, you're just gonna die. It's not. It's uncounterable. So if you want the uncounterable Nightblade, put on Chlorians, put on Order's Wrath, or drop Order's Wrath and put on um, Balorgs and run another three-piece set or whatever you want with it. And just hold down a heavy attack and hit end cap and you'll kill pretty much anybody. Yep. Wait, Curran says if you plan to make another video on that topic, the best and worst thing to happen to ESO, why is Oaken Soul so popular? But isn't that in the same vein of um, what what I talked about earlier? Because I feel like Oaken Soul is it's pretty obvious. It's split the community. I don't think in half. I think the vast majority of people love it. I think the sweat lords do not like it. Yeah. Let's see, Dragon Claw, they're sieging up here. Shreddy Spaghetti! Yeah, I need to find a work on other builds. I need to get my, um... I need to get my healer updated, and that's one, like... You know, five people are gonna watch a PvE healer on the Elder Scrolls Online, but my god, there's so much to explain. It's like an hour-long video explaining a PvE healing. Just, there's so many things to explain in PvE healing. There's so many sets to run. There's so many alternatives. There's so many skills that you run. It's not like, oh, just set them down and this is what you run. No, there's just countless amount of variability in PvE healing. Like, crazy. Yeah. Roku Rose, what's up, yo? Um, thoughts on a one bar necro bomber? Um, I tried it, it didn't work very well for me, so yeah, I didn't care for it. But I think uh, I think overall Oaken Soul is uh, it's here to stay. Might get a little bit of adjustment. God, look at this! Wow, it's noticeable on E. Look at that! Look at that lag. That is noticeable. Wow, it's crazy. I never knew. It. I never noticed it too much before. And then I come over. Look at that. Even bar swapping. Wow. Wow, okay, it's so noticeable on NA now. You come over here, it's instant. I'm not trashing people on EU, I just, I just notice it. Like, the, look at that, it's not even going up, bang, and then like three seconds later, all of it goes off. Look at that. Wow, and whoo, that's crazy. Kane, what's up, yo? Perio, how you doing? Look at that. What in the world? Look at this. Chat, look at this. I'm not, this is not fake news. Look at that. What in the world is, I'm sorry, EU, that's tough. 
<laughs> That's crazy. Oh my god, the difference is night and day. Wow. Huh. Yeah, Cody says people think that a PCNA server has gone back to this. No, it, yeah, it, it has not gone. It, no, it might not be that perfect, but wow. I guess you appreciate it more when you see this. Again, not trying to trash, you know, EU players or whatever. I, I, I get it. You have no control over it. It's just, see, like even bar swapping there, like, did I even attack the guy? Nope, apparently not. That's insane difference. Oh, that, that needs to be the next one. Ooh, ooh, how about we record it? How about we record it? Oh, that could be another good clickbait one, right? <laughs> now the stream has just turned into clickbait YouTube videos. Look, I, I can't even use these abilities. Look at this. Bar swapping is painful. Oh. Oh. All right, we gotta get in a big fight here and uh, get some footage. I'm also across the oceans, true, but I played uh, on EU for a while and it only had 150 to 200 ping. Let's get the ping out. Stop attacking me. Twitch Traveler says I have the same and I'm on EU. Yeah, I don't think it's an oceanic issue. Wow. Fail Blades, where are you at, baby? Let go, Guardian, let go! Where you been? Fail Blades, hold up, hold up, Fail Blades. Before you leave, don't leave, don't leave. Hey, I, I got a place in uh, Colorado Springs. Me and my wife are taking a vacation in August. You should come down to Colorado Springs and visit. We can have a little uh, mini nug con. You're invited. Callum Drac is anyone's invited except the trolls. Y'all don't want to come, we'll have to fight you. You should come. Come, so I need you to come to Colorado Springs, all right? All right, so it's the weekend of August 5th through the 7th. August, so Saturday, let's go to a state park, eat a bunch of chicken wings, pizza, and cheeseburgers, and like go hiking. All right, August 6th, put on your counter. Take the day off, for God's sakes. Appreciate you, Guardian. Oh, the great sword, the great sword skin is uh, oh, one of them skins you have to pay for. Um, oh, prior Thetric, Thetric, prior thick, thick. Anyone's welcome, y'all in Colorado Springs. Where my Colorado Springians at? Where my Colorado Springians at? Oh, and wait, Wake says come to Games Kong in August. Where's Games Kong? Games Kong? <laughs> Where's Kings Kong? <laughs> <sighs> okay. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, Coconut, you're going in July. Come on, bro. You got to make it to August. Let's go, August. Let's do it. I can't travel and he's even laggy. <laughs> oh, oh, it's in Germany. Ain't no one got a paycheck for Germany. Germany. Where my Germans at? There ain't no Germans watching today. Lyrix isn't here. Crazy, crazy. All right, here's a big fight. You ready? Let's get some footage. Let's get some footage. Willis, you took the first week off in August. Where are, are you able to come? You gotta come to Colorado Springs, baby. Come on, I'm moving. I have three to five years. I will 100% move to Colorado Springs. I'm motivated. Motivated. JT Dread. Come to Ireland, man. You know what flights cost out here? If anyone got a boat I can rent, I'll take it out there. You're going to Costa Rica. Costa Rica. All right, let me pay attention here. Hold on. All right, well let's let's try to let's try to get some footage for a new uh, clickbait video. Oh God, don't die in three seconds, please. Please don't Oak and Soul gank me, please. You've never been to Colorado Springs, man. That's oh, really good. If you're if you're super active, it's just one of the best places to live. Some of the best hiking trails in existence. I'm gonna hit this cool. Oh, you're moving uh you're moving too, man. Appreciate you. Be fun. G Will, what's up, buddy? 
G Will, you gotta, you gotta take a vacation from Sweden and come visit us in the Springs. We'll Zerg people down in real life on the bike trails. It'll be great. Real life Zergs, man. All right, let me focus here. God, it's tough. Oh, oh, watch. Uh, big heel, big heel. See, a ah, little bit of delay. See, I'm, pa I'm smashing the buttons right now. I almost need to do ham can. Yeah, let me, let me, sh oh, here, hold on, hold on. Let's do a science experiment. Let me go in here and get the ham can. So y'all can see the latency that I'm experiencing. I'm on a PCEU server. Kurt wants me to do another clickbait YouTube video, by the way. Hold on. Bark, you're gonna move to Colorado Springs, one of my favorite American cities. Okay, here we go. Let's move the controller. Let's see. It's on my lap here. This might not be too scientific. Let's see my boxes. So let's see. Can we do this on my lap? This is not gonna be this is not gonna work. Let's see if it works. So you'll see it when I click a heel is my five key. Let's see how it goes. Okay, I'm gonna have to balance this. This is PvP intensity. My foot's up. I have to balance this. Oh god. Yeah, this is not gonna work. I got my friend with me. How you doing, bud? Alright. Is that better? Oh, there we go. Much better. All right, let's try. Let's try. Oh my god, that's some damage. Oh, that that Templar got some damage on him. Oh, we're gonna have to live in corrosive here. Oh. All right, ready? CC break. See? Let's see. Watch, 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 watch. Now watch me heal. Watch me, Dougie. One, two, bar swap. I'm fully charging. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to attack here. See, it's, it's performing pretty well here. I can't bar swap cancel nearly as good, though. Potion. See, I'm, I'm smashing my heal. Smashing it, smashing it. Then it goes off. Two and a half second delay, probably. Maybe two seconds. Let's record this. Um, the easiest one bar build, 100% of Templar. Yeah, Templar does everything you need. Oh, 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 there, there. All right, let's see. Look, oh, I'm smashing race against time. Yeah, this is so noticeable. Okay, let's see how when we get in trouble, because that's when I need to actually just heal on time. Okay, looking so far so good, pretty good. Okay, come back, big heal, big heal, big, see it, that delay on the heal there? Woo. Happy Monday, what's going on? You thought those was Xbox? Oh god, oh god, get in the keep, get in the keep, get in the keep, get in the keep. Get in the keep. We're gonna get bombed. No, don't go back out. Oh god, I'm dead. Ugh. This was this was all part of the plan. Race against time. See, look, look at that delay. Three key, and it goes off a second and a half later. Phew. Yeah. Alright, we got some good footage here. Sal, what's up? Alright, let me turn this off. Uh, there you go. You're okay, Shep. It's fine. How you doing? You doing good today? Yeah. Okay. You having a good day? <laughs> Lag or fall, Covenant? You gotta stop. Uh. It's painful to watch come back to NA. Yeah, but no one's in Cyrodiil right now. No one's doing anything. I put y'all to sleep doing PvE anyways. Y'all, y'all, y'all in your uh, sleeping bag, just falling asleep. Just Oh my god, Vet veteran Vatishram run for five hours. JT, you're loving the, uh, you're loving the Templar? So am I, man. Am I playing to test the lag on EU? Yeah, why not? Let's make a clickbait YouTube video. Everyone loves them. We can do a comparison. Everyone loves a good sweaty comparison video. Who's a good boy? 
Ooh, it doesn't it doesn't lag in the card game. Maybe I should get into that. That's it. That's what's next for me. Be a card game sweat. Only problem is I don't have the intelligence to do it. So beyond that, oh here we go, here we go. Ready? Oh, this is gonna be really good lag. Let's go leap. Oh, look at that ball group. Oh, oh my god, look at that delay. Did y'all see that delay? Oh, look at that delay. Wow, it's so noticeable. Uh, look, I just like delaying. <laughs> That's crazy delay. Oh, reported. Reported. That is crazy. Oh, what's the difference between clickbait and a scam? Clickbait, you like, you, you're you going to click it, but it actually gives you, um, it actually gives you some information. Like, you're like, oh, okay. But it gets like a really catchy title, so you want to click it. Scam is like, you got some stupid video. It has zero information, but you had a good thumbnail and a title. Oh, look at that. The horse is delayed. <laughs> Hold a second. Wait, wait, wait. Watch this. Watch this. Okay, that. Oh, look at that. You see the delay on the horse? I'm not making this up. <laughs> Hold on a second. Watch this one more time. Three, two, one. Watch. Okay, it didn't do it that bad this time, but like the guy was like in the whistle. Like, Whoop. Wow. All right, we got enough footage. All right, chat. What should be our clickbait YouTube video of the night? Is EU server really that bad? Is the lag really that bad? No, come on. You all got, got good names. <laughs> I'm not trying to rub it in, but if we bring attention to it, maybe it'll get fixed. Someone has to be the champion of Cyrodiil. I'm arrogant and narcissistic enough to say it's me. <laughs> he is server fixed now. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. We got a way to get the ping up. Let's get the ping. Let's see what the ping is. Okay, so gameplay interface. Here we go. Here we go. All right, let's turn the ping on here. See, 190 frames. Okay. Eat, eat between clicks. <sighs> um, it's getting, it, it's, is it getting fixed? But you asking, is EU getting fixed? Is that what someone's asking? Did the NA server really get fixed? That's a good one. Yeah, that that's to the point, right? That's to the point, I think. Yeah. Let's see. This is heaven for Aussie. Did I pay for this? Oh, is it that bad for Aussies? Pat's a really good player, and he does really well. He out DPSs me any day, and he's an Aussie. Thirty thirty AD PVE door and Brindle, great. Can't wait. It's pop lock. Ain't no one around. Oh, they already got this thing already. Pfft. Yeah, this is dead. Oh god, we're getting him down now. No, you're not escaping. No. I got I got a cross of up. Oh. So I'm at 200 ping, 100 frames a second right now. Uh, when you guys get this new server stuff, though, it's supposed to come pretty quick from what I interpreted with their video or their uh, post. That that's why they haven't done any battleground weekend events. Is apparently all the servers need to be updated so they don't have to take it down for like maintenance. Is, is what I interpreted. Again, I don't have any inside information. That's that's what I gathered from Gina Bruno's post. Uh, see, it's what I have trouble with the survival because like when I start taking pressure. It's a little bit delay on the bar swapping and healing myself. That's what I have problem with on this. That's why I usually spec way tankier. I just can't break free. And the break free is a bit tricky as well.
Good bro out here though. God, I love him. See you just That's so active over on EU though. God. The amount of people that will come back to the game on the European server, this game will be like pfft. I don't think it'll be as good as uh the card game, actually. I think more people will enjoy that, but What's my next Xbox day? Oh pfft. I have no idea. I gotta get builds updated and uh probably like once every month or two months or something. I really need to get Oak and Soul just do it offline. There's just too many irons in the fire. I gotta make some Starfield content. That's what I'm working on. See right here, see the CC break? And then heal, it's just, it's just a little bit delayed. It's much harder to stay alive. Oak and Soul would be really good over here for me, actually. I wouldn't have to bar swap and worry about that. Which I have it, but I just don't have my Templar update. I could get my Templar, but some of the skills are just jacked up. Watch this. Sorry, friends. Someone has to jump in here, right? <laughs> oh, the meathead DK. It's so fun. <laughs> he just never... Look okay, at Race against time. Is it giving me major, major expedition? I do need to get on the Templar. I got the gear. I just don't have the skill line leveled up. I can go get... All right, next deck I'll get on there. We'll do a gold giveaway. Raw baby! Big Rob! 161 total! Let's go! Big Rob! Thank you, buddy! Thank you for getting those subaronis. Appreciate you. Oops, oop, oop, oop. Yeah. I just I love the the culture on EU is awesome though. They're always sieging. That's why I love the culture on EU. They siege. They get destroyed out of siege. They don't care. They just keep on fighting, keep on brawling. God, it's going to be so good when y'all get this. I don't know what it's like on Xbox and all that, but... Who got one? Johnny, what's up? Always new Xbox. NA players missed a lot. Yeah, at least when I die over here, I can blame it on lag, not just being a bad player. <laughs> it's my safe space. <laughs> yep, they got me. Not outplayed, lag. See, that bar swap cancel there is what I usually do on the hardened armor on the back bar. When I say bar swap cancel, like, it eclipses the animation. See, look at that. Ugh. Hold on, something's not working. I'm recording. There it is. So when I say bar swap cancel, what I mean by it is like this. So if you watch real quickly, if I hit my ability, it has a one-second global cooldown, right? So I go 1-1,000. One, 1, but if it's the last ability you cast on your back bar, what you do is you clip it by doing that. So you cast the ability, my one key, and then I immediately hit middle mouse and cancel it. So you basically get a bunch of damage into like a really tight window. About a second and a half, I can do almost two abilities. So I do this, I bar swap, and then I do breath. And that's like two huge, massive AOE dots. It allows you to do just an enormous amount of damage to a group in a short period. Let me try it over here, watch. And then bang. See, that went pretty good, but that's where the skill comes in of just having that nice, tight window. Yeah. Anyway, I don't know if this is making sense, but it's just kind of interesting to do the research on here. Let's try it again. Potion off cooldown. Ow. Ow. I haven't got ganked in three seconds, so that's good. Oh, we got time stop. Oh, here we go. Uh-oh. Masters 2H trying to get him. Good brawl, though. Whip! I put my hands up on your hip when I whip you. We got 18,000 HP, dude. Oh, I'm about to get exposed. <clears throat> Come on. <laughs> Run back to your heart. No! Heal your brother! Ooh, nice heal. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the carry. <sighs> Starfield, baby! Um, two bar magpar, do I still use iron's blood? Yeah, I use iron's blood, sea serpent coil, and mechanical acuity. Yep. Works really good. It works way better than Markins. With sea serpents, it's like crazy, crazy. Because you don't have to have Oli on the back bar. But there's still some magpars that run uh, Rallying Cry on the back bar. It'll give you more damage for sure. I just always get dogpiled, so I like that setup. Uh, my ping is in the middle of my screen, so I'm at 245. Like... Uh, at the moment.
Jay Carl says, can't wait for Starfield. Yeah, so I got a separate website and I got a separate YouTube channel. So when Starfield comes out, I'm not going to quit ESO, but I am working on it as a side project. So starfieldguides.com and then uh, Starfield Guides the YouTube channel. I think you can, it's a link in the description probably, but if you're interested in that, you want like my opinion on Starfield and like breaking it down stuff, uh, it'll be on that separate YouTube channel. So yeah, I'm excited about it. Haven't been that excited about a game since Mass Effect Andromeda. Oh, good duel. Thank you. Oh, all right. Think it's time for a giveaway, don't you? Exclamation point. Let's do an exclamation point Nord for 300,000 gold PCNA PCU. We'll do 200,000 on consoles. Exclamation point Nord. NordVPN is our sponsor. Shout out to NordVPN. NordVPN.com slash Delta. A two-year plan. One additional month. This is what NordVPN looks like. You can connect to places and protect your ID, protect your identification. They have a password manager as well. You can use it on Wi-Fi. You can use it on mobile. So you're not getting your crap given out to the internet. Connect to Dallas, which where is the ESO servers. And I think the ESO servers are in Germany. Also, it helps you watch like Netflix shows that are in different regions and so forth. So if you're looking for a VPN, consider NordVPN. And if you do, it helps me out. NordVPN.com slash Deltia. So thank you. 300,000 gold. Sound good? Bruh. Yeah, it's, it's bright, 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 uh, it's bright in the middle of the screen. There you go. Waking you up. Making sure you're watching. Nord. Nord VPN. Also, I lost a bet. So I will do 2,500 crowns or DG merch at the end of the stream since I lost the bet like a little noob. Um, you want to get that? Exclamation point tickets. Yeah. Uh, Bark says, you know, sometimes I need to use a VPN to watch your videos. A VPN to watch my videos. Um, well, like, what, what, like, what do you, why would you need a VPN to watch mine? Like, what happens when you try to do it? Are you just trolling me? I feel like you're trolling me right now. If so, that's good. It's good troll. Nice, nice pony. Oh, yeah, I need to go get my Templar with my no skill points. Yeah, let me go get my Templar. Uh, all right, next death. Let's go Rambo and get the Templar over here on EU. Let's see if the one bar will work pretty a lot better on EU. Oh, God. It just came down here, huh? Yep, we're daddy spaghetti. Who is up here? Oh, we got like a super sweat groups? Oh, yeah. Ball groups engage? Okay, great. It's the wrong spot for me to be. Jeez, I got just lit up there. I'm gonna leap him. Oh, good old EU players. Oh, that overload. I can't hang with that overload. Ugh. Can't hang with it. Can't hang with it. Race against time. There we go. See, the blues are going up, race against time. Look at that. Just, God, it's tough to play. Let's pop a corrosive here. Harden armor, bar swap, cancel it. Get all my dots up. CZ break was working pretty good there. Ooh. Ah. Little whip ski. Get him off. Get him off. Ooh, nice jump. That is impressive jump. Let me see if I can do the same. Nope. Oh, I noobed that. Now I'm I'm Mario Brothers intrigued. They Mario Brothered me there, bro. All right, let's try this again. Nope, 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 nope. 
Ready? Oh, oh my god! It's a kitty healer! Oh, look at those jumps, though! Jumps like MJ right there! I feel like I'm gonna get knocked back in no time. Uh, noodle damage. Oh, there it goes three seconds later. Get him! Chop him! Chop him! Or not! Just yell louder. More DPS, the louder you get. You are one tanky son of a gun. No, do not res your friend. No, 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 no. No resing friends. How dare you have friends in an MMO? You must be a solo player. Anti-social Nightblade. There's a rubber band. I love rubber bands, just not in my video games. No one even laughed at that. Pathetic. All right, next death, we'll get the Templar out and uh, let's do the gold giveaway. Ow, that'll be soon. There's a Chlorians gank, thank you. Make me feel at home here on the European server. I was wondering where I would get a gank. Sheesh, sheesh, took y'all long enough. What's wrong with you? Oh, the blues just dominated this whole floor? All right, it's our little little zone. Oh, uh, Brick, Strobex, let's go, baby! Let's go! Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna be uh, July. I think it'll probably be August or closer to the next patch release because they said like, um, update 35, they're gonna test. Update 35, they're testing the battleground uh, events. Meaning they're probably three or four months away from implementing it, but they have to do it on all servers is what I, what I gathered. But yeah, if they get, they get changed on EU, man, the game's population will be crazy. I feel like a lot of people are getting frustrated they either re-roll or they're just doing the card game. Yeah, it'd be ideal for them to get the EU server. So when, when, this, when the summer hits, like everyone goes back to school, doesn't the game slow down a bit or people are taking vacation? Like in Europe, when's y'all's vacation time? Because in America, it's basically like probably June to um, uh, June to July. Are you not going to fight back or what? June to July, then the end of uh, April start getting to... People start getting back to work and school and crap. Taking your little vacation to Greece. Your little take vacation to Cancun, Mexico. Well, I'm just sitting here on the bike trails in Nebraska, sweating them down. Sweating them down, hurting feelings on the bike trails. Maggie, oh, good morning, buddy. Ow. Ow. All right, let me, let me let them kill me here. We're just humping towers. Come on! Thank you for the Dawnbreaker. Thank you for the colo. I appreciate your colo to my face. So, Soupy says, we're more end of July, start of September. Okay, so about a month off. Okay. It's funny how those things work out. Let's go see if we get the stamp uh, tar, uh, plar here. All right, exclamation point Nord, last call. We're going to do 300,000 gold. 300,000 gold, we ready? Sleepy. It's a trap. So I think I got this guy, yeah, I got this guy set up. I got to go on PC and A, PC, Xbox and A, and PlayStation and A. I'm down to about a million gold on place, uh, Xbox and A. So I will say this, if you have an Xbox account and you migrated to PC, it would be helpful. Um, if you have extra gold and you want to exchange it. Same thing with the um, PlayStation, it would be very, very helpful. Very, very helpful. All right, winner is... XM7619, been following since June 2nd, 2022, XM. My frame, you can respond in chat. Let us know you're here. Uh, do I have actually the skills? Aurora Jab wants the wrong skill. We got Race Against Time. I know I got that one. Sajika. So I got that. We got... Oh, this guy's all jacked up. We got Living Dark, though. We got Sweeps. And then... What's my fifth ability? The heck do I run? Oh, yeah. Honor the Dead. And then we got DB's key. All right. So we have to get some skill points. 
And my 2H is at what? 2H ability is at, oh God, a 30. This is going to be rough. Oh well. We all love seeing me die. Um, so yeah, Oaken Soul. I got Oaken Soul. We need to get a spell damage enchant on it. So it's the same crap I have on NA, but this guy is, you know, gazillion less champion points and so forth. Mm -mm. Increase physical. Cray crap. Might do a magic recovery on him. Let me go to Deshaun. So how was everybody's weekend? What'd y'all do this weekend? Anything fun? Some people are on vacation. Some people sweating down ESO. Anyone get Oak and Soul? Try it out for the first time. Or been trying the new trial, which is amazing, by the way, as well. Talk to me. Stam recovery. Let's go. Uh, are we doing recovery? Probably need stam recovery. Let's try it. Yeah, Cam, I'm on EU right now. Just NA is kind of quiet, so I just hopped over here for a change. I need to level up this character anyway, so I might as well just do some PvP and have fun. Do I need stam recovery? Let's try it. Okay, you made an Oak Implorer and you liked it. Nice. Virus, Cyrodiil, Weekend. Okay. Rick, you're lurking today. No problem. We love our lurkers. <laughs> okay, and Marco, you said you started scrying and excavating. Okay. Mary's birthday. Too much wine and cake. Okay. <laughs> Wine and cake can't go wrong with that. Y'all go anywhere or just like have a little staycation? Staycation. Uh, let me see. Do what food do I have? Smoke bear. There we go. Got that. Let's suck down an XP thing. Oh, we already got one. Good. Oh, legally, you're you're packing for a move coming up this weekend. Oh God. Oh, br oh moving. Oh, oh, can't stand moving. Well, good luck. Hopefully, you got a cool place or something, uh, and it's, it's worth it. But oh, it's tough. All right, so we got dual will. Let's take dual will back. I got no skill points for the maker. Let's take resty bestie back. Do I even have medium armor? Okay, medium armor is almost there. Good. World, what do I need to do? Fighter's Guild. We have Fighter's Guild, so we have to change this morph. We have the passes. Oh, actually, made some progress on this character. Dawn did 10. Not bad. Salt and support. Let's take those. Race. Got that. Alchemy. We're good. Okay, so honor the dead. Right, right. And then we need to change this to a stamina one. Okay, I think we're good to go. Let's check our uh, CPZs. This is all jacked up. So we're going to go take Rateful Strikes. We're going to drop in Hope Infusion here. Um, Fighting Finesse, we're going to keep. Deadly Iron Mastered Arm. I'm going to do Untamed Aggression. Since we're playing on EU, I'm still going to do Ironclad. It's like basically zero offensive. Um, <laughs> Siphoning Spells, Bastion, that's PVE ones. So let's go Pain's Refuge and Celerity. I think we're good to go. So we're gonna get up there and some champion points, Kite. Nice, sounds like a fun time. Lake, oh, these at the lake, all right. Bought Daisy, trying it out, Daisy. Oh God. Oh man. The best six months of your life, baby. Oh, that got me. Oh, jeez, that was loud. <laughs> oh, that was obnoxious loud. Love it. That got me. That was good. <laughs> oh, boy. Best six months of your life. Buckle up. That, woo. Woo. Lord have mercy. Okay, that got me there. Let me jump back into Sierra and we'll get the two-hander leveled up as we go. Oh, yep. Zero passes. Lovely. Oh, Raven's watch now. Okay. Uh, baby shower, nice. You're expecting your first in August. Oh, God, buckle up. It'll be a good time, but it'll be a lot of work. Joe, you got an internet connection. Good internet connection, nice. I need to go to Imperial City to get deadly daggers. Um, There's no deadly daggers in Imperial City, friend, I don't think. Um, Imperial City, or daggers from deadly strikes, I think comes here at Bruma? 
Is it Bruma? I think it's Bruma right up here. Yeah, so Imperial City is a little bit different. Unless I'm mistaken what you're trying to say. We're getting smashed. Yeah, by Deadly Strikes, I think it's uh, Bruma right here is what I was saying. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if I can manage my resources. Bruma. Highly contested. Um, let's see, what are good armor sets for, uh, Magden? Um, are you talking about PvE or PvP? There's, I think there's, like, a very, very specific way to build a Magden in PvP. With high HP, using, like, Death Dealer's Fate, this, the, using the Vampire Spam Bullet Cost Health, and then there's, like, a Mythic, or a Monster Helm that people use that, like, uh, the Sanguine thing. Very, very, very specific build. War Maiden can do okay, but I just don't think it has the burst, but... Yeah, Rallying Cry in the back bar is okay. The Magnus struggles because, you know, Arctic Blast doesn't scale off weapon and spell damage, so you're stuck with, like, running a gazillion heals? Or, or something else, so... That's what I've been told, that some of the best players are running that. Well, uh, Zadru, or what, what server are you on? Are you on PCNA, or what are you playing? Well, we'll get you... Now, you better be on blue, though. Uh, Syme, 1969. Thanks for the resub, man. That, that scared me. That scared me big time. It's a trap! Oh, I, I don't know what, that just, oh, got me. All right, let's head down here. Asheroni baloney. So are y'all interested in two bar builds for like PvE and PvP in chat? Especially healer. So I have a really good PvE healer. I don't know if anyone's interested right now, but I could do a two bar like comprehensive build. Five people will watch it. But I'm wondering if anyone interested in healer stuff. Because I don't feel like anyone comes out with healer stuff. Especially one bar PvP builds. They're really strong. They're very easy to play. Super tanky. Oops. Your PCNA red. Oh, red. Ready spaghetti. Okay. Two bar, what, in 2021? <laughs> I read a comment on YouTube, like, this guy or gal was saying, uh, why is every build on YouTube one one bar? Why is every video in ESO one bar? It's like, they changed, they changed the game, man. Everyone's talking about it. Everyone's interested. Hello? Okay, you'd appreciate a healer build. Um, I have a two bar healer build, because, I mean, for comp and trials, you really need a two bar. And there's, like, a couple common sets. The thing is, like, there's so much to explain with the healer, because it's very contextual. It's not like, you set this on your bar, and forever you're going to do this. No, 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 no. Is this the way we lose this one, or what happened? Oh, nine reds in here. Oh, boy. Just me out here? Uh, one bar healer feels too cheesy. It works too good, or what do you mean? Oh, Sim, you a biker, man? What's up? Oh, Stam Sword coming. Oh god, this Oaken Soul is perfect for... <laughs> this Oaken Soul is perfect for EU. Oh god, this is like made for Xbox and EU, I swear to the maker. Oh yeah! How many bird healers y'all got? Oh, a bunch. Bird's the word. Big Bird would be happy. <laughs> what in the world so laggy? <laughs> and bro! It's Arkham! <laughs> oh. 
Uh, okay, hold on. Sorry, I'm reading the question. Is Necro Healer good for a beginner, or should I do a traditional Templar? Um, they're very good, yes. Necro, so like, I would rank them the top tier healers in PvE as Warden, number one. Necro, number two. From the way I understand the game. And, um, Templar, number three. Nightblade is really good, too. I mean, they're all Sork. Because, like, what makes a healer you, uh, good is what uniqueness you bring to a trial. Like, what unique buff. Like, the brittle, can you keep up time? Because, like, healing on the trials, and I'm not God's gift to it by any means. I mean, I ask, I ask people for some advice who are better at it than me. And it's about the uptime in those big groups. Like, you have to have uptime of buff, which is not something I'm that good at, to be frank with you. But that's what people look for in a really good healer. And building in heavy attacks, right? You know, maintaining your heals over time. That's what makes a good healer. It's not just pure burst healing. Anyone can do that. Anyone can rotate the rest of the ults and uh, abilities. So, a long-winded uh, way to say, don't be afraid to heal on basically any class in the game. Because if you like it and you can maintain your buffs and really focus on it, you, you can be good on any class. But Necro is exceptional. Exceptional. Yep. Um, my opinion on the easiest build to make is always a Templar. Like, the easiest, the easiest thing in the game is a Templar. You have one ability that does basically everything for you. Um, Templar is the easiest PvE and PvP healer because you can hold block and spam Breath of Life and you don't even have to aim your abilities. So... It's always going to be a Templar. It's the easiest, most beginner-friendly class. It's never going to change. You can run a couple buffs and be just fine with it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Did that even land? What in the world? Nothing even registered from the damage. Oh, come on. Breaking free twice? Yeah. Oh, two, two Kalorians gankers on me. Ah! Dodge just a bunch. Dodge just a bunch. Oh, God. Oh, God. Red ball group. I'm glad the red ball groups haven't got anywhere on you. Yeah, but Shazam, looking at this, are you seeing how noticeable this is for NA? For all those people that say it's not, it's like staggering. Oh, my God. Look at this. Oh, boy. This is what you call a ball group, by the way. And I'm just going to run through every keep and just do this over and over and over. Cats with Pika said they need to revisit what classes provide to a group now with Oak and Soul. Um, what do you mean by that? Like, uh, Major Courage and Major Berserk? Is that what you mean? I got you. You cannot resurrect to correct someone else. You already... Ten oh, God. Go oh, crap, crap. Run, run, run. <laughs> Where are they going now? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what in the world, dude? Like, jeez. <laughs> see, they're not going to see. You're not going to take the keep. They're going to do nothing. Okay. Um, this build is my Templar build. It's actually a... It's kind of a stamp, uh, stamp bar, but it's a hybrid. I'm just going to put exclamation point stamp bar. So it's a one bar uh, Templar that works pretty good, like with all these high lag like this. So I'm running Order's Wrath and um, Wretched Vitality and Oaken Soul, the new mythic. So it's a very simple, very easy to play. Don't be resing your friends. Stop. You're AD. Even on the EU, you're still AD. It's really nice for laggy fights like this. So like Chlorian gankers there, I can actually survive for a little bit. I'm on a high elf, which is not optimal. Oh god, oh god, ball group, go go. I love watching ball groups from a distance. Yeah, from a very long distance. They're great from a distance until they uh, drop 1,700 ults on you. Oh, CC break. See, there we go. Am I the only blue in here, or what's going on? Oh, apparently. Oh, here they go! Here they go! Look at that lag! Look at that lag! The gang don't even know what it's doing. Oh my god. Yeah, let's get a clip of this. Alright. Oh, can you stop ganking me for a second? Oh. Look at- look at- look at- look at- 
Oh my, what is my, is my, am I dead? Am I dead right now? Look at this. I cannot cast abilities. Look. <laughs> oh, then the healing goes. <laughs> what the? <laughs> I'm smashing break free right now. Oh, it crashed. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> the game closed out. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> game just closed out. <laughs> game just closed. <laughs> it didn't cook me a login. Just straight closed the game. <laughs> well, we got a new video to make. Uh, what, okay, what's the title gonna be? How bad is the lag on EU? Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> oh, Ball group just killed the server. Uh, yeah, not gonna log into EU. I tried, friends. I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. Ah. Uh. Oh, how to beat a ball group? Uh, log into a different server. There you go. That's the video. Hello, ball group. You ruined everyone's fun. I hope you, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, oh, there we go. We're back. Whew. Wow. Even the game doesn't want me to play to EU. I'm about to fire my Xbox again. Uh, Maya says the only annoying thing to move is nothing carries over. Yeah, that's That's just amazing the difference though and again, I'm not trying to like Make fun of EU or something, but it's worth doing some like some testing, right? I mean you just you just saw this How often do I crash on PC and a? Never never burger How often do I crash there? Oh god, my character looks amazing. I forgot how cool this. Oh my god. Oh, gor oh, look at this character. Just gorgeous. Oh, I think Rob got me some... Oh, my God. The mounts. Oh, I love this character now. <laughs> I went from playing my Necro over and over to playing this guy. I love this character. Oh, gorgeous. <laughs> Cost me a car payment to get him looking this way, but that's fine. When you look at this good, Swaggy McGee, baby. Now, where's the outfitter? Yeah, uh, when are we getting the EU server upgrade? I think it's gonna be pretty soon. I don't want to speak for the company. I, I don't know, but what I've been told or what I hinted at was gonna be pretty soon because the battleground server. Um, what's the new ones on Symphony of Blades? Lord Warden, Night Flame, Butt Flame. What are the new ones called? I just got one of those swords. Uh, what are they called? Oh, might have been a one H then. decline here oh i said decline are you you're gonna yes okay looks good let's see what we're doing out here oh three bars starting to pick up let's go let's roll place i need that polymorph for my templar you gotta get that polymorph this is like the coolest one they've done the problem is everyone has this polymorph so it's not original or unique but i love it <laughs> Oh, hammer's out. It's a blue hammer, too. Oh, God. Sorry, you. I tried, man. Tried. Uh, blue hammer. Come on. Where are we going, blues? Let's go. Ain't got time. To oh, look at K-Marks over here. Ain't got time for taking naps. We got to flip this map. Blue. Adama says, a uh, fair comparison would be primetime clips for both. Yeah, I could play the night, basically, and uh, just play off stream for a little bit. And get some clips, cause when do the the ball groups are in? Um, uh, no, didn't we do a stream prime time? Yeah, we already did a stream. We already did a stream prime time last week, or what Friday? And we went to Black Reach, and there was ball groups. Yeah, we already got the footage from that. All right, um, blue hammer. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I mean, I know Mega and other EU people and console fam, but doesn't it give you hope, though? Like, if it actually does get changed, God. The amount of people that will come back and the population and PvP will be just enormous. Hopefully. Hopefully it makes a big comeback. I think a lot of people will just switch to playing the card game, to be honest with you. We'll have to get a PC user going on blues. Now that I got my Oak console, how is the Oak console console grind going, gang? Like, could I, should I log in, like, on my console, my Xbox, and just, like, work on, uh, the Merkmeyer stuff? Could I, okay, is it, is it, like, doable right now? Like, at 6 in the morning, can I just get on and do it? Like, how bad is it right now, y'all? Like, is it worth, like, me waking up at 5 in the morning and just parking on a lockbox in Merkmeyer? Toss the cone, you're a bomber, what's up, Odom? The lock boxes are super cl they're still cluttered, really. They're still cluttered? Okay, not as bad. Um, is the blue orb my tunes holding? Is that a personality? Yeah, that's a per that's the part of the uh, polymorph. Yeah. Yeah, part of the mount, I should say. Yep, thank you. It was okay this weekend, okay. So maybe like one more weekend is not too bad, yeah. Oh, you're trying to go you're guy trying to group up with me? Okay, my bad. Yeah, we can group up. I'm not doing anything serious, so. So you're saying it's really bad. Okay, hmm. So I wonder, like, if people... Because it's been about a week. After five days on PCNA, it was a lot better. It took about five days. <sighs> and it was, like, really manageable to get it. I mean, I imagine after a week, it'll be okay. Mora's Whisper and some of them other mythics, believe it or not, are much harder. Oh, Bart got your Kinra's daggers. Nice. Uber, you got your Oak and Soul day two, okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I made the video on, uh, I made a video, I should say, sorry, on Oak and Soul, so I know exactly where to go, but I just don't like fighting over other players. It's just, you know, it's like PvP that doesn't really matter. God, look how much different this is. Crazy. Nap tax, what's up, buddy? <laughs> I know, Lexicon, you caught that. I'm sorry. I know, that's super arrogant. I mean, I'm usually pretty arrogant, but that that's pretty that that's pretty disgusting. Even for me. My bad. I slept up once in a year. Come on. Give me a break. Oh. Alright, I'll just go on res duty. Don't worry, gang. Y'all enjoy your game, I'll res everybody. Thank you, Uber. I appreciate you watching. I have to beg for views around here. You know that, right? Shh. Come on, Dad's gonna get this or what? Where's my healer, bro? I need aid, bro. Dad needs aid. Come aid your father. And I'm not talking Luke Skywalker. <laughs> There is another Uber now, yep. There's two Ubers. You can fight it out for my love and affection. Very toxic around here. <laughs> you, have, you, you guys can duel it out for love and affection and attention. <laughs> Nothing like it. You are getting passively healed like an absolute hammer. Wow. Oh my god, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Wow, bang! Run, run, run. Potion, potion actually works. Can't blame lag for sucking. No. No. Do I like plague break for PvP? Yeah, I use it all the time. 
It's great. It's great on magic and it's great on stamina. Yeah. Works on every class really well. Um, I switched a lot of my builds to Order's Wrath. Reason being is, uh, try to get a hammer off of this guy quick. Oh, dang it. Um, switch to Order's Wrath. Reason being is, uh, it affects my healing. So I'm just so, so tanky with Order's Wrath. I mean, when you go from 15,000, that's a 14,000 burst heal right there. 14,000. Like, you do a 14,000 burst heal when you're about to nothing. It's hard to go back from that because you do a lot of damage and you're just so, so tanky. So I love the Order's Wrath set. It's so easy to get, too. You were back in the day, huh, Uber? Appreciate you. We're just having fun, y'all. Good brawl out here today, man. It's good seeing both servers active again. Louie, what's up, yo? How we doing? Happy Monday. We did a stam necro this morning. Turned out really good. This is a ball group? Oh, no, they're not organized. Usually they're not organized until later. But yeah, I got a stam necro done. I think I'm going to publish a video on that. I'll probably work on a PvE healer, and then I'm going to be working on Starfield videos. And then I'm open for feedback. If y'all got some videos or something you uh, want information on, that would be helpful. No parson, like Sweat Lord stuff. I don't do all that, but anything else, if you need information on you don't have... Like we we we're about to run these uh, Oaken Soul bills in the ground here in a second. All right, turn the corner. Joop. Got him. <laughs> Sark Eater says, uh, my favorite Delphi related video, how to properly grill uh, chicken hindquarters. <laughs> Did you watch my dad's video, homie? <laughs> Did you watch the, my dad's video? Um, no power of light. No, no power of light. So I like the uh, stun uh, more. Like in duels, I don't run race against time and you could run power of the light, but if you don't, you're going to be completely dependent on... Um, your uh dawn breaker for stun but i've experimented with it and without and yeah power light's really good but i like the versatility of the stun and just doing this and keeping it uh, solo yeah try it if you like it um what set should you go with while leveling um so for sets that you can go with while you're leveling i would recommend heartland's conquer uh because it really pumps up the training uh trait you can just like, hit it super super fast um high level and you can put like either train on your front if you want to level fast or you can put um you know power on your back bar and front sharpen or something like that um another good option would be like if you're doing pvp um data trickery is name buffs so like it doesn't matter if it's like 15 stamina recovery and 20 weapon damage it doesn't matter what level you are data trickery works it just works, like Todd Howard said. But yeah, so I, I'd recommend those um, if you're looking for something like PvP and Battlegrounds. But if you're just doing basic stuff, Hunting's Raid, Julianus, Order's Wrath, you can't go wrong with that sort of stuff. Oh, zerging that poor guy down. You been watched Howie the Butcher today? Thanks, dude. It, it means a lot to my dad. It keeps him going. So, you know, keeps him going, having a good old time, making the videos. It's like... I'm running like 17 things on my my site, my, you know, I got two, what, three YouTube videos, or three YouTube channels, two websites. My dad's like, can you ed edit this video for me? I'm like, sure, dad. Yep. Nope. Not, not busy at all. I got you, boo. You did give me life, though, so there is that. The whole, like, giving son life thing. I'm oh, fine. I got you. I love you. You know you're a hillbilly redneck. Speaking of hillbilly redneck, oh god, sorry. Uh, we're going on the boat rides tomorrow. It's I, it's like the number one hillbilly redneck thing I've wanted to do for a while. Going on an airboat down like this huge river with me and my dad. I, I don't know why I've wanted to do it. I know no one's interested, but I think it's gonna be fun. JDL says, um, how would you use a cultural overload? So with the Kotal Overload, realize that you have to be under a status effect. So let's read a Kotal Overload. 
Um, whenever you kill an enemy under the effect of a status effect, they violently explode for a bunch of oblivion damage. So I don't have any status effects on my bar. Like I don't have a guaranteed status effect. You can put like poisons and stuff like that, but any gap closer that does bleeds um, or something like that's gonna proc the hemorrhage status effect. If you're a necro, you can use the stand version of blast bones and then you automatically proc a status effect. So it does come into handy, but you have they have to be under a status effect. You can meat bag them, you can do all this and that. So it's not just kill an enemy and God bless. They have to be under a status effect. So some classes can take advantage of that a little bit easier than others. Yeah. Um, Uber asks, does the Necro Pocket Healer Ghost get affected by 8% heal crit? Yeah, it should. Um, because the, the healing from the Ghost is just like any other ability. can be amplified or lowered or whatever, yeah. Ruda, what's good? <laughs> These are asking me butcher questions, dude. I'm a streamer, man. <laughs> I'm not a butcher like my dad. It's like three generations of, a. Uh, of my family being butchers. I try to break it by getting an edumacation. And here I am streaming. <laughs> well done, little nugget. I was like, I ain't going to be a butcher. Nothing against my dad. God bless him. I love him. But his dad, his dad's dad, his dad's dad, his dad's dad, all the way back in Germany. Germans. Butchers. I'm like, yeah, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't butchering nothing. I ain't chopping nothing. No meat. I'm chopping meat up in the video game. Where's Jonathan at? Big John. Oh, you're about to get... Oh, John. Sorry, brother. Your name's John. You'll get over it. <laughs> oh, gee, what's up, man? You're a redneck from Colorado. Shout out to your dad. We're part of Colorado. We gotta have a little meetup. August 6th, Saturday. I'm gonna be in Colorado Springs. Come on, meet me. Come meet me. Don't fight me or nothing. Don't be a weirdo. <laughs> Where can I snag Howie the Butcher swag? <laughs> you guys gotta stop. <laughs> yes, you gotta get like my swag, not my dad's. I'm gonna stop promoting. I'm gonna start charging my dad. <laughs> $100 a shout out. $100. Dad, you gotta give some subs for a shout out. <laughs> Is that toxic? <laughs> Is that... Oh man, you gotta give some subs. Dad, where's your Prime at? <laughs> where's your Twitch Prime, homie? You don't even surprise. You don't even hit your boy up with the Prime. What's wrong with you, Dad? <laughs> Can I speak German? I ain't from Germany. My uh, my grandfather and them were from Germany. No, I can barely speak English. Ask my teachers. Like we gotta pass this idiot so he won't be in the class anymore. God bless him. All right, Glock, if you're for real about meeting up, though, I'm serious. Like, we'll do a meetup on, uh, I'm thinking about, like, renting a little picnic area, like, in the uh, Colorado. I think they got a national or state park there. I'll put out some information if y'all are serious about it, but I think we should do a little mini meetup if people are from Colorado and want to do it. So, it'll be August 6th. Book your calendar. We'll do it. My son ain't going to be there. I don't, I don't release my son's in, uh, identity, but my wife's going to be there. Bay's going to be there. When am I going to get my dad in chat? I can bring him on stream. He comes and takes care of my dog so once in a while. Hold on, let's see. I'll see. I'll see if we can get him on. Let's see what he's doing. Oh, he already, he already got the dogs already. Dang it. All right, well, we'll get him on stream. We'll get him on stream next. <laughs> I, I got I to gotta watch his language, though. He might say something nasty. So I'm like, Dad, you got you to keep it. You got to keep it PG, brother. Brother, brother, brother. Garden of the Gods, baby. That's where it's at. Get my dad in the ESO. My daddy hates video games. Is it, unless it's a fishing video game or duck hunt. He don't want nothing to do with it. And God bless duck hunt. Oh, let's get in here. There's fishing in ESO. That's true. All right. Well played. Y'all going to make him a card game sweat. <laughs> you guys in your card games. Swear to God. Silence. You got to go, brother. Ready? Let's get it, DG. Go, go, go. Race, 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 race. 
Oh, they're about to get bombed right here. Yeah, yeah. Zoop. Got him. Where'd a hammer go? Up top. Top rope. Macho man. Nacho man. Oh, look at that damage. Too much damage. Too much damage. All right, where'd they go? Over this side? Yeah, yeah. Don't die, Nugget. Oh, nugget, nugget died here. Let's see if Dad can get it. Your father wants it. Oh, you're not gonna let Dad get it? All right, fine. Inappropriate. Who got it? Oh. ESO is not a fishing game. Don't they have like a lot better fishing games than other MMOs like Lost Ark in them or no? It's Tootie. Tootie Booty. Oh yeah, y'all yeah, gonna enter the giveaway at the end of the stream. I'll be doing uh, merch or crowns if y'all are interested. You don't even have, it's no purchase necessary. You don't even have to have a prime. Subscribers will get extra luck though. Since I failed again. Swear to God, I'm feeling the rigging me. So hit exclamation point ticket. Everyone gets one. Um, and then if you have, uh, so DG merch or you can get um, crowns. It's a way to give back. Appreciate y'all. Had a really good month so far. It's been a lot of fun. Um, back to my normal schedule. Working on bills and stuff. And Starfield, again, I know I keep saying this, but I made a Starfield uh, separate YouTube channel and website. So I would appreciate it if you could sign up for that. If you're interested in Starfield, would help me get it monetized and... So I can start pumping that up. Uh, won't be leaving ESO by any means, but I'll be covering that game. So I got a partner to help me out. And I uh, think it should be good. I'd love you. I'd love you if you did. No, the mod can link it in, in chat, but that'd be helpful. Oh, let's go up here. Oh, it's me versus the entire EP faction. Yeah, let's get him off the siege, though. Come on, gang. Ow. Ow. Disrespectful. And a gate on me. Oh, I'm about to die. Fall damage! Thank you, Deez. There you go. So, yeah, there's the YouTube channel. If you click on that, you can subscribe. It would help me out a lot. If not, you don't like me, that's cool, too. All right, did we get in? Okay, um, let me get my resources back up. We'll get the hammer. <laughs> um, we'll see. How long does it take for the merch to arrive? So, like, they send me, um, it's different, like, depending on where you live and what you order. So, like, if it's a hoodie, I think it's, like, a little bit longer. If it's a t-shirt, those get, like, a few days. Same with a tank top, so. Yeah, I know I sent something to Think Mister in South America. Like, tch, you can't even get updates on that one. But, yeah, if you need updates and it's been, like, over a couple weeks, just shoot me a message and I'll check on if you won from a giveaway. Yeah. South Carolina, come on and raise up. Take your shirt off. Do a DB. Spin it like a helicopter. Oh, about to die. Yeah, I'm dead. Bro, where's the forward camp, bro? My honor the dead went to someone else. Now I'm honored. Now I'm honored the dead. <laughs> Owner me from South Carolina. How is it out there? It's one place I've never really been in the country. South Cagalac. Petey Pablo. I heard I heard good things about South Carolina, North Carolina. It's gorgeous. Myrtle Beach. That's where my aunt and uncle always go and they always brag about being on the golf course. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, golf. <laughs> Lame. Putt putt golf, this. Mini golf, this. First date, not to brag, mini golf. On a first date, do you let the person win, though, honestly? I was like a hundred, I was like, was a hundred percent serious in mini golf first date. Yep. No wonder she didn't like me. Hey, this guy's an idiot. Yep, he's a sweat. Mini golf sweat. Ow. You're, you're some type of sweat if you're a mini golf sweat, though. Really. Run! Jump off the ledge! Is that going to kill me? Oh, no. Perfect. Oh, the YouTube for Starfield again? Sure. One second. Uh, I think it should be exclamation point Starfield. All right. Thanks, murder. 
Wait, Willis, you lived in Myrtle Beach for three years? Man. All right, well, how was it, though? What are we doing here? Are we, like, trying to get this key? Or just farting around? What are we doing? I'm DBing, kids. Charleston, South Carolina. All right, I'm going to have to take a visit out of South Carolina. Y'all are going to have to come visit me in Colorado Springs. I need my ego pumped up. I need to feel self-important. I need my self-worth to increase. Yep. So help me. I'm about to get my midlife crisis, all right? About to be 40 years old. 40 years old. My midlife crisis. I'm about to hit my peak. Peaked in high school. All right? I need your help. Grr, button masher. Love the name, brother. Let's see. Somerville, South Carolina. Okay, Willows. It was fun. A party lot. Right, we're about to do a rep, yo, city. Where y'all from? Where y'all from? All right. We got South Carolina in the house. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Where are we from, chat? If I get five first-time chatters, I'll do... I'll do a gold giveaway. So let's, uh, oh, Savannah, Georgia. Where the Georgia peaches at? Let's go. Wrap it. Willis is in Maine currently. Okay, Maine. Los Angeles, the city of angels. Chi-town, baby. Virginia. Oregon, where at in Oregon, though? And they go, Netherlands. KC, baby, Patty Mahomes. Take touchdown. Touchdown, Patty Mahomes, baby. Florida, Virginia, Venezuela. Oh crap, about to die. Oh God. Crescent City, California. Travis Kelsey country, baby. Touchdown. 15. Scotland. Roseburg, Oregon. Heard. Leave me alone. Brazil. Western North Carolina, Tennessee. Rocky Top. God bless the volunteers. Kingsland, Georgia. Hallucinogenic. You're a Georgian. Finland. Where my Nebraska? Where are my islands? Huh? Where my islands at? We got no corn huskers in chat. Where my islands at? Where my where my folks from Kansas? Oh hi, oh the Buckeyes. They're garbage. Boomer sooner, baby. Big John. Big John 13 months, baby. Let's go. Denmark. Denmark represent Augustus, Georgia. Shout out to Augustus. Triple OG, Roman Emperor. Let's go! Ireland, baby! Irish, Irish! Let's see. Uh, oh, crater on the moon. Yes! We love living on the moon. You and Elon Musk. England. John's from Wales, though. I'm not going to get out his address on stream, but where are my Welsh? Where are my Welsh at? Ah, wait, Adams, are you for are you from real for Iowa? Wales for the win. They be sweating them down out in Wales. Buckeyes. Ohio State Buckeyes. Where my Nick Saban Alabama fans out though? Oh yeah, we can't talk about college football, sorry. That's like politics and religion. You can't talk about it. My bad. What is this blue? Ooh. Um, why can't you whisper me in game? Uh, I should be online. Yeah, I'm online. Delty is gaming. Yeah, you should be chat. Delty is gaming in game. I'm on PCNA right now, crow. Texas? All my exes live in Texas. Tennessee. All right, good stuff. Oh, 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 oh. I had to wake y'all up for a second. Mitch, you're from Iowa too? Okay. Kevin, be careful. <clears throat> Uber! Call, baby! Dropping one on us! Let's go! Appreciate you, man! JL! Come on down, baby! Five months! Let's go! Exactly, rap it. Okay, I gotta keep my voice. I can't lose my voice on a Monday. Uh, Kitty, hey, did you get those crowns right? I had a friend, uh, Sal, send them. You got those crowns though, right? Kitty, on Xbox. Yo, my Xbox account said I had you blocked or something. My Xbox account's crazy. Whew. 
I know, Kev. I say, I'm just, you know how it goes, Kev. I don't want people to go on a rant about that. You feel me? All good. Okay, cool. I was making sure you got that. Awesome. Yeah, my Xbox account all messed up. Like, they had to, like, refresh my account or something. Oh, uh, look at this mount. Look at this mount. Hold on, hold on. Wait, ready? Ready? Look at this mount. Three, two, one. Jelly! Ooh! Psh! Flo, the Nog Leader! Oh, my God. Might be garbage at the game, but I got a great mount, brother. Brother. Ow! Oh my god, you and your sweaty stam sorks. Oh. Can't, can't. Can't. Murder! Murder time! No relation to Miller time! Let's go! Big Deep's murder! Appreciate you for gifting five subaronis. Oh my god, y'all got some damage on you. Holy guacamole! I see you and your stam sork get out of here. How close to a hype train? 100 bits away from another eligible user hitting a hype train. Instant gold giveaway. Just saying. Just saying. Murder's at 171 gifted subs. We're trying to get murder on the stream team. We need more PvPers on the stream team, by the way. Apply for the stream team. There's no downsides. Get on there. Represent PvP. Soupy twist! Twist them! Soupy's first gifted Sabarino! Let's go! Uh, what we say? Wait, what's the, what's the command gonna be? We gotta be jabs. Lexicon with the best. Appreciate you. Exclamation point. Jabs. PC and A. PCU. Xbox and A. PlayStation and A. Oh, God. I'm AFK, brother. Stop. Stop. Thanks for the follow. Ooh, that hit hard. Jeez. Oh, God, that hit hard. I'm running. Oh, that's damn sork, though. Too much damage. Too much damage. Exclamation point, Jabberino. You put in the application, you hope for the best. Yeah, everyone gets denied. It's kind of like Soul Security. Everyone gets denied the first time, so. But just keep applying, keep streaming. You got it. We need more PvPers on the, the stream team. Again, there's really no downside for it, so. Come on, chatters. Let's go. It's a Monday. Back in the Elder Scrolls. I know we, everyone got drops and all that. Hopefully, Zenimax Online learned something from the whole drops and, like, the big uh, release for the chapter. You got to admit, it was pretty dope. So, I'm hoping they'll do that for every, every release, really. Be awesome if they did. Oh, you did it. Look. Res friend. Um, perks for the stream team, so I get like um you get like codes for giveaways, so like I can give out, you know, high aisles and stuff like that. It just helps you with giveaways a lot of times. And and plus you can give feedback internally. Not that, like they're gonna listen to everything you say or whatever, but you can basically say, hey, I think this needs to be changed without doing some public state of the union. Tag baby! Continuing the gifted sub from Kuda Dave. Shout out to Kuda Dave. Hooking me up with them Kudas for year skis. Year ski, old Kuda Dave be hooking it up. Hooking it. Thank you, friend. Appreciate you. Almost do a level two. Level two will do some gold. More gold. More, 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 more. Trying to get the flag slip. Bubble par, I'm out of gas. Ow. I'm out of Magica. My Magica's out. Oh. Dawnbreaker. Go. Yeah, so it's a win-win, really. I mean, you get to help viewers out. You don't have to pay for it. I mean, yeah. It's been, and they don't tell you what to do or say or what to stream or nothing. There's no downside, really. I keep it real with you if it were. Yeah, it's all good. It's good COD gravy train. Yeah, you just put up the bat si signal. When you put up the bat signal, it's like, let's go. Put up the bat signal, the nugget symbol. Ooh, ow, 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 ow. Grr. You are a tanky little thing. Jeez, jeez Louise. All right, we ready? One minute and 44 seconds. So far, we're at 200,000 gold. PCNA, PCU, Xbox NA, PlayStation NA. 
God Slater said they should give the stream team a special skin or mount. I don't know about that. Like, you, because when I was not on the stream team, you know, you don't want to be on the outside looking in. So I appreciate the perks, but you don't want to isolate other streamers that are not on the stream team. Um, it, you know, you need enough incentive where you want to be on it, but not like screw over people that are not. That, but anyways, that's a different topic. So I feel like it's a good sweet spot right now. But yeah, man, we're doing good. So I'm very thankful y'all are tuning in and we could get here. Exclamation point jabs. Um, where do you apply? So um, I don't have the exact link. Bar! Let it burn! Airborne Ranger taking us home, baby! Time gifted sub, let it burn, burn cycle. Hitting us with them four cylinder, big DPS. 10, gift aronis. Level two deleted. Oh God, about to die. That's worth it. It's worth. Dodge, 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 dodge. Ah! Ooh. Oh, you're chasing me, brother. Got me. I'm chaser, I need a chaser. I'm gonna go over here and see what's going on here. Almost to a level three. Thanks for dropping a 10 piece on us. We're almost to a level three. We'll do a million gold if we get a level three. Um, you asked about tips about streaming. So streaming's really tough. If I'm gonna be honest with you, I wouldn't even start streaming until you had a YouTube channel and started making YouTube videos and stuff because Twitch doesn't have very good discoverability. So you can always do it as a hobby and have your friends watch, but it, it, it's, it's really tough. Vicious Violet! Let's go! Five piece, 96% in, 131 total gifted subs. Thank you, Violet. Appreciate you doing that. 4% away. Um, but yeah, it, it's tough. And um, just like anything, don't quit right away if it doesn't, you know, you're not successful doing it. You just gotta stick with it. But you gotta have a real fire for it. And like, what's the reason you wanna stream, you know? If you wanna play a video game and just turn, hit, go live, it's just, I don't think that's the way to go. You gotta have something you're really trying to do, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, Greg says make YouTube shorts, TikTok videos, guides, whatever it is about you. Like, find out what people like about you. Because everyone has some type of value. Don't, like, try to be me or someone else. Be the best version of yourself. You know, screaming, yelling, having high energy, not getting butt hurt. That's just, that just comes easy for me. So that, that's just how I do it. But that don't mean it comes easy for you. You got to find out what you, like, what people like about you. And then just crank it up to 10. You know, and just do your best. But give it a year if you're going to take it serious and try for a year before you quit. If it doesn't work out in a year, hey, you gave it your best, you know? Like, I gave bodybuilding a real good go. I ain't got the genetics, man. This, this ain't in the cards, you know? So what are you going to do? I'm, I'm not going to be in the NBA. It just ain't happening. But I can scream and yell, baby. Two minutes left. It takes four more percent. That's like a hundred more bits to get us to a million gold. A million gold. Giveaway, PCNA, PCU, Xbox, NA, PlayStation. And I don't have a million Xbox, but I'll get something for you if you're on Xbox. All you gotta do is hit exclamation point jabs to enter. And uh, someone was asking about the High Isles giveaway. I'd give one away. I don't know if I have the codes on console anymore. I'm running out of those. But um, end of the stream, we can do a giveaway for whatever you want, basically. As long as I have the codes for it, I'll do it. Let's see, Nova, you talk about streaming, what do you mean? Sorry, I don't understand. Soupy twist, oh god dang, 98%, 98. I'm gonna turn on my happy song. This is my happy song. This is like going riding a bike and you're outside, the sun's out, gun's out, hamstring's out, life's good, on a lake, wind blowing, trees rocking. There we go. Apex still got us there with 200 bits. Soupy, another 100. We got there. All right. Exclamation point jabs, a million gold. If we get to level four, we'll do two million gold. Thanks, friend. This is like the summer jam, right? I love the song. 
Just love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, let's go take these other resources quick. Wolf Use, what's up? Shadow Defiant, thanks for the bits. Happy Monday. Oh, uh, Stonewall, just make sure you're doing exclamation point jabs, okay? So don't do the max. That, that, that's not for... Uh, the jabs won't register that. So just hit jabs. Subscribers will get extra luck. Good old, it's like a summer jam, man. Remember that Will Smith summer jam? What was that? Summertime? That has to be like the, the ultimate summer jam. God bless Will Smith. Good song, though. Pool's popping. Okay, you started healing with the Bone Doctor and really uh, having fun with those builds. Okay, I think I'm about uh, to up, update my Templar healer build video. It's going to take me like you know, an hour. I mean, there's so much to explain with healing, but I've been hanging out with people that are way better at it than I am. So I think I have a lot of good stuff for healers in PvE. Um, yeah, I'll probably record that tonight. Because I haven't done a healer video in about a year, so... Yeah, ooh, sick mount. Well, I'm glad you liked it. Thank you. The Necro Healer, like I told people, was just a blast. Don't sleep on the Necro Healer. It's a lot of fun. Uh, what do you say? PvE's pointless? PvE's fun. Stop. <laughs> Both sides of the game are fun. Oh, geez, there's a lot of alts in this poor thing. Healer. Yeah, Necro Healer and PvP is a lot of fun, too. It just it's People think it's like just damage, but it's not. I'm having way more fun on my Necro with the one bar, though. Vaz Drew, I don't even know what that what that one is. I, summertime Girls, I, I have no idea what that is. That, that's like an old head thing there. All right, let's see where the action is. So reds are just getting just melted. Let's go over to BRK. Oh, T, yeah, this is the new polymorph that comes from the uh, uh, the crates or whatever. I think it's like 100 gems. Let me see what it is. Endeavors, it costs a lot. Like, I don't think it's worth buying these things for Endeavors. You gotta save up for, but like, the store, let's see what is it. Um, crown crates. I think it's Apex. Yeah, 400 gems. I had, I had some left over right here, but the Soul Razor's Knight. So 400 gems, and then the Endeavors, it costs like a crap ton. Yeah, 8,000 Endeavors, but... One, you could basically get one of these fancy mounts for 16,000. Like, it makes sense to use the those for, uh, I think that, versus uh, spending 8,000, like half of them for a polymorph. Don't make sense to me. 80s rock, baby. I love me some 80s rock. A little white snake. A little white snake. A little Van Halen. A little poison. Yeah, man. I used to go mow lawns like when I was a kid and spend all my money on Magic the Gathering cards. Listen to that. God dang it. They just started Siege and Ash. Son of a biscuit. We're just there. <laughs> Idiot. Must be on the Ramsky. All right, um, last call, exclamation point jabs, a million gold. PCNA, PCU, Xbox NA, or a PlayStation NA, I can do about 200,000 gold. All I gotta do is be a follower, hit exclamation point jabs. Pour some sugar on me, baby. Level three, thank you everybody, appreciate it. Appreciate you. Burn cycle, you were the hype train conductor, I think, weren't you? Nice. Thanks, friend. 
How's it going on Xbox for you? You getting a hang at the game and stuff, or is it becoming easier for you? People always ask me to start the game. It's like, basically when you reach level 50, your next goal is CP 160. Once you reach CP 160, like you need to optimize your character. So that is like getting your guilds maxed out. Your Sigic, Undaunted, Fighter's Guild, Mage's Guild. That just is so time consuming for one character. But if you max the skill lines out, then you can you know, either buy them or fart around with the next one. You gotta get scrying max out. You gotta work on getting all of your crafting and everything figured out. It's a lot when you first get started, but yeah. EO3, what's going on? I love that, Rob. Nice little nugget there. Okay, let's see if we can rescue this guy. Oh, geez, I got 12 on. Let's go enter. Oh, what they get the scroll? Okay. Here I am. Let's see. It's, I got to have one meat bag. Of course, I have one. Oh. One door. So you play Final Fantasy on PlayStation? So Final Fantasy is on consoles as well, huh? How is Final Fantasy in comparison to ESO? I'm dropping down, YOLO. I'm about to get blown up. Shoot. It's a virus! Ah! Stam sword hurt. Hmm. Break free, go! Big heel, go! Oh, got nothing left. Come on, tripod, tripod, tripod. Ah, dang it, got me. Uh, let's see, it's tons better? What's tons better? Um, someone's asking, I'm looking for a class easy to play for a new player. Is Stampart better than the Magpart? No. For a new player, Magpar is better because your main spamble heals you. So you don't have to take time off of doing damage and having all this 100% situational awareness, anything like that. Um, so I would recommend a Magpar. Stampar does objectively more damage the way the game is right now. But you don't really need that as a beginning player to have all the sweaty sets and all that. So... I, I definitely recommend a Magpar because then you can basically do very, very simple rotation. And most of the time you're doing the rotation, you're getting healed. Um, how is the one par, one button Magpar build? Um, pretty good. I mean, it's the same thing. I use basically the same thing on Mag or Stam. Let me jump in the Discord quick so we're getting more serious here. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's it's really good. The the Magpar, and especially with uh, PVE and PVP, think about it. Your main spam will heals you. It does single target damage and it does AOE. So the, it's just so simple. But the Necro, believe it or not, I'm having a lot of fun with too. Let's see if we can get down here. Yeah, Magpar is my favorite class to play, and it's just like, if I can do raids and stuff, and... Because, like, if I'm streaming, if I'm doing veteran trials, I just suck, to be honest with you. I can't concentrate and look at chat and all that, so the Magpar is the one that I can just AFK, like, go through my rotation, not even look at my character because I've played it so long. Blow him up, blow him up, blow him up! Let's go! So this is the hybrid Templar here. Oh, I'm going in, I'm going in, I'm going in. 3, 2, 1, DB. Oh! Get him! Get him! Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> uh, we go back, go back, go back. Oh, you ain't escaping this one. You ain't escaping. Nope. Where my bow users at? They did. They daddy spaghetti. Oh, they're going inside now. Okay, hold on. We gotta, we gotta reinforce. Reinforce the crown! All right, Bark, I'm trying to get you up. Hold on, I got you, boo. Thank you, 
Thank you, hey Randall. Uh, Rocky Road says, could you argue that you do more damage on a Magpar because you don't have to stop and heal as much? Exactly. Think about like other classes like the Dragonite. You're getting like noodle heals from uh, Burning Embers anymore. What's your main heal on a Dragonite? You don't even have to slot a heal on a Templar. That's why it's so strong. Um, I mean, Crow is about the only other one. Like, think about a Warden. The Warden does insane damage. But you you just can't throttle down because you need, like, um, your main spam hole doesn't heal you. Or, like, the, the Nightblade is pretty comparable, but having something, like, the very first time I played in beta, I was, like, coming from Star Wars or Republic, where damage dealers essentially couldn't heal themselves. And I said, your main spam hole heals you, hits like a truck, does single target, does AoE, has really juicy passives, burning light, 5% damage reduction with minor protection, gives you more crit for slotting it. Just say it out loud. It's the, it's the best ability in the game. My opinion. Stam, Stam Sword Crit Surge is nice, that's true. But it's not an ability. You can't spam it for damage. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm Daggerfall. Uh, years ago, I was Ebonheart Pack. And then Fangrush and a couple of friends, uh, we all hooked up. And then we started doing sweaty PvP together. And then I switched. So I basically started AD, switched to EP. And I did, like, pretty hardcore um, PvP on EP raid leading in the main faction. And then I switched to Daggerfall. And I haven't switched yet. Yeah. Okay, um, let me go ahead and uh, take a minute. We got the gold giveaway for a million gold, PC, NA, or EU. Consoles have a little bit less. All you got to do is hit exclamation point jabs. So let me uh, step away real quick. Come on back, and we'll go ahead and do that giveaway. Sound good? All right, be right back. Deathmatch. No objective. Just kill, kill him. Kill okay. Him. I got heals for you. Yep, just hit that sweep. Just hit that sweep. We're already in love with the game. I see it. Let's go up. Yep, yep, yep. I got you. I got you. Okay, come back. Just evade him for a minute. You're doing good. You're doing... Or my flame, whatever. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yep. Three. Give me a second. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm about to die, so never mind. I got you. I'm trying to try do some dodges. Use your crescent sweep in three, two, one. Hit it. Hit it. Bang! That's a bomb right there. That's what there is to bombing people. <laughs> I golded out the jewelry. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Boom, baby! Big bomb! Big bomb! Yo, this is my man. I love this thing. <laughs> oh, this guy just out here crazy man talking. Doesn't get old being crazy all the time just sitting talking to yourself. So as a screamer who sits in his basement for five hours a day talking to himself. Uh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Rusty going. Okay, someone got stomped. It was not me, though. And as soon as I say that, I got stomped. I'm not clipping that. Okay, someone got stomped. It was not me, though. And as soon as I say that, I got stomped. I'm not clipping that. They're getting close to ju juicy, okay? I gotta... Let me get a full resto going. Bill no, on me. Dogpile. Big heal on me. Big heal, big heal, big heal. Now. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Dogpile for days! Yeah, baby! I'm gonna keep my head on a swivel here. I'm trying to get a meteor up and then bomb him. So I'm looking for the Chevron. So my team is getting his back up. All right, let's do it. 74 eligible users, 1 million gold on the line. Here we go. Let's crank it up. We need some emotes, though. Oh, a hallucinogenics. That's a lot of nuggets there. All right. Exclamation point jabs. Last call. Fill up the emo wall. Happy Monday, fun day. Summer's here, baby. Splash pads. Tom Cruise is out making movies again. Oh my God, life is good right now. Let's go. There we go. Get it, baby. Get it, girl. Five, four, three, two, one. Ingram, nine, five, nine. Where are my warden doers at? Where you at, big homie? Congrats, buddy. One million gold. We'll give you a minute to respond. I'm sure you will. My warden duelers at. Oh, there you are. There you are. 
How you doing? How you liking this patch? How you doing? Oh, well, it's not about me. It's about you. How you doing? All right, I'm back. I'm back, guys. Oh, you're going to send that green bear and zerg me down again, huh? It's all right. I love you. You know I do. You know I love you. It's okay. I don't mind you out, you out doing me. I'm just going to blame it on lag anyway. So, hey, you win. I'll just say my PC acted up and got exposed. Yo, clip it and send it to everybody. It'll be great. Perfect. It'll be perfect. Now, Chatters, uh, can you help me with the next project? What PvE bill would y'all like the, for me to work on? Or PvP, I should say. Can you give me some ideas? I feel like I've got some Oak and Soul ones done. I, I'm going to do some healers and probably a Stam Crow one. Is there something that will be helpful y'all want me to work on you need information on? Tell me. Sardiner says war. Are you being serious with the war or are you just trying to mess with me? Are you being serious? Okay. Um, did I get that mount with gems or did I get lucky? I got gems. I had 400 laying around. People gift me the crates and stuff, so yeah. I didn't buy any else for me. Uh, let's go down here and just see what's going on. Unkillable troll tank. I, I know you keep saying that. If I make that, Nixon, people are going to play it, though. Stam DK, okay. Um, Stam DK, PVE, PVP. Be a little bit specific if you could. Stam Warden. God, what? Stam Warden, Necro Bow. Necro Bow Bow I've already done, which is a blast, by the way. It worked better than the, the Warden. All right, so I need to make a warden. Fine, 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 fine. I'll make a warden. Dang it. You're just doing that to mess with me. Stam, now are we doing PvE? I'll do a PvE Stam warden. God. All right, so I need to get the stupid Droza curse set or whatever, right? Ugh, do I have that stupid set? Let me see if I got it. Someone ganks me. I'm blaming you guys. I'll blame it on lag. Is it dro? Is it how you spell it? Oh, do I have to do this dungeon again? Ugh, I need transmuse. I can't even fake that. I don't have it now. Crap. PvP Stam Warden with the bear. Update PvP tank. Oh, PvE tank. Okay, that's a good one. All right, so Warden PvE tank. Good. Those are good ones. Yeah, because the meta has really changed with the PvE tanks. Okay. All right, I'll work on those the rest of the week. We can do that. I'll work on these a uh, couple more to get these done after work today. Yeah. Fine, fine. Frost Warden. Frost. Everyone loves the Frost Warden. Fine, I'll do it. Oh, 12K, brother. 12K all day. Who got me? PV, no CP, no skill points. I've done no CP before, but gear has to carry it for that. We're the only ones here, by the way, I think, yeah. Ooh. We're going to pull back. They have infinite respawns, and they're just going to uh, mess with us. So let me see what we got in that. Let's move off here to Brendel. We needed some distance so they can't just infinitely respawn on us. They come follow me us out. Alright, duke it out over here. Alright, just one guy followed. Okay, looks like oh two gankers. <laughs> they were waiting, jeez Louise. Yeah, they're still following. Alright, come back over here then. Okay, can you Okay, well, well, this is just a... Looks like a tank DK. Um, let's push up a minute. Kalorian's Nightblade on us here. I don't even know why I need to say that at this point. Uh, let's move to Robeck. They're just going to keep on respawning here. Oh, what's going on back there? Here, keep going. Oh, 
I'm hitting this. I got heals for you. There we go. Good. Hitting this right here. Got him. Pickles down! Alright, let's move now. Just look, we gotta go, otherwise it's gonna keep on trolling our, our people that are low. I'm moving. You gotta follow me. Um, what are the best non-proc sets for non-proc campaign? Um, so Oak and Soul works in no non-proc. Torque works. Gaze has set this works, so I'd recommend a Mythic. And then it depends on what your, um, what your build is, really. So, um, there's some AoE, I think Dragons works really, or Dagons. If you're using a Necro, works really well. The Heartland Conqueror works for everything. Pariahs works. Spriggans works. It's not like two out of the box, really. Uh, you can still use Mythics and no proc BBP. I, mechanical QE doesn't work. Some of them big heavy hitters don't, but just stacking max stats like crazy. That's the problem with no proc PvP is you get a huge big ball group and there's there's no way to blow them up. There's no way to dominate them. So that's what we that's what we ran into on Saturday night is they're just in a you know 20 man emperor group and there's no way to blow them up in no proc PvP. It's just literally whoever has the most people wins. And that's why I like the dark convergence say, because if I would have had dark convergence and we would have countered them, pff, destroyed them. But we couldn't. So they have the Emperor, they have all the buffs, they have more people, there's no way to really counter it. Um, unless you sweat them down a tower, but we just didn't have the deeps for it. So yeah, anyways, I'm rambling, but... Don't overthink the no-proc PvP ones. I think Order's Wrath works as well. Super, super good. Saint EP coming to be our king, or the... Uh, Ink to be okay. Got it. Let's go down here, see what's going on. See what's going on. Oh, Minus says the Order's Wrath crit bonus healing does not work. How does that not work in no proc? Have you tested it before? That's bizarre. Because it's, it's, it's literally not a proc. It, there's no condition for it to go off. Hmm. Oh, thanks for the update. I thought it did. That's bizarre because there's there's no there's nothing to get it to go. It's not like it's an overpowered buff and no proc, but huh? Um. Okay, so this is down. Arius is hot. Do we want to go back and reinforce? You think Arius or? Yeah, they're all fighting pretty big up there. Uh, I think we go reinforce Arius. I'm sorry, you guys can't hear me. I think we need to go reinforce areas. I'm going to buy a keep recall. If we want to die or go down there. Otherwise, there's nothing we can do down here. The whole faction, we need to help them. Cannot use one or keep it. Or go slaughter fish quick, yeah. Weird, huh? I don't know. What, I wonder if the devs, the devs did that purposely, but... You know, Wretched Vitality, I can see that doesn't work. Woo! You died mid-air, Shazam. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> like, you were mid-air and, like, dead. <laughs> like, dude, before you even landed, like, there's some EU lag there. Yeah, I died mid-air, brother. I got snipe. I got the aim bot on me in ESO, right? I'm aim bots everywhere. It's infecting ESO now. Dead, daddy spaghetti. What are questions you got? I'm doing the Cyrodiil 500 right now. No, it's no relation to Daytona 500, where basically we ride around, tell stories, and talk about food and crap like that. Um, can I recommend a one-bar Templar healer for PvP? Yes, we updated that. Uh, we updated that um, uh, this weekend. So I, think, I don't know if it's on. Let me just go here. We got all the one bar PvP builds, including healers, and so I'll give you the Templar one here. There you go. But yeah, it's basically sp spamming a bunch of restos and having a bunch of synergies, so it works really, really well. Um, okay, so looks like they got pushed back big time. Looks like ADs are probably at LM.
Sardiner says, back to food. Am I a fan of coffee? Typically, no. I use it as an appetite suppressant. So usually when I'm uh, dieting or trying to get thinner or whatever, I it just, for whatever reason, just screws my appetite like up. So it's really nice. It's handy. Uh, let's go to the farm. Where did the DC get wiped to? Yeah, dang it. My bad. I'm, probably, I'm sure Ash will flag as soon as we come up here. <laughs> Brew crew, Barbie, Brew Barry, and appreciate you, man. Thanks for the reset, friend. Seven months already, huh? God, how long we've we been back? 14 months now. 14 months strong. It's been 14 months already. That's a big comeback. 14. 14 glorious months. Best 14 months of my life. I don't know if that's true or not, but yeah. That'll yeah, probably be the 14 best month of my life. My day my son was born, my best day. What's up with you and Xbox? You sweating down the card game or what? Um, do I drink decaf when you're solely using it for appetite suppressant? Yeah, so in the afternoon I have decaf. You don't want to have caffeine like at 6 o'clock at night or something. Yeah, it, it, I'm telling you, for whatever reason, it just screws my appetite up. Same with apple apple cider vinegar or whatever it's called. You're like super hungry. You're about to eat like a double whopper. I'm trying, man. Yeah, I make the, I always make the wrong call. Like wherever I say to go is gonna be the opposite of where people go. Like I I just I don't know what it is. All right, here we go. So it's, uh, tell the tribute is a fun distraction. Well, good. I'm glad you're liking it. Hitting this. Lord Osiris. A little bunch down here now. Okay, let's check, uh, let's check out this. Am I a night owl? I am not a night owl. Just leave that tank alone. No, I am not a night owl. I'm up early. Early bird gets the worm, man. Early bird gets the worm. Hey, Beesky. Let's rotate around the front. Um, this is considered like a hybrid, like a legit hybrid. I am playing on a quote-unquote stam uh, race character, like at work. But basically, you can play it on a mag or a stam. It uses both pools pretty effectively. So, yeah. It's a hybrid one I posted on uh, YouTube. They're gonna bomb. They're gonna bomb. You have air you up. You're right in the steps. They're gonna hit hard. Okay. Take a shot of avocado oil. What are you, Tom Brady? All right, gotta pull off here to the hill. About to get on my little sorky perky. Yeah, hit it. Um, are there decent macro builds? Yeah, if you're not interested in bombing, macro does very, very well with the uh, Vatashram uh, Destro. Vatashram Destro does really well. Uh, you're not getting just nothing but these fights up here now. So Vatashram Destro running like the flame wheel or um, you can run this new set that prolongs, what's it called? Prolongs, um... Status effects. It's a new craftable set. It does pretty well. They're hitting, hitting kings now. I'm right up there. Grr. But that works pretty well.
I need an out of the box PvP build. I don't even know what it would be out of the box PvP build, by the way. Kane, I've been doing good, man. Look at that mount. Gorgeous. Only took me a year. Only took me a year to get this purdy, purdy shiny horse. Look at this. EP zone and Cyrodiil is by far the best. Look how beautiful this is. They got snow down here. They got a big old mountain like Colorado. Not that I'm jealous. Got a little tree. Look at this. Gorgeous. They got a mountain you can go to with the sky, sky shard and uh, hold a scroll. They got a huge dolmen out here. Look at this terrain for fighting. Just, it's the best. It's like the best keep out here at King's Crest. Snow or lava equals win, right? Like AD's territory, no offense AD, but come on, be honest with me, it's terrible. Got little wood elf trees everywhere, picking your flowers out there, picking your columbine. I got my columbine, mom! God bless, got your Namir's rot. You got nothing train-wise. All you got is the barn down there. All you got is the barn. You been away from uh, ESO, got super bored? Well, hey, welcome back. You can always just come zerg around. Just don't be on AD, though. Okay, um, so we got this, uh, that's the group. They're gonna try to get the scrolls, but I don't know if we have enough energy to get Arius. Okay, a little bit better. Um, yeah, we can go see what they're trying to do. You're on AD PS4 EU. PS4 EU. I don't hear a lot of people playing, uh, PlayStation Europe. Europe. I wonder how the population is. ADB looking like Nebraska. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Slow and boring. <laughs> looking like corn or what? Uh, boo, what's up, brother? How we doing? <laughs> oh, AD, oh, I'm about to take pictures of this cornfield, though. I swear to God, gorgeous. Go the corn stalks are starting to grow about, about waist high. Woo, looking like flames out here in Nebraska. Just corn everywhere, just growing. Block away from my house, cornfields everywhere. That's no joke either. About, about two blocks. Yep. God bless cornfields. There you go. Um, hey Randall, that's about a one bar Necro Bomber build. I've tried it, man. I just cannot get it to work. Like, you just need a lot of skills. Um, you could drop Boneyard for Colo, but then like you gotta have a you know the harmony gear trade is really useful. So it's like, well, I'm not going to get different jewelry for it, you know. Um, it's probably better to do Stam, really. It's just that Necro is one of those classes that really benefits from having a lot of skills. Because you have so many useful skills. You got Spirit, you got the Armor. And the Armor does more for you than just give you the Armor. And the Mender does more for you than just giving you damage resistance. Uh, but I'm sure someone's probably figured it out. It's just, it's just hard for me. Knee high by 4th of July, baby! Knee high! What? One by Barmer? Yeah, try to give it a try, because I, I just couldn't figure it out and got frustrated, and... It, it, it should be... Oh, I'm gonna turn you on so I can hear you. Yeah, in theory, the Oak and Soul Bomber should do more damage and should be more tanky. In theory. Uh not more tanky though because you don't have the same you got major protection skills. you got major protection I guess, I guess but you don't have the same passive healing right yeah um so it depends if you sl slot spirit guardian but then you get into the point where okay well what's my bar gonna be you know you have a spammable you got probably ballot it's like do you have but you do you use boneyard or not that's the big question you have to 
Yeah. If you use Boneyard, your bar is just like. You, my thought process when I was think, like thinking about it, I'm like, my survivability is that I'm killing everybody before they kill me. That's my thought behind it, right? Yeah, I, I just got frustrated and it's like, yeah, I didn't think I can care for it, so. I feel like you'd have to lose Race Against Time or something like that. Yeah, if you, you I, I, try, I try dropping Race Against Time on it exactly, and I was like, okay, I'm slow, I die, five seconds. I'm like, no, I, I live for Race Against I love Race Against yeah, Time. Yeah, kind of have to have it. Um, have I done much testing with Series Serpent's Coil? Yeah, so I did a lot, and initially, it's like, if you're a high-level player and you are using Sea Serpent Coil, you're probably going to be better than Oak and Soul. Um, now... It's a lot riskier because you have to bar swap and manage buffs, but the the top tier players that I've seen at, at really high levels are using Sea Serpent's Coil as their mythic, not Oak and Soul. It might be frustrating because Oak and Soul is just easier, but it is extremely effective. Let's go mine side, or let's go uh, LM side. Bro, Barry, you got vineyard? What do you got, vineyards? Yeah, I've done it PvP wise, and Sea Serpents is a crazy good. On oh, Mag Park is unbelievable. Split again. What's going on out here? Got some tower farmers. You got DB though? Yeah, just one second. DB. Let me get the sniper off here. Snipers now. Man down! Oh. All right, AD is getting nuked. Okay, so they got a sweat group in there. Let's try to get this flag. They're gonna push out and try to bomb us here a second. Uh, push. Purple, what's up? We need to flip the flag. Uh, the AD's come out. We'll have to move off of them. Yeah, they're gonna chase us. Let's go up the hill. There is a. There was. Good. Let's move down the front. I, I don't think we can get the siege. Yeah, unless like the entire faction participates. Oh, just working. How's EBP? Good. We did a little experiment. And tried EU now. for a bit. It was really rough on EU today. I, I, so are you back again, brother? You gotta, you gotta cloak and go through me if you're watching that. Don't cloak and go backwards. I know you're gonna ask it. You gotta go through me. Cloak, dodge, just go through me, not backwards. Yeah, our faction's it's getting destroyed up here. Watch out, Necro coming in for a bomb. Um, did I switch my Spectre Nightblade back to back bar two-hander recently? Build. Yes, I updated all the uh, updated all the builds and uh, dual front back bar 2H. Yep. Big group. Okay, you ready? You got something? Oh, I got Three, it. Three, two, one. Hit, 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 hit. DB, DB. Oh yeah! Nice bomb. Pull, 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 pull. Pull. double backing um to the north. Come back, come back. Good, good. Moving east. Okay, we're gonna push back down the hill. Push, leave those two alone. Leave those two alone. Follow me. Around this tree. Three, two, one. I'm gonna light him up here in a second. DB back line. Oh, dang so it. Close. I got hit by a lot of missiles there. Uh... Yeah, we have no chance of getting this. Looks like AD, though, Siege BRK, so if you can get a camp in the open field. Oh, man. Got too aggressive there. I don't think we're going to camp. Pretty sure everyone's dead here. Let's spawn a King's Crest. Uh, do we spawn a King Crest, or we'll try to back cap? Uh, I think we back try to back cap BRK. Let's go down there. That's will be a three-way fight down there. I'm running. I already spawned here. Running and gunning. Megatron. Oh, yeah. Uh, tickets, exclamation point tickets. Chance to win some crowns a little bit later. And, uh, or DG merch. How many we got entered? You don't have that many people entered. 
Yeah, free crowns or uh, merch to get back to you for me screwing up uh, on Dynatram Hollows. But the Stam Necro did pretty good. One noob death. Outside of that, it's going to be a pretty good BBE build, I think, for one bar. Well, you got to actually spell tickets right, though. Oh god, they got that they got that keep in a second. Oh boy. I don't think you can drop blast dude. Um we're gonna have to go Arius. I don't know where to go. I mean, you gotta think the whole EP faction was at Arius there, right? They get that they got that super quick. Alright, let's try to reinforce Arius. I guess we're just gonna gate EP apparently. Um Hey, that wouldn't be the it's just repaying the favor. Oh yeah, it's, if we could go do something on our own, it'd be good, but they just watch and we'll come down there. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I wouldn't say we have a big enough group to go try like Yeah, we're not, we're not, no one's going to be sieging either, so, okay. Well, we'll keep trying. How's the campaign score for once, though? Campaign score. Oh, geez, Blue's moving back in a second. Okay, EP is dominating. Hmm. Oh, God. I'm helping, dude. Okay. Um. Oh, what happened? Y'all get jumped back there? They were chasing two blues, just like 10 reds. Okay. Um. Bark, you alive? Currently not for long, dude. There's so many Stam Sorks that are just crystal weaponing. Yeah, there's the sort of Stam Sork is just. That's why I don't play that Necro much anymore. Um, are you behind us or where are you at? I was behind you. Okay, I'll come in. We killed a couple. Just, there were more than a couple. It might be my time for me to get my Stam Sork here in a minute, but yeah, it's, it's hard to deal with. They just do so much damage. It's Savage Werewolf is the problem. Range Crystal Weapon's too strong. Savage Werewolf is too strong. Yeah, it's just... Pfft. We're not going to get this and just get nuked by a bunch of Stam Sorks, yeah. Oh, pretty battle grand time. Let's give it another go. See what DC does. craziest part is I would say that your class, Stam Sork, currently is probably the best class at dealing with, um, or Stam, Stam Flars, the best class to, like, 1v1 a Stam Sork right now, Ooh. in terms of just raw power. Alright, so let's go down here. Um, they're brawling up here in the front. See, there's gonna be no siege, though. Yeah. It's gonna be a three-way ball brawl for sure. I'm gonna get camped down now. Yeah, we're gonna need it. Since we've yet to have one. Okay, red's on the hill. Do we got anything? Uh, I have a grave. Um, I'll try to hit him. Suck him in. I'll DB him. Where we at? Uh, kind of I already got him. You talk about this? Holy. Got him. Hey, good. Push him down the front. I'm about to have Cola here. Okay, moving down, moving down. They're all behind you the steps there. Deep in the back here. In the middle. Over on the left. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. Uh, dropping now. Now, now, now. DB. Oh Whoa! God. Yeah! Oh, that Dude, was they good. they died to the Colossus. Yeah. yeah, they did like four of them just like instantly vaporize. Oh, yeah, yeah. Probably all behind. Yeah, yeah. Time for the giveaway. Maggie, don't get greedy on me. You gotta watch. About an hour, all right? Don't be getting greedy on me. Oh, my front door. I wish I had another one. Holy. All right, I'm going to the front door. You got DB, though? Yeah, I got DB. Pull him, pull him, pull him. DB. Oh, I, went, I, went, I went through it all. No, you're good. I went through it all. 
Yeah, you, you, were, you went in there like Rambo, my brother. You, you got Rambo. <laughs> it's all good. I played Smack Camp. Woo. I wanted to get value out of it before it got burned. Like Rambo's going in. You got the you got the headband on and everything. Like, God bless the maker. Oh, I got a DB oh, out there. Out yeah, yeah. No, Maggie, I'm just giving you a hard time, man. About an hour, though. All good. You know I'm just trolling you. All right, let's pull back up. Do you have anything on this this here right here? No, 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 no. I gotta not die to AD, really. I'm moving back all that bill. I have a cola but no suck. Bad AD bomb. I'm hitting them. Oh. They get you. I got like three unique play breaks. Oh. Um, how long does Sidric Order take to level, someone ask? Oh, God. It does take a while to level Sidric Order. I mean, it's... It's not three or four hours, I don't think. I think it's many hours, if I remember right. Phoebe. Why is exactly remote to say if you could manage to sneak I'm trying, yeah. No, you're good. But it's, it's, it's probably five, six, We're seven hours, way. um... I mean, to be honest with you, I just buy it anymore. Like, I, dude, I cannot stand leveling Sigic Order. Mage's Guild, Mage's Guild, like, I, I gotta be honest with you, I just bought it on my Necro. I'm like, I, I just, I'm not gonna run around this weekend and do that. Like, <laughs> I'd rather pick up dog poop in my backyard, no offense. I mean, some people might like it, but... Yeah, dog poop's way more fun. <laughs> Changing babies' diapers and stuff. I'll go. I'll change someone's di baby's diapers for like city order. You need your ba baby's cha diapers changed for like a day, no problem. I ain't doing city order though. Maybe that's Zoss's new uh, model there. <laughs> yeah, the one that I hate worst is oh I'm my god, scrying. <laughs> oh, I'm got. Yep. Waiting. But once they you level up scrying, it's not too bad. But like, dude, you you gotta get it done. I mean, like. Race against time. It's it's that that or the morph is good for every single class. Like you gotta get it done. It's one of them. Like you know, you gotta go to the dentist and you're like trying to put it off. Like, eh, do I really need my teeth? Do I really need my teeth? Eh, do I really need them? Eh, not really. Eh, what do I need? No, oh, I better go to the dentist. I need my teeth. I haven't brushed my teeth in three months. Yeah, it probably would help. Um, someone asked if I swap two H great sword for great axe for one bar, how much damage would you lose? Um, with an axe you would have more burst. Uh, I think it gives crit damage. Uh, the axe does. Um, but you get more consistency with the great sword. I'm actually using a maul. I'm not using a great sword. Yeah, that'd be my answer. So you get higher burst, but less consistent damage. Do I prefer fishing over uh, Sidic Order? I don't do fishing. Like, I I ain't doing fishing. Unless, unless there's a reason no, or a mythic, I ain't doing it. Yeah, there, there ain't nothing going on the map, but this, just let them go. They're going to try to bait you in there. Scry, cr ass crying. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. Uh, they're going to bait you in there. Bite him, bite him. Oh, PvE daggers using a 2H greatsword? BANG! So you're asking if you would go from daggers versus a 2 you would lose an enormous amount of damage. You would lose an enormous amount of damage. Yeah, it's definitely not worth going. Oh, they're saying the south wall- they're saying the south wall is down in areas. South wall, yeah. South. If I were in the infantry, south would be this way. Okay. I'll go real life fishing, but I won't like actually try to kill any little fishies. I'll just uh, yeah, I'll just sit in the sit in the water with my milky white legs, enjoying life, listening to like 
I don't know, a good old Randy Travis mixtape. A little country music, some more country. Country bumpkins. South wall, let's go over here. Oh, someone's, everyone's dead. Um, uh, we can get a camp down here. You are too close to a friendly clamp game. Okay. South wall. Hmm. Oh, it is it down? Look at that. Look at that. Big intel. Uh, I'm going in. Yeah. Oh my god, that's a gazillion. Let the AD siege, though, don't hit him. Oh, Crap, they just go. repaired it. Alright. Yeah. Uh, come up, Bark, if you can. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm already up. I think I'm everyone up. on AD is a sweaty uh, stamp sword. <laughs> They're a whole bunch of overload sorks now. Hitting this guy. Bomb blasting. Let's go. Let's go! It's Monday. Everyone back at work. Oh, the mount's oh, yeah, dope, dude. I don't got a leap over there yet. Ah. Yeah, this is the only, only fight in town here. I got 22 meter range. Yeah, I can't hear you. Come here. All right, let's go. I got you. Going yeah, down. I, I do want to drop on it, but like, man, it's such a. I'm more tangy than you are, though. Oh, I'm squishy. You see it? They're As I say that, down. yeah. 20 bombs on me. Pull me to the top. Okay. Yeah, you, I got, I got, I got turn, I got turn, I got turn. Hit, 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 hit. Yeah. Pull never fires, <sighs> dude. Yeah, my, my DB never went. It's a lot. Alright, I think I'm gonna do some backgrounds for a little bit. GG, we're not gonna be able to get that, I don't think, with our force. Or should we try something else? What do you think? Here's the mount. In our forces. What's up? Pretty, pretty limited right now. Yeah, we're we can't. Basi really. We're basically a small man, pretty much. Yeah, I can't get much done. Oh, I might go just do some stamp circle werewolf for a bit. Take a break from this. Sound good? Pretty good, dude. All right, thanks for the runs. Yeah. All right, well, let's go do uh, stamp circle like everybody else. time it is i think let's do some battleground see if we get some domination everybody's favorite what we got donald crunk and cyrodiil though see how battleground works this might take like 15 minutes for me to actually get a cue Mikey ask about um, one bar bomb crow could work. I think it might, but I'd probably need to play off stream for a while um, to sort it out. I just it's really tough figuring out what to put on your bar. Like the crow just benefits so greatly for having a bunch of stuff on your bar that I, I don't know if I can make it work. But I'm sure someone has and they like it. I just it's, it's a tough. It's in a tough spot. Yeah. So let's go see what we got. So I got background queue. While well, that's queued up, I'm just gonna go run around for a bit. Run. 
Yeah, the big debate on that is if you, using Boneyard is a must, so is Blast Bone. So there's two. And then three, you have a main spammable, right? So then you have three abilities, and then what do you have left? Well, what I did is I tried using Race Against Time for mobility and then having a burst heal. But I feel like I need to drop a skill for Spirit Guardian. Otherwise, you just don't have enough tankiness with just Resistance Flesh. So then it's like, well, what do you drop? Do you drop Blast Bones? Do you drop Boneyard? You know, Blast Bones feeds into everything. So it's like, jeez. It's, it's really tough. But you might be able to drop Boneyard, not use Harmony, and use Infused. And then suck in with um, your ultimate. I, I just couldn't figure it out. Yeah. Couldn't figure it out. That don't mean it's not worth uh, trying and figuring out later. I just, yeah. You're watching someone else and they were hyping up a one bar. Interesting. What were they using or what they like about it? Well, like if I spent enough, spent enough time on it, I could get it. But just haven't spent time on it. It's just too squishy right now. Burn it. I'm just so squishy on him. He's got frustrated because the, you know, the burst heal of resistance flush is very high. But not having a strong heal over time is, is, is tough. What's up, first time chatter? How you doing? Just watch the YouTube videos? What'd you watch? What video do you watch, friend? Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. You watch the controversial one bar? Clickbait. I learned what made me. Werewolf's taking forever. There we go. We got Werewolf up now. About the new one bar ultimate gear. Okay, cool. What platform are you on? Have you got have you got your oak and soul yet? <laughs> it's like I is I, I don't think there uh, maybe that's an overstatement, but there's ever been a time maybe there has been where a, like a one piece relic was like the focal point of the game. Maybe pale order. I don't even know if I was around with pale order, but that was probably like the biggest point of the game. Oh look who's in here! Old Belfast, old Belfast, and always saber. God bless. Capture the relic, no less. You got one in like, you got it in five hours on PCU? Nice. Yeah, PCU's kind of calmed down quite a bit. That was like the toughest one. That was the toughest place to get it at first. Oblivion awaits. Let's go. Buckle up. Oblivion awaits. Brrr. All right, where are we going? Where are we going? The wild hunt. The w oh no no no. Brrr. They grabbed it. Akatosh. There's Bark in here. Oh, Bark's in here. Oh, you got a one bar healer too? Really? Really? Just popping resto ults. Disgusting. Yep, pretty much. Everyone a healer. Down. Ow, my stam. Oh, big hills. Run, little doggy. Where's my team at? I need to carry. Uh, how? How, 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 how? <laughs> hey, Mert, where's my team? Where's my team? Where's my team? Where's my team? Werewolf running, dog running, dog running, dog running. Okay, there we go. We are grouped up. Boom, bang, got him. Turn the corner, big old heavy. Heavy spaghetti. Uh oh, we gotta heal our tap target. Sorry, friend's gonna hurt. Sorry, not sorry. Nice healer. Good healing, bro. You get werewolf. Oh, who's this? We got a sweat hat. Oh, bark with sweaty earth gore, of course. We're not in a group now. You're just healing other people. I see. I see how you are. It's all right. No, 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 no. Come here, come here, come here. Don't score it, brother. Don't score it, brother. 
Capture the relic. Capture the smellic. Fear. The later. Dad, get it. Brr. Oh, is this how, is that how your werewolf takes the relic? Got it. Brr. What color am I? Green. Okay. Objective. Objective gamer. Go. Brr. Oh, they have our thing. We don't even have a thing. All right, guess we're going in the fray without it. We gotta get it back. Perp, does Perp have it? No, who has it? We must go in the fray. No! Bang! Thank you, Roll Deep. No! We need a werewolf. Uh, I think we need a werewolf. Wow, well, now no. no. Someone get me hell and clip it. No! Werewolf! No! Werewolf will not save you, Mark! Akatosh's blessing! No! Okay, where's ours? Sweat him down! What am I running on this? It's on my website! For the love of God, click the website. Me, Pixel, and Gene spent the entire weekend while y'all were having fun at the beach drinking Mai Tais. Me, Gene, and Pixel were updating the website for your pleasure. <laughs> no, I got too swift on as well. I'm fast. What are you running? <laughs> uh, were we like hearing me? Yeah. I know, I have a website. You have a YouTube channel? Why can't we get this thing? There's a website. Guys, stop. <laughs> Check the website! Nah, too swift jewelry makes a big difference, though. All jokes aside. Sorry, didn't mean to be a D-bag. That was a D-bag moment. My bad. Uh, <laughs> guys, never skip leg day. Never skip the website. Uh, is bread and good for uh, Magblade? Um... You're not gonna get, you're gonna get noodle damage, but the crazy good sustain is good for a healer. I don't even know where I'm supposed to, we can't even score this thing. Oh, it has return, let's go score it. We're not in last place. Oh, actually we're tied for the last place. It's not a, actually true. We're taking the relic, the schmelic. So this is my Stam a Werewolf. You can play on every single class. It's the exact same gear sets for every single class. I do have it updated on the website. I'm just gonna devour a body, don't mind me. Oh, the synergy's gone. All right, let's go get a ball. <laughs> Burn says your, your builds are good. Have you ever thought about, you ever thought about making a website to have them all in one spot? Oh God, that's a great idea. <laughs> They've taken the relic! Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be a jerk. That was a jerk moment. Moving on. Back to Howling. Oh, sorry, Bren. Check the website. <laughs> Check the website. <laughs> Barrier, brother! Check the website, Mark. <laughs> Should check the website. No, 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 no. Green's making a comeback, baby. Run him. I'm Sonic the Werewolf Hog. Oh, they're coming for us. No, 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 not appropriate. Not appropriate. Get out of my ball, brother. Oh, no, I'm about to die. Potion, potion. Howl, more howling, more howling, more howling, more howling. Uh, less corrosive, less corrosive. Uh, I'm the only one defending. Yeah, I'm dead. I need a sweaty Stam Sorg to bail me out. Thank you, Bird Heal. I appreciate you. No, 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 no. Mark, this might be the sweatiest team in existence. Scales of Akatosh. Akatosh had scales? Where's my lore master at, brother? Akatosh was a fish? I know that. Oh, 
Or did Akatosh fish a lot? Oh, the Storm Lords are nearing Vector. Alright, they're taking it serious. Oh, did you name your you, you name your character sketch the website? No, that's a D move. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I get sometimes I do get frustrated though, because you do put a lot of effort into it, but yeah, my bad. Agatosh was a dragon. Okay, I knew you would know. Agatosh was a dragon? I'm gonna have to read up on my lore. It was it a dragon fish though? It was it was like a dragon fish, right? Like a like a big old cod with uh, big ears on it. Is that the is that an accurate description of what Akatosh was like, or is that inaccurate? Ow! Bow user, slap, slap, slap. Akatosh has a website. Oh god. Stop! I make one mistake, I get salty on screen for five seconds and half the viewers go away because they're mad at me. Way to go. Real good experience, gang. Akatosh was a sweaty stamp sword, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Spamming crystal weapons. <laughs> yeah, the dra it's a dragon, <laughs> dragon fish elf. Oh, they got the thing. Ow, thank you for doing that and corrosive. I appreciate it. I'm gonna run, 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 run. Oh, I can't catch a werewolf. Maybe you can. I'll just do annoying things. Run! Run! Score, baby! Big score! Don't worry, I'll defend it. We captured the relic tied for last place. A very strong last place, I will have you in mind. A very strong last place. Purple grabbed it. Don't let purple grab it. They're gonna win if you let them. Where's perps? Oh, there we go. Little objective player here. No, no, no. Shh. Werewolf go. You're gonna be out of stamina soon. Bang! Big clutch! Big clutch! Swipe it! Ah! We're about to go with fire spies, baby! Oh, we're not! Let's go! You boy clutching it! No, 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 no. Nope, 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 nope. You can pop cross of all you want. Dad's gonna score this first. Big clutch bash, not to brag. Uh-oh. Oh, y'all, oh, baby! Take me home tonight where my 80s songs at. Let's go. I'm out of food, too. Uh, oh. Crap, I got the wrong food on. Oh, my 700,000 gold smoke bear carry. Come on, come on. Come on. Okay. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Let's get purples. Let's get purples. Bully time. Bully time. Werewolf time. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. Grab it. Get it. Score, baby. They captured ours. No, 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 no. Not appropriate. Where are you going? Oh, no, no. You about to get called out by the principal, baby. The principal's here. You've been bad. You've been naughty. Oh, it sounds like a different kind of principal. Uh. So I talk to myself, by the way. Pet me up. Pet me up. Little pet me up. Little pep up. Little pep no bismol. What'd you eat for lunch? Pep no bismol and chicken nuggets. What about you? All right, we got it now. Oh, that's a heavy attack from heck there. Woo. Oh, man. What's up? How you doing? Um, does anyone have a problem? Uh, unfollow some people? Yeah, I don't know why you'd unfollow me. I'm great. We captured the relic! We captured the, relic. the doggos win! Uh, let's see. Uh... Okay, but stop with the websites. The healthiest geo, geo cities. Oh. Someone said, I need help perfecting your Templar build you made. What do you need help with? What can I help you with, friend? Thanks for being here. 
I love that werewolf though. Got us one. All right, let's go back to Greyos and just get Zerg now. Okay. Uh, oh, Blue's got this. Nice. Go for a little ride. Yeah, you wanted some help? What do you, you need help with? Netscape. Now you're making fun of website. You know, the first website I started was, um, it was, God, I, gotta, I gotta look it up. It was in 1990. I should have stuck with it. Shocker. I didn't, but I could have been like a millionaire by now instead of I'm just a Zergling. Um, but GeoCities, I actually started a video game guide site back in the 90s. It'll be my, my fame to, claim to fame later on in my life on my tombstone. Had GeoCities website. Forget that. It was like a real-time strategy game that I played. And I was like, oh, I'll start a website. I started fumbling around with GeoCities. I started learning HTML and writing HTML code. Good thing I didn't keep up with that in the middle school and high school and found uh, other interesting hobbies. <laughs> yeah. How was the mount so fast? Uh, amazing. I was at 60 speed and the continuous attack buff. Yeah. Um, I feel like when I switch to my rack by back bar, I just get deleted. So you're on a mag bar, are you rocking Iron's Blood in your back bar, or what are you rocking your back bar? Angel Fire, there you go. Yeah, so, um, if you don't know, this is a little helpful tip, but this continuous attack buff actually makes your speed a lot faster. So the PvP thing, you get it, like, right away just doing the intro quest, you don't even have to PvP, but this, this passive here. It's not pay to win, stop! Oh, Geo Cities, man. This one solo player, what are we doing? Their name is King Plar. King Plar, what are you doing? It's the wrong place to be, King Plar. I gave you a warning, friend. Sorry. You have a name that says King Plar, though. I disagree. Ow. Oh, maybe, may oh, oh, King Plar is gonna get me. King Plar. <laughs> Oh! oh, sorry. Someone. Oh, they're coming in. Aiden's coming in. King Plar will have to live for another day. Yeah, I'm on one bar right now. It's mainly for uh, Werewolf, though. So, yeah, just a, it's a melee until I do the Werewolf. Werewolf skis! You're rocking War Maiden and Pariah because you don't have Iron's Blood. Well. Then I'd go sword and shield in the back bar or ice staff because, yeah, if you go to your back bar and your ice staff and you don't have, like, rallying cry, you don't have, uh, sea serpent's coil, you don't have gaze of Sithis, you're just gonna get melted, especially if you don't have living dark up. So, yeah. But, yeah, um, Sword and Shield's not a bad option, too, if you're getting smoked in your back bar. And just hold them block and, um, trying to find a way to mitigate the damage. Ice Staff works really well because it doesn't cut your, um, thing in half. It doesn't cut your enchant in half. So, that's what I like about Ice Staff is you get the full power trait. Or the full, um, defending trait. Sword and Shield, yeah, you get sturdy, which is okay for blocking, but you don't get the full power trait, so you don't heal nearly as much. Or you can just change that by blocking with the eye stab. People don't think about it. You get the same mitigation as you do uh, with the uh, sword and shield. Yeah. Dead plar. So don't don't sleep on eye staff if you're going to be blocking and stuff. It works really, really, really well. Next thing you studied, web and graphic design. Okay. Well, I just thought, I just plugged around as a little little nugget. Like, in my, I was 12 years old, and I, you could just right-click and hit... Uh, what was it, inspect? Like, inspect site or something? And then I'd start, like, just copying the code on my website. Just, like, yeah, seeing if it worked. It was actually fun. God, I wish I would have stuck with it. <laughs> nah. G.I. Joes. Uh, blowing crap up. Enjoying the army was in my future.
Um, let's see. Rocky Top says you want to play something fun, easy, that stays alive. And, um, so you're interested in playing something that stays alive a lot? Don't sleep on just playing a, just playing a, temp, a Templar Hewer or something. Like, it's a good place to start if you're frustrated. Because you still add a lot of value to your team, and you just don't get smoked in three seconds. Just stack a lot of mitigation, go really tanky, and then, yeah, it's a good place to start. Yeah. Oh, Nightdrawer, yeah, you would say Stam Sork feels great right now. Of course you would. <laughs> Let's go see what the battleground is. Capture the relic again. Okay. Okay. Stendar, oh god, we're into a losing team. They're already 200. Pff, oh, jeez, this is gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be painful. Um, what sets are good for healers? Check the website. Um, but Spell Power Cure is your foundation because it really helps you and your team. Grace of Gloom's another good one. Order's Wrath is a good one. Um, Hite is a good one. Gossamer. There's a lot. Is it Ollie Saber and his bow? Yeah. But again, there's a gazillion list on the website. That's just off the top of my head. Um, Rallying Cry is uh, good if you're using two bars. But I usually start with a. Uh, I'm getting werewolf. Grr! Ollie. That damn sword gets hard. Um, where can I get legendary item sets? Someone asked. You're level 25 right now. Do not worry about getting legendary item sets at level 25. How you get legendary item sets typically is just through crafting. So worry about getting your crafting um, stuff done. That's priority, that's priority number one. You can't like really find a whole lot of gold pieces unless you're like doing leaderboard stuff. And you're at level 25. So it'll come with time. Just enjoy leveling the game because like it's not going to make a huge difference in your leveling experience using purple gear. to like the super top end stuff. So again, don't worry about it. It'll come. Your number one priority should be focusing on your crafting. So welcome to stream, Bren. Stand or ate us. Just me over here. Droop. All right, what team are we? Purple. We're getting smoked, of course. Smoke them if you got them. Can't help but make werewolf sounds when playing a werewolf. It's a werewolf, baby. Toxic barrage. Get him. Oh, you're about to get deleted. Yep, get out. Saw that coming. 12k crit heal. Boop. Boop. Our team's getting smoked. I gotta run, 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 run. Block, little nugget. I almost have a tripod. Werewolf be werewolf. Oh, you're getting me when I have no resources. Come on, honey badger. Our team is just a walking soul gem. <laughs> We're just getting farmed. What? You got zero HP. What are you doing? You're all dead again. <laughs> Whole team's dead. They have, let them have it. God bless. End this match. Sork. Shocker. And the rest of the staff. Lovely. Oh god, that hit hard. Ooh, that hit hard. Oh, we are just getting completely dunk a on. Dunk a rony baloney. Right, that red team's playing together. We're not. It's a trap! It's a trap! Yeah, the red team, all three sweat lords. They just blow us up. Like a lot of them are using the new set with uh, the. Ex oh god! <laughs> yep, they got a lot of damage. Potion go, potion go. Thank you. Purple team grabbed it. Where are we going? Where are we going?
Come on, little Magica. I'm out of Magica. This works a lot better with the CP, believe it or not. There's a good CP called Refreshing Strides that gives back magic and stamina when you're sprinting. Battlegrounds, you don't have that, though. Bang! Almost feels like you really need Engine Guardian for no CP. So let's see, you ask, you're asking about, you have a Khaji Magpar, War Maiden, Ice Heart, Deadly. You have Oak and Soul now and want to do a one bar. Should I change the War Maiden with the armor sets in the High Isles? Yeah, War Maiden is not going to do as nearly as much as Order's Wrath. <clears throat> I mean, it's okay gear set, but I think Order's Wrath is going to be a lot, a lot better for you. Order's Wrath, Deadly Strikes, Oak and Soul. Don't, over, don't overcomplicate it. War Maiden is much easier to get a hold of because it's an Overland set, but... I think it has a very, very low ceiling. Especially with all the options you have now. They're doing good healing too. Protect that relic. Protect that relic. Somebody grab the relic back. Someone grab the relic back. Um, Necro, I had one death pat. Um, I think you know, I got like six NPCs on me at one time type thing. But other than that, it, I think 27 minutes or something, and this one bad RNG at the start. Yeah, so let's see another person there with you. Whoop. Um, Pearl Lessons Ward is, is that the, that's a tank set. If you're talking about PvE, that's a tank for the new trial. Um, World of the Depths or Boss Age is another set you can run, but yeah, that's, you're talking about a tank set. How did that uh, hit me there? Uh, let's let's hold down a strong, a strong last place, strong. Samurai! Thank you for using the Prime to support me. Appreciate it. Ayo. 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 Ayo SpaghettiOs. Shout out to SpaghettiOs. We've taken the relic. Is that crying I hear? Ooh, nice little trash talk. Got it. What is this critter doing? I mean, the skill is. Yeah, red's moving together real well. Oh, you leave me alone. Lord Warden! Nice DB. Oh, that power blade got me in plague break. We're just getting shredded, shredded. Let him have the relic for God. Get it over with. Rip the bandaid off. No wonder if someone left this one right away. You two again, just on me, huh? So we're just not playing like teams, or what are we doing here? <laughs> it's like the exact opposite of the last match. BG's about rough to see it all right now, good lord. Okay, there's nothing going on. Sierdo's no siege. Okay, one siege. You're still trying to get Arius. Wow. EP is holding it down. We got two breaches up. Looks like they're going to start with two breaches. Okay. Let's see how this goes. AD is sieging mine side. Oh, EP is giving it one hell of a go here. Let's 
sure I got my right gear sets on. Dragon's Appetite, Savage Werewolf, okay. Dragon Appetite usually drop for uh, Engine Guardian and no proc. No, uh, excuse me, no CP. You really need the magic and uh, no CP. You almost have to go with the Atronach Mundestone. Um, you're asking about should you keep old gear or re deconstruct it? Um, if you can afford the bank space, usually I keep all my old gold gear sets. Especially jewelry and weapons, I usually never get rid of those. I just, uh, get rid of the body pieces sometimes, but you can always reconstruct it. So, it's, it's not like it used to be if you de decon a new gear set. Just realize they're always doing, you know, passovers on gear sets. So, what sucks today might be, like, meta in, like, a couple weeks. It always is that way. They bring back old gear sets. We're like, yeah, you had gold. Just never decon the jewelry. Trust me. Level 42. Let me change my CP up. The refreshing stride. Here it is. Mm, celerity, refreshing stride. Health and magic recovery when you sprint. Uh, let's take that away. There we go. Oh my god, huge, huge groups in here. Oof. Well, we breached the cape. Oh, got it. Oh my god. Oh my god. It was crazy in here. I get some ulti up. Like an imp keep fight or something on prime time. Okay, I got the courtyard clear, pretty good. The reds are out. Jeez, how are we gonna get this key? This might be a huge tech here. Sardiner asks, what's everybody's favorite new mythic outside of Oak and Soul and Sea Serpent Coil? Well, outside of those two, Black Beardy the Barber, appreciate you 10 months. Thank you, friend. I haven't got any outside of that. I haven't got Mora's Whisper yet, which I think will be really good in PvE. I haven't got, uh, um, what's the other one? D uh, Dove Raws or whatever? The Sabatoons? Haven't got those. Those new ones are just too hard to get. Oh, got ganked. Lovely. Can't win them. Can't win them. But yeah, they're just, they're just... They're so hard to get right now. Like, the, and people complain about Merkmire in the lockboxes. It's nothing. Nothing compared to Mora's Whisper and the Watcher sitting there for eight hours on it. So, yeah, I haven't got that. Plus, you have to get all the Mages Guild to make it worthwhile. All right, 20 more siege back on here. Let's go for a lovely little ride all the way back. And hopefully we can find some Chlorian gankers. Pickle, you said Mora's Whisper is easy to get. I completely disagree. I think it's very, very, very hard to get. Very time-consuming. Merkmire has basically just made his guild and getting some lockbox. I think it's what... No, has made his guild, made Sea Serpent. The big lockbox is the barrier. Yeah. Did we get pushed out? Looks like it. Man, EP's putting up an epic, epic fight here. Oh, someone gotta push in. Oh boy.
clutch me! I don't know about clutch it. I'm just trying to keep it alive. There we go, Blue's got him. Um, you're thinking about a PvE, Sork, uh, Mob Infernos, Necropotence, Mother Sorrow? Yeah, sounds like a decent beginner sor uh, Sork setup. If you don't have Trials gear, that will work pretty good. See where are blues at? Are we got through the gate yet, or what are we doing? Blues are all dead. Blues are all dead. <laughs> oh my god! Whole faction's dead. <laughs> Whole faction's dead. Oh, it's so good. Okay, I guess we're just gonna res resi spaghetti here. <laughs> Guys, come on! You get me dead to the breach. Bend, I got you. Level 33. What are you doing out here? You're just a one shot waiting to happen at level 33. Oh, blues. Oh, my God. Blues. I, we pushed through the breach. You all are dead. Here they come. Coming back. There's Nick. Let's go, Nick. Lead the way. We ready? Shoop. Come on, push through the breach. It's not that bad. You can do it. Put your back into it. I'm going to try to get a res here. A level 47. Why are you all lobies out here? Whew. I'm a werewolf. Yeah. We got an invincible tank out here or what? <laughs> he got one. I, I don't know why people are coming out here as lobies. They're just trying to level up. It's like, no offense, you can do whatever you want, but with damage being so high, it's gonna it, it's a nightmare for pretty much everybody, let alone low level characters. It's too bad low level uh, PvP isn't a thing anymore. Cyrodiil used to be so much fun. ACDC Thunderstruck. Thunderstruck. Oh my god. Front door, you guys still not through? Okay, we're getting through the front door. Looks like you're good. DC is coming in. Wait, yeah, no one's gonna even see this inner courtyard. It's too hot. Oh, they got the bombers up there. Yep. Damn sorks to take half your life, good. Woo! Blah! It's a lot of them back there. Trying to distract him. Nope. No go. Oop, 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 oop. Good fight back here. Come on, on, big heavy, big heavy. The damage is just so avoidable as a werewolf, though, through dodges. Oh, it's like I'm playing a Nightblade. Hold the breach! Oh, it is invincible tank. Invincible group of yellows here. Oh. 796 CP. Okay, not a lobby. Vin says, in fairness, doesn't matter your level. Everyone's getting one shot. <laughs> that, that is, 
That is completely fair. You might as well be level 15 out here, right? <laughs> Doesn't matter if you're ever once again one shot. Good point. It's gonna be all stam sorks next. Yeah, this is like crazy. Wonder why there's a tri faction fight here. Whew. Yeah, no camp. Yeah, it's over. See if I get a res. Oh, nice outfit. Nice polymorph, friend. You got it? You good? Oh, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Ow, overload. Ow. No. Overload stamp sorks. Here we go. Uh, can I get a heal? No heals. Spamming heals. No heals. All right, that's gonna do it for me. Um, let's go ahead and do the giveaway. I've got overloaded enough for the day. Um, so it's exclamation point tickets for the giveaway. I can do DG merch or I can do crowns. I do not have crowns on consoles besides Xbox though. So all you gotta do is hit exclamation point tickets. You can everyone gets one tickets for free. Um, Birdie already asked for your question. It seemed like that's a beginner setup for uh, Mag Sork PVE. It's not a bad beginner setup. See you later, Dees. Appreciate you. There you go. So you can get up to a thousand tickets. Here's what we got: one thousand tickets. So I got some for everybody. Some for everybody. So here's who we got entered for today. We're gonna give you a minute to respond. Gotta be a follower. Buy up to a thousand tickets. Everyone gets one. Um, and you earn tickets just by watching, viewing, doing all that fun stuff. So exclamation point ticket. We ready? We ready yet? Okay, 109 entries. So give you just a few seconds. The bot may not respond. And if you haven't got a chance to enter, just do ticket first, and then tickets max is the best way to do it. There you go. See, Dixon just got 61. Victor got 200. Okay, there we go. There, keep entering. Ooh, Knights of Winter with 1,000. Is that my dog barking? Chuck! Stop! What are you doing? I'm go attack somebody. What are you doing over here, meathead? What's going on? Oh, who was in who was in trouble? Who was in trouble? Get him, get him. All right, go sit down. There we go, 124 entries. There can be only one. Let's get some emos before we roll on it, though. Sheppy emo. Hell, yeah, Sheppy. So we gotta fill up the emo wall first, though. We gotta fill it up. Fill it up. I ain't rolling on until you fill it up. I ain't rolling on it. My emos, Twitch's emos, someone. There we go. Good. Max it out. Max it out. Max it. Max it. Bone. There we go. Bone's in it. Bone's in on it. Come on. I'm not rolling. Keep it going. Spam them emotes. Very good, G Willie. I can always count on you for highly appropriate emotes. All right. Emo wall is active. We're going to close the giveaway. The winner is. Oh my god, Tello Septum! Where my deadlifts at, baby? Big T! Big T! Where my day one's at? Hit him with that, T! Hit him with that followage! Alright, buddy, uh, if you want some DG merch or some crowns or whatever, just let us know and I'll get it to you after the giveaway. Check your uh, messages in the top right. Gene's gonna get that for us. Uh, yeah, oh, look at that! Seven years, five months! Big energy, appreciate you, T. So I'm gonna be off for uh, today, and tomorrow I'm gonna work on YouTube videos and other stuff like Starfield, and I'll be back Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the normal times like I usually do. So we'll be doing carries again on Friday, um, PVE typically in the morning, PVP in the afternoon. So until next time, I'll get some YouTube videos out on some builds. Hopefully it'll be helpful on some Starfield stuff. So thanks for the stream, appreciate everyone's uh, time and attention. And we will see you back. Wiggle Wednesday, baby. Have a great Monday. Bye, y'all.